Well, 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 it is the night shift once more. Ali Najad alongside Nick Shulman here kicking things off on yet another day of coverage here from the Landing Casino at Jeju Shinwa World. Listen, we've got ourselves a real deal, brand new, record-breaking record -breaking number of entries over 300 there that we're going to be bringing you they've whittled down it's the 25k gg millions live nick but before we get to any of the poker earlier today i was passing through the lobby on my way to the room to get ready to come back down and i found yourself brian rast and will jaffe all huddled onto the couch intently looking on at what appeared to be some combat sports i understand you guys big ufc fans we are today, baby. <laughs> now, it was when Piotr Jan hit him with the six P. No, uh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Yes. <laughs> I had a position on one of the fights. Oh, I, yes. I was watching with some intent. Yeah. You know? and, and as I recall, your fighter had the dominant position when all was said and done. So obviously getting paid. But a lot of pay still to come here. Yeah, but you're right about the getting paid, by the way. That's never official until they actually yes. send it over. But I feel yeah. pretty good about this one. Yeah. And listen. Uh, Shall we return to the poker? Yeah, we will. Kay. We will. A number of people are going to feel good about the one that we're going to be bringing you here today. An event, by the way, the 25K uh, GG Millions Live that could span three total days. Still TBD. Depends on how we do as, as play progresses throughout the course of today. But yesterday... We drew the curtain on event number five. This was the first $30,000 buy-in that we had. It was a total of 185 entries, and just in case you missed it, after Igor Yaroshevsky uh, bowed out in 10th, this is how it played out. Well, obviously, any time that man there is involved in a final table at Triton, the viewers, the numbers, they go oh, up. Ace Jack was how Phil Ivey decided that he would take a stand against the Spaniard, El Conquistador, Adrian Mateos. Didn't perform well on the flop, did pick up a wheel gutty on the turn. In the end, couldn't find the ace, jack, or five that he needed against the two tens as he found an extra $119,000 to add to his career Triton totals, but the sixth title would elude him. Then, Lun Lun of the Malaysian delegation, three caches and four attempts, very much on form, flopped himself a flush draw, money got in, ace nine, performed in a hazardous manner, and in the end, held Lun Lun, left in eighth, $145,000 for his efforts. Then Patrick Antonius, another one of these guys this, that cut his teeth in the Phil Ivey era, old schoolers, ace jack against an ace king, and of course El Conquistador on the better end of things, stayed that way as the flop was eight high and dry, and no jack in the end as Antonius Dispatched in seventh, $198,000 richer was he. Then, the man who's given us a standing invite to come out to Baku, Azerbaijan, Ramin Hajiev, took a couple of fives up against Ace King, performed well for the Spaniard, and it was performing well for Yulian Bogdanov as well, Bulgaria's finest. Looking on, never any reactions in spite of the dominance. Knows that weird things can happen out there, but not on this occasion as Hajiev. Knuckle bumps and $271,000 in the front pocket. Five remaining. Portugal, Joao Vieira next to bow out with King 10 against Jack 8. Note the blinds, 200, 400,000. Didn't really have much to work with, and Mateos would take a spin and flop top pair. Fade the King. On the turn, and with three outs once, Vieira could not connect with the needed cowboy. And his chips absorbed by El Conquistador. He earned $358,000 for that top five finish. And then Seth Gottlieb already second in the 15K okay. kickoff event here at this Jeju Festival. Ace four up against King nine. Things look good on the 10-10-4 board. No diamond to worry about. On the turn, all of a sudden though, more outs mm, for Mateos and the queen slides in as Mateos got rid of Seth the hard way. Gottlieb, $452,000 earned. Now, podium, three remaining. 
Mateos, two queens, opens. Bogdanov decided to jam 7.3 out of the big with an ace-deuce off suit. Obviously understood. The straights were dire. Did connect with a deuce on the flop for some added pathways. The turn left him hunting. The ace or deuce just five outs one time in a 15 and a half million chip pot. All smiles from Yulian who really did play tremendously in the end. A third place finish, a few handshakes, $557,000 would go his way, 790K on lockup. And David Peters, who, as I put it, unagied his way into this heads up match off of two big blinds at one point in time. Jack seven of diamonds would ultimately be what he got it in with. Against Queen 10, Mateos flopping the queen and on the turn, leaving D. Peets drawing dead. Peters would collect $790,000. And Mateos, who at our last stop, Pop flew out to Monaco to observe what might have been his moment in terms of earning his first ever Triton Trophy, denying Peters his second. He was the man in the runner up spot this time reaching the summit, planting the flag, and earning 1.175 million in the process. Let us then focus on the first time winner who brings his career Triton earnings up to 7 million, Nick, and up to 13th in the all-time money list at over 40 million, 41, roughly, let's call it, El Conquistador. And let's put the emphasis on the L. The man has earned a lot of respect out here. Yes, he's an all-time great two-card player. Um, one of my you know, personal favorites to watch live. One thing I love that he does, it's a subtle thing, but when he bets, it's always very clear the amount he, he bet. He does it with a lot of grace. He kind of, he'll stagger the chips a bit, or, you know, when you just watch him go about his business, he's very... Uh, composed? Composed and, and kind of... Deliberate? Graceful, hmm. uh doesn't Silky. do too much. I also like players winging the chips around in the cards. There's all <laughs> sure. different styles. But, sure. yeah, I li I've always loved watching him play. And, uh, you know, again, congrats. I got to say, considering that the man that he defeated is one of the two names that we bring up often. Well, no, I, I would say Petrangelo and Davies are the names we bring up in terms of, draw, you know, dry spells, um, droughts uh, in Triton. There was a really barren stretch working for David Peters before he notched this second place win toward the front end of a festival that he rates to play many of the events in. So a needed sort of boost for Peters. But again, Peters also one of these all-time greats up there in the all-time money list. He's not really panicking when he goes through those sorts of spells. Yeah, I suppose. You know, I don't know how players internalize these, you know, droughts. There's also... I think sometimes they're just up in Triton, but it's a drought of not getting clear first, which is one of these things that just doesn't always come in and is part of why it's it's a special thing when a player rips off multiple Coon winning six in a year. Yeah. Some of the great heaters Danny of our Tang, time, yeah. Danny Tang winning five last year, mm -hmm. I believe. First place is hard to get. You have to get every chip in the tournament. So there is a a mythical almost right. facet to it. But Pete's is an all-time great. Yep. Bravo on second. He'll be back. And in my experience with him, don't ever sleep on him no. for more than a week or two because he'll just go ahead and win something yet again. Yeah. So. And, and in spite of the fact that it wasn't winning something, obviously performance here thus far in Jeju for Seth Gottlieb, eyebrows are being raised. Normally does his bidding in the cash game streets, not really known as a tournament player and isn't really one of these guys who's bowing down to ICM can give you a little bit of bob and weave out there. Second, as I mentioned, in the 15K. Fourth here, I mean, is he putting... The tournament folks on notice yeah, it's very impressive uh fedor said it after their heads up match that seth has improved a lot mm. and he was clearly being earnest you know you could tell it wasn't just a shoe uh, shine right it wasn't a shoe shine um you know he's certainly earning respect and yeah. when you watch him play he's difficult to deal with yeah yeah listen antonius a man who earned a lot of respect many, many years ago, continues to operate and, and perform. Came in as the chip leader, though, and ended up bowing out 
in seventh. Obviously, Ivy difficult lay down with the Jacks. If you didn't watch that FT, go back, soak up the highlights. A really big lay down, one that he and Mateos actually had an exchange about, where he was he told him I had Jacks, and Mateos goes, "It's just a fold," and again, wasn't really a shoe shine, wasn't operating, and I think that left Phil feeling pretty good about things. But the old schoolers just you know bowing out a little bit early, surprising for you. It's that's a tough one when you're the chip leader and and exit early, but I wouldn't say surprising. It's more common than it seems. Mm. It does happen. They're emotional losses and very disappointing. But as we know, a lot can happen at final tables, and it's not that deep. So. It, it is what it is. Well, a lot is going to be happening as we turn the page to the 25K GG Millions live, Nick. 187 unique. So let's go through the numbers. Generating a prize pool of $7.625 million. Day one would end the hopes of all but 66. Over 300 entries. Uh, as I mentioned, just uh, incredible. 305 uh, in particular. 47 players are going to make the money, so we haven't yet burst the bubble. First up top, almost $1.5 million. Going to be awaiting the eventual champ. And as I mentioned, this could go three days, and that could kind of interrupt maybe players who are getting that deep, maybe having had designs on entering some of the events that are going to be closed to them. But these are things we accept, obviously, if we're going to make uh, a super deep run over here. Vincent Huang... The man at the top of the chip counts, diving into the Triton Poker Plus app for the first occasion here at the desk in the pregame show. We see him with 4.335 million, 108 big blinds. You get your first glimpse at the two feature tables. Blinds will be 20 and 40,000. This is Vincent's second Triton stop. And I want to touch just briefly on something that we do discuss. A lot of newcomers here to Triton. Are there advantages truly to coming in as somebody that maybe is on the lesser known side of the spectrum for these guys, and hence we see some of the deep runs that we do? I think people not knowing your style or, or having footage on you and, and so on does yield an advantage in that regard. I don't know if it's, you know, you're just coming in and robbing a bank because they haven't <laughs> seen you play, but yeah, sure. Yeah, well, listen, another thing that apparently has advantages, you've confessed when you've got the mouse in hand, you look up and you see that little Lithuanian flag, which is that which flies yes, in front I of Nikolaitis. I get very scared. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's his first stop. <laughs> Fifth in the opening event for 240000 Their delegation performing well. Paulius, of course, winner of event number three. You see him second behind Vincent Wong. And then, uh, for me, Kuznetsov, when I, when I hear that name, I usually put a Timofey. In sure. front of it, but yes. on this occasion, it is a different Russian in Nikita. And we watched him overall. last night. He's impressive. Mm -hmm. I like the way he goes about his business. Both of these tables we have today have no holes in regards to intriguing uh, situations. Yeah, no doubt. Ichinose, a rookie. He's in there as well. Kose, fifth in chips overall. You can kind of take a look on the right of your screen. And as you look at those two tables, by the way, anything kind of jumping out at you in terms of maybe seat position? Let's not overshadow the Booth brethren, Henry Kilbane, 1.8 million, 44 bigs in front of him. I'm very much looking forward to seeing of him course. operate out there for it, sure. It, it's nice seeing Henry out there. It, it became abundantly clear at, at a certain point he's a very good player. And he doesn't over do that from the booth but it, it's clear he knows what's going on so it's nice to see Henry out there yeah every single player at both of these tables I'm interested in in watching them maneuver yeah Kuhn is right there with Kilbane Shaman O'Dwyer as well at the red table down below as we shift our attention up above that's where we find Ren Lin uh, over under on Lady Gaga's unclear but just better set over. a line but yes sure <laughs> generally safe to take that David Yan to the right of one Katie Lindsay. Now, Katie Lindsay married to Chris Mormon, one of the greatest in terms of tournaments, some phenomenal results that he's posted. And we're going to get a chance to kind of see the benefits of having that sort of mind kind of at home to, to kind of pick on uh, yeah, as absolutely. needed. Absolutely, and she's been a player for a long time in her own right. Very aggressive style, runs up chips all the time. Really? So, you played with Katie yeah, a few times? Of course. Oh, interesting. Was unclear. Didn't know that. Bubble Dynamics, obviously, as we're closing in over here. Tritons, sometimes it happens a little differently than we expect things outside these borders. It doesn't get necessarily as grindy. You have a, a sense based on the, the remaining cast of characters out there. We're going to go blast right through the membrane, or we're going to pull up lane a bit? It does get grindy. 
like any other tournament. I have a sense that it, it will be what we expect to see on a bubble. And, you know, it's going to get, they're going to be feeling it. Yeah, no question. Obviously, opportunities for those at the top of the chip counts to accumulate even more chips if that bubble is indeed as grindy as Nick suspects. So then we aren't long from sending you back into the arena. Going to be a good day, my friend. And maybe I a day so, where we Ollie. crown a champ here in this 25K. Perhaps. Unclear. I'm feeling day three, but perhaps. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, see just how deeply depressed that accelerator pedal <laughs> is in terms of the guys that maybe want to draw the curtain on things here tonight. So then... Let us get back into Thunderdome with the blinds at 20 and 40,000. 66 remaining. Landing Casino, Jeju Shinwa World. The backdrop has the over 300 entries down to 66 uniques. I love the look at the outer tables as well. You know, there's some interesting things that can be afoot elsewhere in the room. There's Sir Watts, 47 bigs in front of him. Who else do we spy? I ran into King Zubov, by the way, and I asked him, are you okay with the Tsar Zubov? Is that, is that what you said? Either way, but I like King Zubov. And there's... Okay, fair enough. Chitin. Prefers King over Tsar. You got it, sir. Look at this little around the horn of Fedor. That's yeah, not too bad Stevie there, Stevie and then Kiat Lee. I mean, a bit of murderer's row. There's Mikolaitis. Second in chips overall. Assembling the tokens as the bags have been unsealed. Liatuva, perhaps the native uh, manner in which we say Lithuania. Interesting. Mario Mosbach, Sergio Ido, Seth Davies. Not a table that I'm, I'm looking to be at there. Greenwood, one hole, also. Tough customers in this remaining field. How about former well, World Series else, of Poker Solly? main event champ Espen Jorstad there to the left of Michael Soiza. Hands are full. Is that Dan Smith, maybe? Also. Soiza. Sort of nubby here. Wonkman, one of my favorites there in the left. Is that Matt Walton under the bill? Couldn't see him. It was. Bucky. Former world champ, Espen. Yeah, 14 bigs. Needs some spins. Jesse Lonis sandw sandwiched between Bucky and Smith. Well, uh, listen. You some know. short stacks at this table. Smith with 12, Espen with 14. Jesse, by the way, gave us some hands to chew on during his time at the feature. He, he always does, Ali. 66 remain, pays 47. Henrik Look Hecklin. the great Henrik Hecklin. Really one of my favorites to watch. Fantastic player, very creative, very fearless. Vogelsang, another just all-timer. Sure. else do we have Timothy here? Timothy Adams having a seat. Yeah, Winfred Yu to the right. and Winfred is a legend. Sure. Sliding over to one of our two feature tables. That's how things shake out. Ichinose-san. Almost 3 million in front of him, 75 big blinds. Mayor in Redville, Nikita Kuznetsov. 3.3 million and change up top. And on Ichinose the blue had a good day uh, yesterday, or a good night rather, late at night. He, he played a lot of cool lines. He was putting pressure on, but in a calculated way. He, I've never seen him play before. I was impressed. You know, the secrets get out pretty quick. A lot of attention gets paid to the unknowns. Especially you if you gotta think put them. eyes on people you're scrapping yeah. with in, in 25k buy-ins and beyond. Unlike, by the way, that Dan Smith table that you pointed out, shorties, not really that which we're encountering at either of these two tables. Vieira, the shortest of all stacks across both with 15, but we can operate off of that depth. 
There is Ren Lin, member of the Chinese delegation. Tobias Schwecht, to his right. Tough cookie, by the way. Is Tobias Schwecht. strikes me as a great player. Fiera, one of the best. Lynn, by the way, for all of the antics, you know, the no gamble, no future <laughs> stickers, and the gamble all in, mm -hmm. blah, 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 Lady Gaga, and whatnot, you know, he, he's fun at the table, and I think, you know, in terms of feature table candidates, he, he often is one, but, oh. you know, he's taking the game quite seriously, you know, oh, he can kind of yes. lure you into thinking a he's just... Absolutely, he's a great around. player in his own right, as is David Yen, who I'm excited to watch. He always does cool things. Mm -hmm. As does this gentleman, Mr. Hrabek. Mm -hmm. believe it's Edge on the end. Hrabek? one of those, yeah. Apologies. I'm prepared for the, for the right. I love that you're going, you know, you're taking passes at it, though. It's, it's always something I'm a fan of. I want to pronounce the names yeah. correctly. It's pretty light. But I, I'm taking passes at what saying his name. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well no, because a lot of times you always to. look over and then you're like, "I'll oh, say yes. it one more time yes, for us." Yes, you know yes. what I mean? No, I, I only know. do that when you lean into it <laughs> almost <laughs> over the top. <laughs> so we see Nikita <laughs> think it through. Symbolis, <laughs> another very tough player, and a highly defendable hand to start things <laughs> off. Holly, note the flag, Nick. The fear pumper. <laughs> Yellow, green, and red. Eight five suited. And Matas <coughs> does defend. Price is right. Might look wrong. They might not like it. Other people might. Flop is wrong. Ten seven. Nut flush draw. For Hravic, who has it checked over to him. The sweetie, yeah. Yeah. Are you Brit or American? American. Married a Brit. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Seventy-five K is the C bet and. Quite simple is the fold as our feet are just getting Don't wet here. Fashion of bluff today. Ah, was him. Every day. This one was a good bluff though. Water good anybody? Bluff. Yeah. By the yeah. way, just in case okay. we do encounter an indoor blizzard. Thank you. V very strong. ready to go. You put them okay. Uh, you know, now listen. I like uh, some showmanship uh, in these spots. Be yourself, but you know, she's dressed to the nines, Holly. If she was flying the Russian banner, you know, London. just... Oh, nice. This is like a uh, Siberian spec uh, yeah, really nice. setup here. Indeed. Where do you guys live? Um, Las Vegas. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eights now for Roman. Again involved. How much you have, Lome? Mm. So every 1.2 plus. A little bit of everywhere. This. A little suit of connector before. has piqued Red Lynn's interest. Really a uh, poor one, one to take yeah, into yeah, battle. Mm -hmm. Nice restraint ball. from Ren. Oh, especially yeah. considering I that he would have been in a bad way. way. And likely a quite close decision upon us for Roman. We are nearing that money, as we discussed. To reiterate, 65 remain, pays 47. Does jam, and I, I would imagine we might have a time bank going in. <laughs> The discomfort yeah. is certainly evident. Oh, more. Yeah. But do eights meet the threshold? Really close. Not entirely clear from my seat, Ali. Certainly for Roman's sake, we hope it doesn't. 
just considering the shape that he's in here against these tens. I'm having a feeling of just barely fold, but I'm also looking at the tens. Well, you're also looking at Hrabic just, you know, doesn't... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Well yeah. done. Didn't love it for obvious reasons. <laughs> but we'll be quite pleased when word does come down that it was two tens that he was up against. Making the fold that much cleaner. May I have fruit too? 1.7 million plus in front of Katie Lindsay. 43 big blinds. You touched upon the idea that her style is quite aggressive. Obviously, we'll be looking. She's tough, Katie. Is Mormon style, uh, you know, her husband similar to that, Nick? Do you think that she's kind of been crafted in a way by the way not to suggest that it's yeah, strictly I, I, chris they obviously is, talk know. about poker you know I, I don't know where the inception <laughs> of one's ideas always come from but of course they talk about the game and yes chris is very aggressive mm -hmm. as well but to be fair katie was playing the game before you know the union with with chris so respect to her for having an identity that was carved prior to the hitch Three bet from from David, and barring heroics from Lindsay, which it is a little bit of a heroics type of hand, he'll be receiving some bad news from Nikita. Is the Ace Queen? clearly looking to proceed in the form of think strictly it's clear. a call or I, I are there think worlds in which we just put the 765 Yes, I think he's questions? clearly all in. It's okay. already been yeah. deposited. And for Yan, that's a painful blow. <laughs> to that one million and change that he brought into that hand, far less will be brought to this one. <coughs> I feel compelled to run down there, Nick, and just kind of reconfigure <coughs> Matas's Triton scarf. From this point forward, it should only be worn in the manner that Yulian Bogdanov donned it at yesterday's final table. <coughs> uh, I mean, truly a regal vibe, <laughs> the way he kind of, Type you know. I, I, I hear that. What is I'm not a scarf guy myself. The itch, I, I have a, oh, it, my yeah. neck is prone to. Combing out the fibers. I, I, it doesn't do it for me. Yeah. That can be problematic. But no understandable, doubt. they block the pulse out there. We, we can see why they're wearing it. The ace-queen of Kuznetsov slides over to Yan. And we can see why he's opening from the button. Ace-10 suited for Vieira. 520 back. This bodes quite poorly. Certainly does, Ali. It will be going in. Yep. He'll see the bad news. Mm -hmm. Can he hit? Perhaps a 10, maybe some hearts. He'll need some of that. If he hopes to continue here in the quest for a cash. One point two million chip pot. Heavy favorite is the ace-queen. The flop will bring us into focus. A heart in the window. 
No others joining it, but a pair on the board. And we know that the chops do loom. No backdoor hard draw. Eight, deuce, king. It would all do. Ten, obviously, for the Good clean game, winner. Sir. But instead, it's the jack. And Vieira. Vanquished. By the way, he's not the first to hit the locker room on the day. As we began with 66, Nick, first to fall was Big Brisket, Darren Elias. In 65th, Kevin Rabichow. And then in 64th, Bucky, Matt Wantman, as the Stars and Stripes, the first three departures on the day. And with Vieira out of there, we now have 62 remaining. Alexander Zuboff, shortest of stacks. And there are a multitude of 10 big blind and fewer stacks out there right now. I count nine in total. Lonis, Mosbach, Luke Greenwood, Hecklin, Josh McCulley, Seth Davies, Thomas Mulocker, Tamashowskis, and the aforementioned Zuboff. So, you know, we could get there in a hurry. In cash, by the way, don't know if we mentioned it, Nick. $43,500. Cowboys for Yan. A little bit of run good back-to-back. -back. Will he find a patron? Jack three off for Rabich. No takers, no troubles for David Young, part of the somewhat modest New Zealand, de New, New, Zealand New Zealand delegation. Do we know if it's Yan or Yan? Let's go with Yan. We'll stay consistent. Um, I don't know. I really don't. It's one of those where I feel you know either would be palatable. I can I can really grab a meat cleaver with some of these. Last names and butcher. This one I feel. There's some latitudes. Four point seven million in career Triton earnings for oh, am I? David Yan. No, one Thank career you. Triton total. Ten Chat, cashes. Where are you right now? <laughs> it's two thirty here in Korea. Where is it where you are? What are we doing? Are we cooking? Ordering in? A little coffee? Is it a late night situation? Let us know. We really do enjoy the international nature of the chat as we see Nikita pressuring the players as we are inching ever so closer to the money. Well, I don't know whether or not this informs the time zone, Nick, but early in this chat as we see Kuznetsov opening the ace three, I believe St. Louis Matt, STL Matt, said, I'm going to get smashed tonight and watch the stream, and actually left the R out. It just <laughs> says steam. Let's go, boys. I think the mashing, you know, smashing rather is well underway out there in St. Louis. Okay, blessings. Philippines is here. Montreal is in the building. 6.30 in Amsterdam, and we know what they're doing. We certainly do. <laughs> Tobias is gone. <laughs> Hi, Nick and Ali. Hello to you, sir. Or ma'am, perhaps. 5.35 a.m. in the U.K. Good morning or good evening. Texas is here. Vancouver is here. Closing a bar in Pittsburgh right now. I love this, Ali. So many sweats from around the world. It really is a beautiful thing. We're very lucky. 
that is precisely my sentiment, that people would, would have an interest in what's going on over here, deeply humbled by this, you know? Obviously, Nick, myself, the rest of the entire Triton team works so hard mm -hmm. to make sure that we deliver the best we can out to you in terms of streaming poker entertainment. And all we ask in return is what, Nick? Please? Hit the like. Right, there Hit it the is. Subscribe. I really didn't know, you know, but there it is. That was about as gently as I think I've ever solicited. Mash the button, guys. What are you doing? Okay, I'm back. Fives for Kuznetsov. Threes into the muck. We need a few more. Brazil, Nashville, Vegas, baby. Netherlands, Boston. Indonesia, Australia. Minnesota. Love it. And for Hrabek, let's see. Ace wheel suited always come to mind with money bubble type pressure, but it's still precarious. He has a very comfortable stack to just sort of knit his way into the money, but he knows Nikita's active. I believe that's a call. So here we go. Suited wheel card, bit of solver bait. Played as a flat, promising club in the window, a lack of promise behind it on this queen high board. Three overs to the fives. And let's see how hard Kuznetsov wants to go at it. I would think he always checks this particular spot. Does just that. Roman has fallen asleep. Okay, he's back. Pairing the four on the turn now is Roman, still behind the fives. Played as a check back. Another check in front of us. I like check once again, mm -hmm. Ali. Looks like Roman agrees. And now I don't know if the check will be what Roman has in mind as he has improved to aces and fours and might be begging for a Kuznetsov barrel with, you know, a lone pair of aces. Could see potentially a hand such as that played in this manner. My thoughts exactly, Ali. I think for Nikita with the fives, he'll be very interested in bluffing. Yeah, obviously. Feels he can represent the ace as the opener. And it's a spot where at different junctures in the tournament, we strongly consider raise. Here, let's see. If Roman calls, it will be with a hint of, I know I got you, but, you know. 14 away from the 40 some odd thousand. But Roman's very brave. He may elect to raise for value anyway. He does. And I like the, the willingness to do what needs to be done. And for Nikita, we would think he's gone. I mean, I think he's comfortably discounts the ace queen, ace ten sort of business. Not ace even, ten. Even the king jack. I think two, he discounts ace queen. Yeah, that's possible, okay. yes. Whatever but the case may be, winner. Yeah. Mr. Hrabetch. There it is. Hrabetch, <laughs> I think, is what we've been corrected in the chat is more the TS kind of vibe. The TS. We're working on it. By the way, shout out Chris Macedonia in the chat. He says. I'm closing a bar in Pittsburgh right now, counting the cash drawer as we speak. And it's specifically that part of the message that I'd like to kind of reach out to Chris and say, if they're not looking out for you at that bar, Chris, you look out for yourself. You're right about that, Ollie. With that cash drawer. Hope the numbers are right, Chris. <laughs> Just 
still easing into things here in day two of this. 25k, <laughs> GG millions. Although a sense of unease, of course, in particular for the shorter stacks as they're looking to work their way to the inside of a bubble. Still some runway. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Go do final table. It was five times. Uh -huh. Five times? Yeah, not four hearts. <laughs> but I see the two signs look like hearts. I'm going to tell you this. If I ever watch Ren Lin. I got, I got a four. Where did you sit when she folded? Yeah. When you folded. Play through an entire pot with nary a comment. I'm going to run out there and give that man an exam. Like, is everything okay, Ren? Right. Just, you know what I mean? <laughs> Meanwhile. The Booth Brethren, Henry killed Bane, Ace Queen, 90k open, 10 9 suited here for O'Dwyer in the cutoff. He's chewing on it. And O'Dwyer in a familiar position, having a very nice stack in front of him. He is indeed chewing on it, Ali. A three bet to 235, and this is a little bit awkward for Henry. Another 145 to call. Obviously, Ace Queen, a good deal of hand. Quite a few different roads to go. Cool. Played as a call. And this one grows to 570k here. It certainly does. 61 remain. 47 make the money, and it's a very interesting flop. Henry with top pair, top kicker, the ace of clubs to boot, and of course O'Dwyer with the flush draw. Henry checking with the flow of play, collisions potentially eminent for obvious reasons. As the three better here, are we always compelled to continue putting chips into the pot with I these flush draws? I, I think so. As does Shaman O'Dwyer. Checking feels possible, but this is quite typical. And the upside to the check, obviously, is it somewhat conceals the club draws. It conceals the club draws and also Henry's range here is overtly respectable, calling the three bet nearing the money, but nonetheless we can understand O'Dwyer's procedures and for Henry, let's see if he goes for call or raise. By the way, the ace of Just clubs call. deeply relevant potentially in the event that O'Dwyer sure. does pick up this club. That's right, Ollie. Another 280 into the middle, pot at 850, and there is the club. Coupled with a wheel gutter, this is a tremendous amount of kit for Kilbane. Very much is. He'll be check calling something healthy, I would think, perhaps even raising. And as it stands, Kilbane in dire straits, Ali. Absolutely. Let's see how greedy the Irishman will get here as he looks over on the hunt for Kilbane's gold. Just go for half pot. In a slightly sloppy manner. <laughs> Kilbane immediately <laughs> on him. Clearly no escape here. Is there ever a case for getting in for Henry? There are always cases to be made, but I think in the face of half pot, call speaks to me. But a raise would be understandable. He has a, an incredible hand, so to speak, but we can imagine hands that have us in trouble, and this is, of course, one of them. And also, there are some bluffs Steve can have. King of Clubs, Jack. Some mergy ace wheel. Let's see, Ali. Both One. make sense. The only thing we're not doing if we're Kilbane is folding. One and a quarter million in there already. 
I got to admit. Does go I, for call, Ali, and let's see if Henry can hit. When I look out and I see just 16% equity in front of a hand that just, the initial response is It's a cold like game, it Ali. So it can better. be a cold game. Huge river coming. And O'Dwyer does hold. Four liner on board. Three X doesn't rate to be a part of the equation for either. Sub one SPR. As they play 1.2 effective. I imagine Steve will feel comfortable asking for all of it. I, I believe so, Ali. Maybe he leaves him with some chips just to sort of play that game, but putting him in is natural. O'Dwyer, brutal to read. And a very difficult spot for Henry on the river. Does put him in, Ali. And we can't tell from this vantage point if Henry has time banks. I assume he does behind his stack, and they'll be getting used if he does. If sure. he doesn't, this is really crunch time. Oh, there they are on the rail, producer uh, James has pointed out, just in the nice shadow catch. that lurks. Okay. Well, they'll be going into the middle. Understandably. doesn't have tons of time. Nor tons of confidence that ace-queen is best here. Well, now we only beat bluffs, unfortunately. Doesn't mean we have to fold, but that's the situation, and, and that's what's weighing on Henry, understandably so. I mean, this is for his life. Click call, showers. Click fold and fight on. Knuckles will work out. And O'Dwyer's reputation does precede him. He's very capable of running one. Three bet, three streets? Sure. Fifty-nine now remain as we've lost a few on the outer tables. Blender is fine. Absolutely. Fair enough. How many have I used? Gave a five one, right? So we did have one bank that yeah. signified five time Very banks. Right. And he's shredding through them. Understandably. And he does get away. Bravo, Henry. Hats off. Very nice. And for O'Dwyer, a terrific pickup. By the way, that's one of those laydowns, Nick, that it may take a hand or two, dare I say even an orbit, before you can shake off the kind of doubts that you have about whether sure, or not it was right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Time flies when you're having fun, man. It's a big fold, JK. You'll never yeah. fold in my hand, bro. No, I doubt I would. 
<laughs> Welcome to Triton, eh? <laughs> That was sick. Wow. So just jam turn. If you beat Ace High, you were good. Uh, well, jamming turn wouldn't have been good. I should just jam turn. If I could beat Ace High, I'm good, yeah? I'm just fucking around. <laughs> I'm just in here at my coffee. I'm messing with okay. Just for free for. Just Coon for trying to live in Henry's head rent free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's easily the toughest spot of my life. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even close. <laughs> I can't wait to watch that one. Nice way, nice way to. Uh, these are uh, how many seconds? Get broken in, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 10 and then. Yeah. Steve's never had a problem introducing people to. Uh, I, I know, I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> It's like the bad omen, he like <laughs> drops shit, <laughs> so he still jams river as well. Any, any, uh, <laughs> yeah. Rolled out the uh, unwelcome <laughs> mat somewhat <laughs> there. Indeed. <sighs> Did you bend me? Yeah. I mean, it started out that way. And then you got there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you off the hook. Wow. <coughs> That's nice from Steve, by the way. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. You got Ace 3 suited. You got bailed out. It is somewhat atypical, by the way, Nick, oh, for. I didn't want to be a hero. You know, a character such as O'Dwyer, you know, who. Is goes about the game, you know, very... He's icy, but we're going to see it. And, of course, they all have the utmost for Henry, who's commentated on them many times right. with a lot of, uh, you know, they all love Henry. I mean, if I'm in their position... If you're in their position, you they're never the telling you. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> saying just in terms of looking at it from the perspective of a grizzled Triton vet... Man's been on the desk talking about me. Now he's out here rumbling. Very seldom would you find that interaction, that opportunity. And I think tremendous respect Absolutely. is, is being laid upon Henry for getting out here with these killers. Shingis thinking about it. Satubaya of the Kazakh delegation. He is coming in. 6-7 suited as Anna Marquez has company with King Queen and... Taiwan's James Chen, red aces, and he will be heard from. Fantastic timing for James, who likely goes for something in the 250 to 300 range. And it should do it, although we never know, Ali. 320. Third floor. 20. King Queen losing interest. Does Shingus feel like gambling, Ali? Flop me hot, dealer. Pretty sweet, right? It's been really fun. Yeah. It's really fun. It can be. It can be really frustrating too. I can imagine. Like, I couldn't couldn't do this for a living. Hey, yeah. Definitely couldn't do this for a living. Hey. I, I really respect you guys. For it. It's fun. fun. When you got like no expectations, no pressure, and you just here to have a good time, like oh, yeah. it's, uh, it's a good feeling. Yeah. Satubayev does. Huh? Find good the bin. Thank you. That was sweet, by the way. I think Anna just turned to Henry and said, "You're crushing." You know, these are. And now I've got a respect, highlight reel for the kids. You know. There you go. <laughs> I was proud of him before the ace queen fold. Yeah, I mean, I, either way, like, I, honestly, I don't mind. Like, if he's been me, he's been me. Like, it, it's yeah. it's all like fun and good. Much to be cruel and tell you you made a good Yeah, he'd never do that. I, I would against certain people. <laughs> yeah. I can definitely think Even. of a few people I'd tell you, like, oh, yeah, good fold, and then an hour later. <laughs> Even prouder of him now. Is <laughs> oh, Dwyer confessing he's got some folks that are on the naughty on list, perhaps. That's, that's one of my favorites, the lie on the stream when they'll find <laughs> out, you know? 
And then an hour later, you catch the guy looking up at you repeatedly with this incredulous expression. And you're like, oh, did you? Oh, so you caught that hand now? Shingis, an opener with king 10 off. Tomaszowskis. No temptations from the button with the queen. Andrew, have you fully recovered from Ten. your injury? Yes. You have? Dude, my, my shoulder is like stronger than it was pre-accident. Oh, amazing. It's, it's pretty cool. Like full range of motion, everything. Right. Yeah. Perks of being young. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm debating whether to get the metal plate taken out or not. Like the surgeon said I can keep it forever. It's, it's not a problem. But if I ever start feeling like nerve, uh, and then kind of like just go back and get it taken out. Isn't it <coughs> annoying like going through like airport security? Nah, it never goes off. Okay. Yeah, it never goes off. And Ali, Ichinose looks good as yeah. always. Listen, the Japanese delegation provided us with Tanimura, who you and I really reveled in. Yes. And uh, yes, absolutely another candidate. And um, yeah, I. I respect what he does because uh, he keeps the, the people that uh, need his services the most are like like laborers and stuff mm. because you know they'll have like back problems and stuff mm. so he, keeps, he kept his like uh thieves like static for like very very long time what a legend awesome. i actually have a sis in my spinal cord um it hasn't created any side effects but i have to monitor it it's like a fluid filled cyst in my spinal mm -hmm. cavity um, yeah, it's like pretty, pretty spooky, but. What is it? Is that from lifting or? I don't know. Um, I, I randomly found it getting an MRI or getting a, um, yeah, an MRI for something else. Oh, it scared the shit out of me because you Google it and it's like causes paralysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so far so good. Also causing a bit of paralysis is the three bet three barrel from O'Dwyer, as we observed earlier. Not to make light of the situation, but nice to see Jason, who is a specimen, of course, in good health. And the health of Ace Nine being checked on as he opens to 80,000, and Satubayev looks down at the ladies. Unfortunate timing for Kuhn. Third scoop. 180. Back over to Jason. Another 100 on request. And no thank you, he says. I assume it's you a ten-time like Triton title winner, right there. You're like three betting, sir. Months, but so with two yeah. coins, we that, get that it. That would always, uh, that would always come up anyway. You would hope. No, I don't think so. No. Mm -mm. No, because it's just uh, like neural stuff, you know. It's like, uh, yeah, the way that it would manifest, I think, would be like tingling in your hands or your face would be. Hot, something like that. Something like, yeah, with your nervous system. I think a lot of them are asymptomatic, though. It's I've probably got hurt when I was a kid, and it's just always been that way. And, but I hope at least. But I, I feel great. Buffed me two times in a row. You bluffed me twice today. One. So mean. One. Only one bluff? <laughs> <laughs> I always had it. Hey, uh, yeah. I had it the first time. Not, not enough of it. If I had a hand, I was going to call a shove with pre flop. I, did. I had ace queen the first time. Queen 10 open. Queen J. As Nick and I do our best to lay back, I didn't need to be flies on the yeah, wall here. here at this feature. <laughs> a talkative one. 
Now then, Ana Marquez with ace 10 off of 830 back announces all in dominating Kose who doesn't hesitate. Nicely done. Take it, Anna. Important, these little pickups as we try to keep our head above water. Thank you. Thank you. Pace of the blind, Thank you. somewhat relentless. Oh, by the way, Tanishowski is down to just four bigs as we In get need a look. Of spin, Let's call it Sally. three. Overtly. Now that the blinds are up to 25 and 50,000 with the 50K big blind, any one and a quarter, the cost of poker, every eight hands here at this feature. Brought to you by betacr.eu. Capital infusions for O'Dwyer, leaving him at the top of the chip counts. Courtesy of Henry Kilbane, who certainly can be proud of the laydown that he made, as many in the chat are, as well as us here at the desk. Eight remaining with 47 paid. 11 from the money here in the 25K GG millions. Can you pull the, the floor, please, just so we know how far off? The yeah, how many is. people are here? Because I just saw 61 down, like 20 minutes. Oh, there we go, there we go. 58. Oh, okay. 58. It was weird because they refresh it and then they change it. And that was amazing. Yeah. As Henry said, Ali, 58 remain. No, it is now. It, is, yeah. Yeah, it, it had like a 64 or 69 players or something. No, it was 58 for quite a while, I think. Shingis. Now. Well shy of two queens and up front a bit with this king eight suited has made it a hundred to go. Ace Jack retaining the interests of Ichinose. It takes us up to 250. Three betting the Ace Jack. It's okay, Miss Gotta get a hat. Ah, no, no. Well, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah. But I meant that the oh, clock is changing. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's tweaking. Yeah. The app says 56. Yeah. Now it's, it's 56. Now it's sinking. Now it's sinking. Like 55 now. 55 now? Yeah. Well, these are relevant things. I'm pull it up. is very relevant. <laughs> Take it, sir. Yeah. As the adventure ends for the King Eight suited. When did you move to Taiwan? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. No, no, no. I I've been living in Taiwan for like 16 years maybe. 16? What? <laughs> I just I just go to Macau to play quite often. Yeah, and, and when I go, I stay like the max I can stay, and then I go back to Taiwan. Oh, okay, okay. Those things. Like the yeah. Those grinders and the things. Max three months. Oh, but we, we, uh, we only get one month. And then you, 30 days, and then 20 days. And then you can do um, like uh, Another 10 days if you sign something, but I never did it. So I only ever did 50. And then you leave for one month, you take a break, and then reset the day. So up to 50 days. Yeah, 30 plus 20. 20. Yeah, technically 50 days. And you, you can get 60, but it's annoying, so I yeah, just yeah. don't bother with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know, like, some of my friends from Japan yeah. go there for three months. Jack 5 suited for a while. Out of Macau for one month. Yeah, thanks. Go back again. I, I wish I uh, does put I Jason know. in, but I wouldn't stay the three months. See if Kuhn wakes up with one and ace. Uh, but, um, I, I still he looks up at the clock, Ali. 55 yeah. now yeah. remain. Ace yeah. three off, just yeah. south of 10 bigs. Yeah. How much of a role I does what's imagine. up on that yeah. clock yeah. play yeah. in the choice a with ace three? A major role. Good question, Ali. Sometimes we know we're up against 
even close to a 100% activity range, and yet we still allow ourselves to be messed around with. Is this one of those times? Jason's trying to figure it out. I just, he said that. He already told me. He already told me that it was a good. It's interesting. It's not as if he's guaranteed to cash folding. If we were a little bit closer, it's ever that much more a spot apt to play quite tight, but still eight off. This speaks to how close he, he thinks it is, Ali. Go on, Jason. Close spot. Doesn't take it, though. As O'Dwyer nibbles on that big blind and big blind Annie. And as always in those spots, that fold might have been great. It might have been barely a call. Whatever the case may be, we can learn from the proceedings and a little window into the approach. Stack preservation also an idea, of course. You know, Kuhn with 10 it's big blinds. Nick. Indeed, as we see Vladis, it, it is going in. Good luck, sir. And there are spots in poker where a chip leader jams into us, and we know they're doing it with all sorts of stuff. And yet the situation dictates we only call off something like nines plus ace-queen. There's crazy spots like that that are unintuitive. That's not that spot, right? but it speaks to the kind of ideas present when there's money approaching and so on. James Chen is He's approaching. He's 10 suited, flats, slightly north of 3x. What is that? And he kept saying, like, oh, watch it tonight, and then, like, said he didn't watch it. So, no further participation in the field. And Tamashauskas taking the lead into battle with 55 left. They play for 455. The threat is real. Stone coin flip. Ace in the window, no three. No heart either. And the lights are dimming for Vladis. Mm -hmm. Can he hit a wheel card, Ali? He cannot. Down to the lone three. Is there a crab boil on our hands? No. Nope. GG, sir. Out of there is the Lithuanian. Vladis Tamashauskas. Good game, bro. First ever. Triton Festival finished 44th in the 25K Silver Main for 42,000, but will not find the money here today. Now then, we flip back over to the other feature where David Yan has top pair on an all spade board. Arrival came courtesy of a Kuznetsov. Min raise open from the button. Jan defends from the big. We saw the check call just now of the 50k C bet. I hope he will. Both players check the turn, which delivered that fourth spade. Board pairing seven on the end now. And perhaps a saving grace for David that the fourth spade came in the form of the jack for Nikita. Not a purse. Okay. Looks like a man bag. Okay. I don't know. You know, a a man purse. In terms of if he didn't make a pair, he, yeah. he would be very <laughs> apt to exert pressure. But because he made the jack, he was content to check oh, it down. Take it back. Take it back. Nice pickup for Young. 
Oh, I misunderstood. Oh, a MRF is a man purse. So, like, they put it there, and they, he thought it was a woman. I was like, no, that's a MRF, a man purse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, no. Hi. 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 Yeah, she was with me. <laughs> is it like an American word, or? I guess, if you don't know it. <laughs> I just never heard it. My, my man purse. Woman just made up. I'm going to take credit for it. In case you just made it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Merce, by the way, is indeed a Listen, thing. Not a thing that yours truly here, I'll help you guys. <laughs> is yeah. ever going to be involved with. And I will be frank. I'm surprised by that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. I can't pick myself. Do I, I, I have the trappings okay. of a Merce? Owner, I could yeah. certainly see it based on <laughs> the way you dress, <laughs> and act, and some of your other sort of male hygiene <laughs> things you go through that I won't share with the audience, but just are excessive in your estimation <laughs> to me. Yeah, but we're all, you know, <laughs> hundred to go from Ren. Matas. King 10 off suit on the button. In a way, if he were to choose to do anything here besides fold. He does not. I really want to Photoshop a photo of the Kremlin behind Katie in yes. this particular headwear just feels like the cover of Tetris 2024 or something would be ah. the right uh, look. Top one. That one, yeah. Top one is was that Lady Gaga always yep. going <laughs> go. <laughs> Who has more fun than Ren Lin at a, at a poker table? He is sort of the best. I think it maybe this call. This call? Slow play. Lady Gaga? Even though Lady Gaga, I know that you'll be cast. I don't want to see the dude. I don't know that the, you know, the routine from Ren yeah, is in any way unnatural. I'm not alleging that he's operating. One, but one over. One over. It does uh, happen to have that upshot we touched on uh, where you can okay, really get ball, lulled ball. into some <laughs> perception that this dude isn't a killer out here, and also, he is. If it's not your day out there, make no mistake, Ren can be a little tilting. And I love Ren, but he has turned on me in some of my darker moments <laughs> at the table. And, uh, you know, but the overall package is, is good. Yes. And I agree with yes. you, Ali. I, you know, knowing you as I do, Nick, I could certainly see, a, you know, Ren at his peak, you in a dark moment, and the, it could wear a bit thin. We, we've had our moments. <laughs> <laughs> King Queen having a moment once again, this time in the hands of Nikita Kuznetsov. Will we find a flop? That was 7 3 off. Nor Queen Deuce off. Welcome, by the way, Jean. Good evening, sir. And the Balmon hoodie. Afternoon, rather. When the bubble bus. What's the line? Uh, after bubble. After bubble? Okay. What does. Oh, we bet when it bus. Yes. I keep. Uh, <laughs> I keep <laughs> you're getting them wrong. Change on that there. Very final. How long do you think? Or? Oh, I have no idea. I don't play much. <laughs> That's why I asked him to make a line. Okay, yeah. I like this. What's the line? For what? No, no. Bubble. Like how long would it take? You don't like to gamble. <laughs> Never gamble. <laughs> yeah, how long would it take? By the way, that seat between, uh, or to the left rather, of Katie occupied by Singapore's Changji Zhang. To be precise, played one event here at his first ever Triton Festival. That was the 30K 8 Max, finished 29th. Okay. And here he is hunting a yeah. second straight cash. As things are feeling a touch cagey, as the march to the membrane. That it is a note the restraint from Matus. 
Again, 54 left. 47th is 43,500. It feels Bruce a bit Lee declared from rent. It feels a bit yeah, like lucky. Matas is itching to get into a pot. He's okay. He always has that feel. Is it? Sorry. 500 push up. 50 push up? 500. 500? 500. Now I heard about this push up thing. Were you the one that, in row, that told day, us Ren will just drop no and give you 50 in between? Clean hands? ones. It's nuts. To a bikini job. I mean. drop down look like he's in the Marines. <laughs> <laughs> Defense from Roman. Little Semper Fi off the rail. And as we can see, Roman in bad shape. Uh, Pipped okay. on a king, oh, king, in queen. Very yeah. bad shape, Ali. Now, now clearly there are chops. There are, but the low card, low card yeah. run out could be very disastrous for, for Roman. Like but, but I can rain like a two hour, not a problem. You rain two hour, three hour. The covering stack belongs to David, who's in the lead, just sprinkles 50 out there. It seems so innocent and straightforward, but as we can see, possible disasters for rabbits. Only two hours a day before term. But uh, you need a. You wake up nine. Two hours, 11, big breakfast. <coughs> <coughs> nine enough, right? Playing it as a check raise to 175, and now David perhaps licking his lips a bit, but also on the other side, are there some King X combos that the King 9 falls to that would behave in this fashion? There certainly are. It's a bit of a licking your lips with that thought hovering above one as well, but David has to like it knows Roman's very capable. Going time bank, perhaps considering a click back. He's between something of a click and call. Both are interesting ideas. Goes for the call, Ali. Extra 625 50. in the middle. Mm -hmm. Here are one of the low cards that you spoke of. Fantastic card for David. Do we have concerns playing the King-8 as a check raise and being called on a texture such as this as yet? We do have understandable concerns. It isn't as if we start to think, oh, we must be beat. But of course, we can all visualize hands that beat King-8. <coughs> 350 to go from Roman. And does David continue to slow play? Or does he try to get on with it versus all of the King... X's with the slightly worse kickers. Merits to call as it allows something like Jack-9 to keep barreling off. Merits to raise are what we're looking at. He goes for call. <laughs> Very understandable. Can Roman find his way out of this mess, Ali? The answer is yes. Indeed it is. Salvation coming in the form of an ace on the river. Perhaps worthy of note that Ten Jack is there, although I'm not certain uh, with the pair on board. A scary river for both, indeed, but chop it up, gentlemen. Eight forty five in front of Roman, one three plus in the middle, and a time bank will be utilized. Are there hands that we think we can get value from? Ace-Queen comes to mind. Mm. Ace-Jack or Ace-Ten of hearts specifically as possible. Outside of those, not so much. And 
with that in mind, Rabbits decides to play this as a check. Jan has improved sort of in the same position. We chop against all of the King X. For Jan, it's a bit hard to find hands that call us as well. Looks like he's about to check and they'll yeah. chop it yeah. up. Understandable decision. Like, slightly annoyed that he ended up in that situation, but uh, further annoyed, perhaps, to realize that the ace bailed out Roman. But they will carve, and that'll give us an opportunity to remind you that right now, through the 31st of the month, the WSOP Super Circuit is running at GG Poker. And if that doesn't tickle your fancy, then get on in there to qualify for Triton events. Hopefully, an unknown commodity will come out of the woodwork, make a mark, reminded of the likes of Mark Rubithan in Vietnam, Weasel, made waves, lived out a dream of sorts, having entered the arena courtesy of a similar path. Get in there and get it done. We love to see it. Only at the world's Hola, biggest Good poker morning. room, GG Poker. <laughs> I think. Producer James stepping in to advise that Schwecht in the one hole actually qualified for this 25k GG Millions online. Now, obviously, we know he's a prospective customer without qualification. So I don't know that he fits the bill. I'm looking for someone you and I look down at the bio and we're like, he was playing $10 dailies. Spun it right in there with multiple saddies, and here he is in a 25K deep run. Those are the stories. But nothing against Schweck. Well done. Huh? Red one. Oh, okay. Only 10 seconds, wow. <laughs> that was my game. Because you guys, huh? You guys think it's so slow. I am going to play it. No, only. Ace, King seconds. of Spades. For Katie Lindsay. No surprises. Cut off open, Queen 10 on the butt. Shang thinking it through. Oh, he is reaching, Ali. Flat. Roman folds. <laughs> so both blinds out of there, and Katie yeah, has company that has position. Yeah, I have like five k more. Ah. You have 1.1? Yeah. No, you have 1. 1.02. Queen 9, deuce. And Zhang. With the well timed participation out flopping Whoa. Katie. No spade on board. This texture really displeasing. Indeed, not the flop Katie was looking for. Things have slowed down field-wise. 54 has been remaining for a little bit. She goes for check. Zhang content to do the same. Deuce on the turn might complicate things a bit for Katie after check, check. Nick, forgive me, but what on earth is taking place? Is, is David Jan possessed? I mean, fingers, really, I mean, not since Poltergeist have I seen sort of... Anyway, <laughs> that was... <laughs> Understandable to check from Katie. I, I, I missed whatever you're referring to, but it might be worth a I, look I back. Hope it was really your, I hope for your sake he has some neurological disorder so you can continue to learn your lessons, but I don't think he does. I would agree with that. Not since Poltergeist. Well, <laughs> it turns out... <laughs> Lord knows I intimately am familiar with the taste of my own foot. Yes. 
Zhang, familiar with the value of a queen on a board such as this, does put in the barrel and take it down on the turn. After the second check from Ace-King, Katie keeping the losses to a minimum there. Obviously <coughs> higher hopes for the Ace-King. Nothing to worry about. Still 20 big blinds deep. Shortest stack right now. Ren Lin with 17 bigs, but really nobody would be expected to have only one option available to them pre-flop. And if we look around the room, Kuhn with five, no, no, no. Winfred with eight, big blinds that is, uh, Velasevich yeah, and right. Mossbeck eight. with uh, ten, and a few friend. more <laughs> ten BB stacks, so we shall you. see. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nikita leaning on them. Maybe. Such a nice maybe. spot to have maybe. chips on the bubble. Maybe you tried it nice for me. <coughs> Little suited connector being put to work under the knife. <coughs> Roman having a moment with King A. Ren will put his King-10 offsuit to work. By the way, shout out Dylan Lindy, who is here playing Love the Dylan. events. Go also on. in the chat said, thank you, Nick. Hmm. Quote, Ren has turned on me, as you alluded to <laughs> earlier, is the <laughs> most perfect way to say that as he's hopping into the mystery. Much love, Dylan. Event. One of my favorites. Well, hang on. There's not a lot of love available this to King-10. King King. is turning on Ren, Ali. Bottom two for Kuznetsov. And he certainly understands the situation that Kuznetsov is a bit pedal to the metal. So the relative strength of your King-10 increases the wider the range we're up against. Just 14 bigs for Ren. Kuznetsov third in chips overall very much as we approach the bubble. Expected to be opening wide and often and sea betting with some frequency. So the value of the King-10 perhaps perceived to be greater than under other circumstances. Nice. Very understandable proceedings mm -hmm. from Ren and the dream for Nikita. <laughs> and if Nikita plays back now, which bottom two is a hand where that comes to mind. It's a little bit dicey for Ren. Five hundred back. Is the mission better accomplished by jamming here and now or by flatting and allowing Ren to perhaps slide the noose? Well, maybe if we raise, we go for something less than jam, believe it or not. Although jam is an understandable idea. I think both are nice. Ren doesn't, he does go for just the click back, which I really like. And it's a spot where Ren doesn't have as many straight draw check raises as he would under normal circumstances, as he's not defending the 6-8 and 7-8 offsuits as robustly as he would normally or at all. So we Even anticipate do a good six bit of suited. <laughs> retention. It, retention and also just this exact type of hand we really run into a lot. And who doesn't want to put more chips in versus that hand with yeah. two pair? Great read from Kuznetsov, and I really like the click. You know who doesn't? Ren. As it's getting awkward. Ay, yeah, yeah, mama mia. He's in. Mm -hmm. Feeling a little muzzled at the moment. 975 what? in the middle. Marker down. Those two time banks. 
Nikki on the turn. Not the best card for Nikita as 6-7 suited perhaps is possible. But nonetheless, I believe he'll just be putting Ren in for third pot some odd. Now, the jam, and Ren was prepared. 3 10 or king, Ali? Yeah. In a bad way, is Ren Lin here in a 1.7 million chip pot approaching the bubble in the 25k GG millions? Doesn't need Lady Gaga. Needs a grown man, King, 10 or a tray, and instead the ace. Falls to the river. GG, nice. sir. Very Red tough Lin. one for Ren. <coughs> he He'll falls. be back. In 50 second. So then, just four away from the money bubble as we resume. Jason Kuhn with King 8 Go finds on, himself Jason. ahead of Shingis Satubayev's Jax. The road travel to this point was a 240k almost all in from Jason. Satubayev flatted the remains in there on this flop. A safe turn in the form of an ace. And now we need to fade the Jacker 10 to double and fight on. And that's exactly what 10 right. time Triton title winner Jason Kuhn has done. Indeed to the chagrin of the others, by the way, as well liked as he can be. Objectively uh, true. Showers were where we wanted to see him if we're trying to burst the bubble and win one here. Yeah. I think it's a okay line. Yeah, mm -hmm. I said I would take it. I took the under. <laughs> Flipping back oh, now? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Didn't mean to ignore you. No, it's okay. Yeah, you were like raising. I think I just said it. <clears throat> Six for Katie. No, thank you. Shang now hijack King Jack. Seven, swiped on the button. Can't imagine he's interested. And by the way, we're starting to see some of these pauses that aren't necessarily tethered to the kit. It's a little bit of the we're coming up on the bubble. Let's allow Indeed some it time is. to go by, some people to meet their makers. And time banks have made stalling a bit more pure. One has an allotment of time. If they're pushing it pre in, a, in an egregious sense, sometimes it's dealt with. But end of the day... If you pay for your time, it's a, a nice system. Yeah. Can be used at your discretion. And you and I have both observed some moments where a player arrives deep into a final table with a very distinct lack of time banks, and you wonder whether or not they were perhaps overly utilized in moments prior in the fashions such as the one that you described. <coughs> King eight, not enough. And Roman, by the way, comes to mind as a guy who, you know, who'll get that five seconds it's not egregious, but you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. He He's not in a rush to snap act, right. but as you said, not excessive. All in? Does put Modest all in. Note Modest has quite a bit, so this speaks to the yeah. ideas. Well, Doyle. Not enough, and you see Matas flipping the palms to the sky. 
Rest you always hope to wake up with one in that spot. Of course. Although mixed feelings about waking up with something like tens. Right. All of a sudden, Jack Six suited is on its back. The hook finds the board, and out you go. That's correct. Yeah, I, you know, it's interesting, and I'm glad that you push back slightly in that manner because it's almost as though I want very straightforward, clear decisions, almost preferably to fold because exactly. getting, you know, out there, you can get roughed up. Jose Ichinose in the five seat there. He's the chip. Well, actually, I take that back. Shaman O'Dwyer, 74 bigs. He's the chip leader here. Jose is second behind Steve. At this table. Game four suited. Waiter, please. Yes, please. Thank you. Hold it around. Satubaya. Ace Queen off for Chen. Do we look down at these? Uh, not in the face of a jam, obviously, from someone that has more chips than us, but in the cutoff as a, f you know, compulsory open and think, oh man, I don't really want to have to do this. So Dwyer over on your left at some point. Uh, granted, he folded in this spot, but y you know what I mean? Like, Yes, I do know what you mean. Ace, queen off. It is compulsory, and it is a bit. This is annoying. And look See? at this from Henry putting Chen in a spot. Three bet to 260. 50 remain. Pays 47. And Chen has a real decision. It's easy for us to pile from the booth or at home, but when you're out there, three off the money. It's a little bit different. And I don't really think James is delighted to just take a flop in this particular scenario. Not really that kind of a hand, Ali. Note that Kilbane able to leverage both the fact that he's, well, three things. The small, the bubble, and the lack of, you know, tremendous oh. stack depth to he make this King-10 off call. look Pardon very me. good. But yes, a flat from Chen. And an understandable choice from James. This spot is highly murky. He looks up at the clock once again, 6.20 in the middle. So the flop we had, 9.94, nine, the kind of texture that could leave Henry Looking to tell a tale here and take one away. Henry certainly will be going for the smallish bet, we would think, always. And for Chen, if we're calling the three bet pre, and the 994 rainbow appears. Our ace queen still is ahead of all of the stuff we were hoping to be up against prior to the flop. Except, of course, for something that finds itself with a nine. Not exactly what Henry was looking to see. Does he keep barreling, Ali? Big turn coming. Massive turn. Clean for James, so to speak. This is the fork in the road for the covered stack of Kilbane. 
615 back, 940 in the middle. The man called our three bet and tore one off on the 994 rainbow board. Is this the spot? It's an interesting spot he checks, which is understandable. We would think James content to do the same. By the way, it isn't to say that this is a shutdown from Henry. The check back from James, sure. we observe the river, an unimproved Henry could certainly sense that it's time to just jam for our tournament life. We are in agreement, Ali. We shall see. Check back. Jack on the river. Trouble is it not, Nick, that if we do jam here, that that jack is a card that's supposed to leave us a little bit more apprehensive about doing so with the kind of hands that, you know? I think the jack is a touch better for Henry. I could see him connecting with it in ways that James couldn't. He does shut it down. James, I believe, will be content to just do the same. The only argument in favor of barreling here is to try to shed maybe an underpair to the nines. Not an underpair, but ace-king suited, I would say. I don't see the underpair going for Henry's line pre. Hmm. It's more these sorts of hands. And James once again looks at the clock. Henry went there. for it. Took his shot, and you win his music to James's ears. Absolutely yeah. is. On a brighter note, you've got a coffee on your table there. Oh, good man. Thank you. Well, lines are up. 30, 60, Little Java to potentially wash away any doubts about whether or not there was a path to victory there. And of course, if our stack's being whittled, the blinds going up is not what we want to hear. 30, 60, and 60. 150 in orbit now. Required. As there are 50 left and 47 paid. Another ace queen, this time suited for Chen. And that was a great pickup by Chen and nicely navigated. It's easy to sort of hero fold pre or just jam. He certainly made the most with the choice to call. 1.7 for James to start and a pretty one. A lack of prettiness behind. I say that in terms of hands. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we gathered that, Ali. But thank you for the clarification. <laughs> Ichi no say screen right, by the way. I got to tell you, I want to find this man and just get into a conversation about almost anything. Not me. I'm not him. messing around with any of these guys. <laughs> I don't know where they generated their wealth, and I don't want to know. <laughs> Just kidding. I would love to talk to Ichi no say. Here's the thing. This is a man that feels like the right partner for I've a nightcap. Like I've been in the lion's den with some real people, Ali. Some real people. And I can tell you, the den sinks its hooks in. And sometimes you're there for longer than you'd like. <laughs> Years, in fact. That fourth snifter of Hibiki. <laughs> Suddenly. Perhaps you come to Tokyo for <laughs> some business. 140. 140 to go. That is a supple coat. Anyway. And eights for Marquez, an awkward hand, three off the money. 
14 bigs, roughly. That bubble. She does she go does. all in, which is very nice. It was with a, dare I say, bit of reluctance. Of course, it's that kind of a spot. spot. But she did her thing. Yeah. And one thing that makes it a little bit more comfortable for her is that Kosei has enough chips to open in a speculatory way. Relief when the folds come in quickly. As Marquez here at her third ever Triton Festival. Did not cash the first three events. Looking to find the money here. Just one cash in her Triton career. That was an eighth place finish for 92,000 and change in a 25K turbo back in Vietnam at her first festival. This is her 10th crack. Marquez here as an open from the cutoff. Yeah, 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 yeah. One second. I'm dealing with a lot of just the men. <laughs> and look at this, Nick Steve. Yeah. Two queens on the button. Uh, we I anticipate have, perhaps some right abusive now. behavior out of that <laughs> stack at present, but in this case, we can see the kid is legit. That's exactly right, Ali, and that will certainly be on Marquez's mind. On her mind or not, though, if the three bet comes in, the ace nine in particular off suit. Not sure how she's going to feel about it. And Steve, you know, looking for some information, surveying. So 290 is the number he dials up. And barring the big blind waking up from anything, it's a little bit, it's exactly what you said, Ollie. One can see Anna thinking Steve is just right. leaning on her off of his big stack, three off of the 40,000 and change min cash. Think that as she may, though. It will How come back to her. Yeah, go, go. And is it ever enough of a thought for heroism? She's out there. I, I think yeah. heroism is always understandable in a spot like this. But she does snap very nice to not make a mess out of it. Good restraint from Marquez. I like that. Because things would definitely get messy. And as we can see... Uh, would have been clean up on aisle five when the queens beat her in. Indeed. What is this shirt, by the way, that I'm just trying to make out the pattern. Are these elephants being ridden? Four-legged creature of some sort? Can't quite make it out, but I like it. I mean, I'm telling you right now. Before we leave Jeju, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pursue. Just sort of a, you know, I don't even drink. I might do some whiskey with this guy. As I said, Holly, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the look. I love the look. He's incredible. It's just so, just, yeah. 
Oh, O'Dwyer gravitating here. towards the top of the I deck just, right I, now. I'm on a mission here, you know. <laughs> and also like the so unnatural to like check your cards on the left, you know. O'Dwyer, one thirty, Coon with nines on the button. It is going in. Good luck, Jason. Two off the money, but nine nine. Sub ten. All in. Good luck, sir. Back around to O'Dwyer, of course. Not table right now, or? He issues the summons. I got a pretty good hand. I got nine. Mm -hmm. I got two overs. Okay, sit on. And what has become a bit of a sporting yeah. deal there when the players are asked not to reveal their cards, they let each other off the hook with some verbal Indeed. exchanges. Million chip pot needs to go Jason Kuhn's way as the nines go up against the two overs and unscathed thus far on an 887 board with 49 left, two away from the money. Fades the turn, does Kuhn. Can he fade the river? Just six outs. Go on, Jason. Nine's full, over Stylistic fade. O'Dwyer, 3.3 million, small balance transfer over to Jason Kuhn, who now, by the way, relevant, up to 17 bigs. Marquez right there with him. Of course, our own Henry Kilbane, 10 bigs, nursing a little bit, not trying to be put to sleep on the outside of this bubble, just two away, certainly. Many would love to see him find the money here. And let's have a peek, Ali. 49 remain, as you said, two off. There is a three BB stack and a four BB for Zhang Yu and Winfred Yu. Daniel Dvores and Daniel Paulson with seven. Lonis as well. Seth Davies, Boyvin, Monica Zukowitz, Joseph. Many sub-10 BB stacks in the room. Yeah. A seven here for O'Dwyer, and a, you know, a sporting pause there from Jason. Unrelated to the 5-3. Shingis. Little suited connector on the button. Perhaps my favorite name, by the way. Hmm. Or there was a, there was a Chew, remember what was that? Chuck Chew. Chuck Chew Incredible. also, call. you know, we used to refer to him as Tai Tin, now. He said call, right? Tai okay, Tai. here we are. With Chuck. Sometimes Anyhow. call sounds like all in, but of course right, it right. would be just impossible. And a nice start for Kosei Ali, my. And a board one could certainly see O'Dwyer representing. Between the femur and the shin bone lies the joint. That's what Ichinose is working with. You and prepared that one today, right? Promise I didn't. Off the dome. Yeah. First timer, by the way. O'Dwyer, by the way, C-bet here, 100,000. Fruitless, but for a chop. 
which would require a 10, only three available. Close. Yes. Nice slow play from Kose. He knows Steve has a wide range, being the chip leader at the table. Deuce of spades on the turn. You mentioned earlier in the exchange with Kilbane, where he had made the flush that O'Dwyer's reputation precedes him. Could be a three-barrel kind of guy without it. And I only meant by that, not that you're saying otherwise that he's capable not insane, as some are, by the way. Mm. No, not, this is not. But psychopath. he'll run one on you, right. The only time I've ever actually been privy to any psychopathy from Steve O'Dwyer is when I say the word Lufthansa, as they did lose his baggage, and then really butchered the customer service with him after that, and he's sworn them off entirely. Understood. A, a real trigger. 4.10 to go here, by the way, Ali. And forgive the obvious, but if this isn't the dream for Ichinose, we really don't know what is. Steve wondering to what he owes this continued participation That's from Ichinose. so brutal for Kose, my word. This is a slice of three-day-old sashimi on the river. Vicious river. Absolutely. And for O'Dwyer, go on, Steve. Why not? We'll take that. Repugnant run out. Lately? Not lately, but I'm gonna go after this trip. Um, I was gonna go before, and, uh, I was just gonna come for the main and just play cash until the main, but it's big, so I just flew over here. 1,320,000. Here we are. Each and I'll say we'll be all in momentarily. He kind of knows it, Ichinose. You can feel it. Yeah. He knows what went down here. And, and even O'Dwyer. Yeah, a sympathetic smirk. Yes. He's taking it well. That's a sick one. I mean, for a public game, I mean, if there were a sword yeah, that's nearby. Sick. Yeah, where's that at? Uh, perhaps we reach him. Yeah, My point was, from before. Rare. That was <laughs> Five ten almost never ran. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's only one two four game. <laughs> oh yeah. But Kong or what? Mr. Kong or I gotta confess that one really got me. Oh. I mean uh, when it was five ten, not one two four one two four. It's unjust. That's a rough one, and of course, then we play the game with ourselves on bricks, who even knows, perhaps we get the full double. But alas, this is poker, and we move forward if we're Kose. I gotta tell you, there's something therapeutic about being here at the desk and observing for far higher stakes than, you know, I suffer these fates. I know what you mean. Oh, it ain't just me. <laughs> it happens to them, too. Right. Took it well, did Kose. <laughs> I know, I know. 
Hills don't do it for us here, you know. The reason behind it being a lucky number. 555 and 555,000. Yeah. Those are my co-lucky numbers. Ace-Jack suited for Shingis. Hey, Huff. Danny, I think they, I think there's some on zero chance I'm right about that, and I'm not going full just fucking crazy. I can't remember. 120. Like, I know it's like pointless to ever try to execute, but I think that it's something that you might see. Like Hang on a second. This is not what I anticipated to ensue when we paused upon the 7-8 offsuit of Kose, but from the small, he leans on Shingis surprisingly. Same boat, Ali. Indeed, he's leaning. And does Shingis go quietly? Quite a lot of hand. He is in. Yeah. Kose. Go on, Kose. Likely going his way, Ali. Open-ended on the King-9-6 board. Pairless and heartless is the ace-jack with 800 in the middle. He chopped that ace-10, ace-7, and just got right to work, Ali. I know that feeling. <laughs> Not on the stone bubble, by the way. Still two away with 49 left, 47 paid. And a stone coin flip from this point forward. In terms of equities. Asks for it all. And <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Cochira la cose. Ichinose. I met you like the next year or something, like 2012 for us. Is Ichinose secretly boiling right now? Is that <laughs> what it was? The 7 8 off just rose up. Perhaps. <laughs> just He's certainly not showing it with his mannerisms. Right. Those are the and scary is, ones, it, by the and way. And it is a. a thematic kind of lean on Shingus there stack wise right. and tournament situation wise. That particular hand is a bit rogue, but nonetheless. An apparent pause here. I believe the hand for but hand is soft in nature at be so present late. to a way yeah, if you're right. from the money. And, and for those like unfamiliar, Nick, just kind of explain the, the concept of soft hand for hand I mean you could you could probably like it is to ensure that each table in the room example, plays yeah. an yeah. equal yeah. amount of hands kind of so like as one doesn't slow down to a crawl like and another game. plays oh, yeah. a few in a row right would be quite unfair to subject them to that many more orbits of That's play right. or hands of play in a moment as critical so as the, this so the tournament uh, director yeah, monitors kind of the tables Usually soft hand for hand is two hands at a time, oh. and then direct hand for hand right. is one, no, no, but they may be going <laughs> one here, <laughs> unclear. Keep, keep being here every day, so I'm and it's because the intrusiveness to the flow of play of actual hand for hand can be a bit disruptive, so you know, the softness allows the flow of play to have some leeway. When I live in Australia in 2017, Stay out of this. <laughs> so bad grinding online. Sun in Australia, I would like start like 2 a.m. on Sunday. Asia is not only I think yeah. it's America's card game, but it's open to the world, is it? Yeah, but they rebranded it. Two a.m. Card game. Now they're Asia. Hang on. A gathering at one of our outer tables. It looks, looks like, like 6-10 suited. Yeah. Go on, Ali. And what else? 8-9, which has slid into the lead. Right? It was Jack-8 small, I believe. Names are escaping me, Nick. Apologies, by the way, because I know the face is familiar to me, but drawing a current blank No off. problem. We Just know the 10-6 needs the 10. And the river. 
The river Winner is the for eight of clubs. nine. We lose GG, GQ sir. We've lost one. Place. 48 players remaining. We're going to table number one. Do we have another all in, Ali? Believe we might. Right, Shadam, please. Could that have been Zhang Yu? So the bubble Queen could Fred burst right here. Shows King four, King of Arts four, or Diamond. Team shows Ace Jack. Ace of Arts, Jack of Clubs. We're going to see a flop. Okay. Another collision. Adams the flop is involved. King, Jack five, Rainbow. His Ace Jack. Being outflopped, it would appear. Adams is covering Winfred, it appears. So There's if Winfred holds, the bubble does not burst, I do believe. Has and to fade Barry or a hook. The river is oh, the go oh. on, Clubs. Timothy. Very good we game to you, sir. A place. We have 47 plays remaining, but we still have... One of the Triton OGs. Winfred, you... So it is one of these situations where the tables need to play an equal amount. So perhaps the bubble has not officially burst as there could be some chopping of the min cash. Let's see. Right? Well, it has to so have burst, but just the nature of the distribution. Winford could lay claim perhaps some to a portion like of the min That's cash. That's right. Not the bubble I've caught all three streets. Well... I nearly called the three streets also on the bubble. Hands not owed by this particular table. That's right. Oh, they do owe. Deal me out this time. <laughs> Enjoy. Just to respect you. If one goes in bus, they'll get two thirds of that, right? Uh, because it, yes, exactly. Okay. It's like divided between all the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You get like uh, 16k. Oh, 16k. And let's just hope nobody busts out. Alright. I mean, you, you're already in the money, yeah. so it's kind of like. In the money. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, in the money, everybody. Smaller <laughs> bubble. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, so it could be four okay. players or five players. Yeah, seven. Who knows? I'm playing <laughs> King's Plus only. I play like five plus. All right, so four staff. Do you think I raise some, there's some money back, so maybe it could be wider? Has explained that if you get showered in this pot, you will be I'm just gonna look at one cut. chopping them in cash. Okay, I'm folding. With Winford Yu. Or anyone else that might be showered on this specific hand elsewhere in the room. <laughs> That's right. A one hand marker must be paid by this feature. I thought perhaps the pause was because they had kind of gotten ahead of themselves. Just less money, but whatever, let's play. Let's play. Come on. And then we're breaking less money by somebody else will break very good hand. It's basically it's like sweet. I don't know where is my uh, range. Nobody <laughs> 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 looking to play this one. I hope I'm just gonna get ten dudes. Wow, this guy he hopes he gets ten dudes. <laughs> That's what you get for what for, for, for hoping you have ten dudes. Yeah, I okay. just shot. You hope to get like ace jack or something. Yeah, any ace. Nah, I know what you mean. You don't you, you don't want a tough spot. Yeah. Made very tight, <coughs> very tight laid down. Yeah. You had very tight? Jack Hines mm. mm. For me, it's tight. Very tight. Yeah. It's maybe All right. I don't know. Guys, it's not a satellite, just so you know. You know We're going to step away for four minutes. We'll be right back. More coverage in a moment. After a bit.
Welcome to the Daily Dose of GTO Quiz of the Day. You're playing an 8-max MTT, 25 big blind steep. It's a button versus big blind single raise pot, and you're facing an 83% c-bet on jack 7-3 rainbow. Which of these hands should you consider folding? 6-5, king-queen, 7-4, or king-3? Find the answer in the Daily Dose of GTO, our free ebook designed to help you master GTO poker in just five minutes per day. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience. Just seize the wonder. Jeju Shinoa World. How are you? But if it's just your big blind CD, that would be fine. Back now? But not if you said it. <laughs> Continuing coverage? I think it's all in the intention, right? I think that's of the 25K yeah. GG yeah. Millions, where the bubble just burst here on day two of the event, a seven-figure payout, awaiting the event to <laughs> in one and a half million. Min caches will be worth $43,500. That'll be the case straight through to 40th place, and then a jump of 5500 as 39th all the way through 32nd will pay 49k. Chang Ji Zhang, despite the bubble bursting, two sevens up front just bins it. And he would have ran into resistance next door. Indeed, he does. Rabbits says 120. <laughs> Netsov has been a relatively dormant big stack, I would say. We I, did see some involvement, but I uh, don't really agree at all. Really, we were seeing he him opened be five four suited under the gun. That's the lone hand that stands. No, out. Was he was he piled queen four suited from the small for 20 some odd. Okay, other kind of no, big stack type opens. <coughs> 
Plus, we're not holding at his yeah, feature table, so unclear exactly. obviously what he's up to when we're elsewhere. You can uh, spend 43,500 on... Yeah, just profit. All the profit. All the profit, so like... Okay, one bullet. In this one. <laughs> it has to be specified. Just about this one. Just <laughs> Everything else is like... Yeah, forget, forget the past. Paying a visit back Do you feel good? to Jason you Conan Company. Healthy and all this stuff? I feel kind of lazy. Lazy is not, it's not lazy, I mean, maybe you need more time to recover. Doesn't have to be that you're lazy. Uh, yeah, I need more exercise, maybe. Yeah, I used maybe. to wear, I wore yeah. one for about a year. Um, oh. Yeah, if you need more time to recover, Which one did you wear, Jason? More, what you wear? Because your body tells you you need more time and you just sleep. Mm, yeah, maybe I just eating. didn't like to think about it. Maybe you need to eat just, like um, lean, more uh, lean, me, find yeah, a better very, diet. Uh, right, right, right. That's like me, actually. Mm. Yeah, I'm very consistent with my routines, and um, yeah, I just got like a little, yeah, a little bit anxious just looking at it and being like, oh, I've only got a 70% sleep score, or, like maybe I'm yeah, not going to so play my best today, yeah. because, you know, like yeah, I just yeah, yeah. prefer Plus, to like, not think a, about it. If you, have, if you have like a nice routine, like, and you see the data, you're going to like want to optimize it and then think about, oh, should uh, I you know, change my routine? It's exactly. Working, working per perfectly well for you. I think it's I a really one. great tool for a one lot one of one people. One. It it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, it just doesn't work. I might try it for a while and then, you know. Yeah. It's also good if you're like making habit changes and you want to see like data oh, of your habits changing. But me, like I haven't made a habit change in years. Not you know, a habit change like, to be exactly opening. What works for me. King 10 suited on the eat. button. You know, everything. Dwyer, with an antidote of sorts, <laughs> sixes. She goes for the min initially, as opposed to just all in herself. <laughs> and fair enough, she is gone. Yeah, immediate punishment there. Note, though, that she would have had to see five if she did pile in, perhaps, against Dwyer. I believe so. Yeah. And would have been behind, of course. But her stack continues to whittle away. New arrival, Samuel Muller. Very tough. We've seen him yes, in our streets before. He plays under the Austrian banner. Another one of those flags we don't like to see. for Henry. Sub 10 big blind stack. Wants to think about it in the hijack here. Obviously having made the money, wheels are a bit more greased. It's going in. Good luck, sir. Yep. Oh, Dwyer one pip better than last time. Certainly will be giving Henry a spin. All in. All in. Yep. You Henry eyeing the clock in regards to pay jumps. Plus there are been 40. In the tournament. By the way. Good luck, Henry. Gentlemen, here we are. And first time he's been all in all tournament. So he picked the right time to do it on the inside of the bubble. Indeed. You flashed the ace of diamonds, did you? Ouch. Now I'm guaranteed to win Steve Ah, like. yeah. Oh, seven in the oh, window. Oh, Dwyer running Eight very percent. clean right now. White hot. Henry could find himself drawing dead on the turn. Eight or a nine would help instead. It's the jack. And the run comes to an end for our own as Henry Kilbane. GG, Henry. Excellent run. Go pick up that 43.5. Yeah. This is yours. And do so with pride as you earn the respect of peers, those that you have commentated on for quite some time. And maybe the cat's a bit out of the bag in terms of just how much aptitude percolates. Indeed, Ali.
Look at Schwecht and Fedor. Spent the morning with Fedor doing a little promo shoot along with Bertrand Gropelier, Elki, as we refer to him. He arrived a little bit late, but you know what? Personally, I was happy to see it because I knew he was going to have to rumble day two here. Losing Rems mm. would be a bit more costly. There you go. For him. Katie looks intrigued. She does jam. Spot on read on your part here. And again, the small pairs. Okay. If I recall, under the gun was sevens, the uh, open fold from Zhang. Different circumstances here, as he says, all in. Zhang is shapeless, formless. Mm. He's in. Topets <laughs> with one that might have been of more interest with the absence of this behavior well, much is that okay, behind dude? Katie's open. Everything okay? Thank you. You're welcome. How much? 7-0. That was the plan. 7-40. That's what I'm saying. Like. Okay. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Does find the fold. Katie says she loves it, but obviously referring to the fact that she's not dominated by an ace king or ace ten. Or perhaps up against Good a luck, pair ladies, gentlemen. Better than the one point six in the middle. Possibilities for Katie. Mm -hmm. Four is still in the I'm lead. Lucky woman. I'm being the jack. And they stay that way as a six pairs. An odd card would be the ace as opposed to the queen. It's the nine. Good game, Miss Lindsay. Yep. 44 remain. Found her way to the money, though, Nick. And obviously, this is a much nicer place from which to exit the arena. Oh, on the other big side of the here. money bubble. The classic, classic, Ali. Yes, sir. And this is a meaty one, 3.3 million. As Ichinose's ace king collides as a covering stack with James Chen's queens, the Macau cash game fixture <laughs> from Taiwan. Ace six deuce does have the diamond. when you're already ahead. Can Chen hit the miracle, Ali? No say out flopping him and staying in front. Obviously, these hands played themselves. But this This is a lot of yen. Heading toward Ichinose. He's going to be a threatening presence as we march on. Nick, obvious reasons. The now almost 5 million chip stack. Very much so, Ali. Enjoying Ichi no se sweats. I believe you mentioned that observations a day ago as this one got underway. I like his game. Right.
Oh, Dwyer. King 10 off, that which activates. Shingus, baby suited ace. 15 bigs coming in. Could certainly see Shingus taking a stand. Does pass. Also understandable. Hold it around to Kosei in the big blind, and might these two meet once again, Ali? Their last date, they went Dutch. Similar territory. Dominant 10 for O'Dwyer, both with the straight draw. Obviously, Kosei's is more favored. 350 in the middle. Deep stack collisions here. Third overall is Ichinose. Behind Vincent Wong, who brought the chip lead into today, and Alexander Shevlyakov now resting up top with 6.3 million. Back, though, to the matter at hand between O'Dwyer and Kose. 90K into 350. A flat, and now look at this card. Four-liner on board, two-tone texture as Ichinose hops in front with the straight, but O'Dwyer far from drawing dead. Kings and tens. If history is an indication, then surely we assume the jack is the river. These spots are so interesting, the four-liner boards, two-tone. When do we seek value with two-pair? When do we not? Are Steve's suits good? Are they bad? All of these considerations and ideas really are interesting and important spots. He's going for value, and to me, this seems quite nice. There are clear targets of one pair plus flush draw, inferior two pairs, and if Kosei has a straight, there's a good chance he doesn't raise anyway. They're so deep, we have to fear the ace jack. He might, but nonetheless, I, I do enjoy these particular spots. Is the second barrel on the turn from O'Dwyer also enjoying sort of a, a purchase in terms of deference on this, the river? This is yet another element in the melting pot of EV gained and loss. Good point. Does check it back. As you said, take it, Mr. Ichinose. So this round will go cleanly to Kose as his surge continues. Have you been to Japan yet, Nick? I feel I like I should know this. And you, you, like myself, a massive fan of the country and culture. Uh, I do like Japan. Yeah. I enjoyed it very much. Also unclear why the glimpse at Chidwick and company over there, but nevertheless, back we are. Okay. Dwyer, down to under four million. Queen 10 off. Raises. Sevens for Satubayev. Remember that ace three suited. He took a pass on a hand to go on the button. Holding. Not this one though, Ali. Too much, he says. And now Samuel Muller, six is on the button. I don't think he's gonna chew long and indeed he spits it out. Well. The 
and Dwyer doing the same. Shingus has been bobbing and weaving out there, hovering around 20 bigs. Demir Jugralin, the other player coming to mind that flies the Kazakh flag here in the Triton streets. FIFA Kazakhstan, Ali. Listen, I might just spend a few months touring Central Asia, just introducing them to the 16-game mix. You know, <laughs> have you guys played? Uh, so this one is called board? Archie. <laughs> yes. Yes. Triple draw high low, guys. Let me show you how it works. I know they play mixed games in Japan quite a lot. I'll tell you what, the Japanese players have infiltrated. And they're tough. And they are absolutely tough. And for Marquez, might it be going in, Ali? Ace-10, small blind. And for Kose, looks like he's just barely priced in. Yeah, asks for the count. It's close. 40 left of 305, but he can certainly afford it. <laughs> Look, he knows Queen 10 offsuit is, is not the best hand. What he needs we really to find hope out. to see sevens, eights, even ace jack. It is quite close, though. Nobody enjoys these calculations. And indeed, he does. Give it a run. Dominated is Ichinose, but obviously for Marquez, a delightful development. One and a quarter million in the middle. A nice flop, nine, four, four. No cause for concern, no diamond across the way. No queen, the thought on her mind. A compliant turn rolls off. Go on, Anna. Prize of Vamos in Camp Marquez. I really should have got out to a real Madrid game when we had our Triton Madrid stop. I know you weren't with us there, but is like... It, is it not Real Madrid? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I've been to Camp No for, mm. a, for a Barcelona mm, si. FC, Bar uh, FC Barcelona match. Caught a red pepper, by the way, from Messi. There's some weird thing where, where they clinch La Liga red bell peppers. You're a or soccer like a fan, bit, right? You know, casual. Let me tell you who are soccer fans. These Triton regs. Yes, sure. Massive yeah, like football fans. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying like it doesn't make sense. But yeah, you know, I'm more casual about it. I just want to say as a. Yeah, I'm just saying as a player, I think it's not a good procedure. No, no. Not sure what procedure. Fedor is referring to, but he doesn't like it, Ali. I'll tell you what, I, I, I tend to kind of feel as though the Fedor side is usually one that is well thought out. In fact, dare I say, always well thought out. Zhang thinking 130. And he looks like he's <coughs> thinking about something here. We still see the hand of Schwecht that has departed. Fedor is in. And that hand is 8-8. Eight, eight. Played as a flat. An 8 into the bin already. No, forgive me, it's Symbolis's hand. Matas, that is. I thought perhaps it was Kuznetsov. Matas in, closing the action. <coughs> and 
flopping top pair. The eight certainly we know would have been no good for Matas. And here he is in front in a three-man field. And immediately we begin to question if Fedor had activated for the three bet now. And it does it's look pretty. like if Zhang follows through with this chip reach, he's going quite big. And if Fedor calls, which isn't automatic, he's sizing him up. It's actually a little bit interesting for Matas, but top pair is top pair. Is two and a quarter prudish? into this? No, it's a, a normalish yeah. size. I got a bit carried away. Fedor does let go of the eights, so that clarifies things quite a bit for Matas. The presence of Matas behind him, I would imagine having a little something maybe to do with that? By the way, you're exactly right, and a wise observation, Ali. A flat, and let's see what happens on the turn without a third participant more attractive to Holtz. This 10-8 giving Mata some fits as he tries to chart a course. Certainly he's not going to fold top pair, is he, Nick? I don't believe so, Ali. I think he's weighing call or raise. I believe he's putting it in. Uncomfortably so. And maybe a pay jump is on his mind in case he's beat. 39 remain. The next jump is not for a while, so it's not that. Are you waiting for the pay jump? He's trying to size him up. There aren't that many natural bluffs, so to speak. And he did fire into Fedor on the button, so Matas is genuinely concerned. Because the airy seabed into a three-way field is that much less airy and frequent. That's exactly right. He may put him on jacks or queens and just fold Ali, but I would be surprised. The struggle feels real right about now. I think he thinks he's beat, but still, 13 bigs. I mean, I Zhang is sitting, his stack's deep enough that he can be frisky out here. It's true, but we can understand. I'm a bit frustrated by the slow play, so I just, yeah. I, I know it's a procedure. Many time banks now being burned through. We may very well have a hero fold on our hands. Oh, it does look like he's folding based on that, although still cradling the cards. He does do it. I'll Bravo tell you what, it us. felt like all three sort of outcomes were very available throughout various points in that tank. It did, and by the way, I think Zhang has to fold, but it is a touch close. Things like 4-5 are possible, and some equity against what we're looking at, but perhaps not enough 
He has to think it through, though. It's a little bit awkward with the back door and the straight possibilities and, of course, the ace. Well, let me ask you this. When the tank is that deep and then the check raise comes forth, in terms of your range assignment, is there any alteration? Yes. In what direction? Weaker? Stronger? TBD? Can't so much say, but of course, yes. Look He's at Roman's like, are we still on this hand? Guys, I've been... Calculus. Go on, Jang. Okay. I didn't quite catch what it was that he was really working through verbally there, there, but... Huh? I play really tight. I know. Uh, you still can do this. How many time banks? What about me? Six tall? Yes. Um, two, uh, what? Is it the red ones or... Oh, sorry, no, it's oh, sorry. Uh, the green one. I confess, yeah. many more time banks met their maker than I would have expected in that exchange. They, they did meet their maker, you're right. I did have a pair, I have a pair of call. I need to. So oh, then, yep. Me too. I never play tight. Uh, 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 yeah. Matas. Just so happily, I didn't have anything. Uh, a7 suited with he's the card. He's a net. He's a net dog. Yeah. I was thinking Wings back off card, <laughs> fight the sand, hit an ace. I think. Yeah. It's a net. Huh? He said that you are a net. Net, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest net at this table. <laughs> Roman's kicks, by the way, let's not overlook these. Just catching a glimpse. You like those, Holly? I do. So that when you pull the yeah. Flavorful. Yeah. <laughs> I think the green laces in particular is what kind of, you know, right. sets us apart. All right. Kind of an Air Max 270 man myself. I... You got a pair? Not sure about the 270s. No, I don't have those. As Ali just put his foot up on the desk. <laughs> Kose Ichinose has been the story as he's worked his way to the top of this leaderboard, 4.7. And in terms of overall chip leaders at present, he runs in fourth. O'Dwyer in seventh, second here at this affair, which now includes Sergio Ido, Nick. And, you know, it isn't personal, but uh, deeply unwelcome, I would imagine, is Ido. Indeed not personal. It's a, a compliment. Seven suited for O'Dwyer facing an under the gun open from Samuel Muller. Word has come down from producer James Dempsey. This young man here won the 25k GG Millions live out in the Bahamas Indeed not he long did. ago. That was good for multi millions. Very much so. Beat Frankie Brennan heads up, East Coast legend. I was there, Ollie, in the room. Suspect hoisting hardware after facing and off with Brennan heads up means he earned it. Very much so. And this, this is a little bit precarious. I could see jam in this spot. We could see peeling and even sliding it is possible, Ali. To what do we owe O'Dwyer's aggressions targeting... Does just let it go. Fair enough. Worse hand in the muck. The under-the-gun open He still knows things like this are possible. 
And Muller has one of those stacks okay. that's worth quite a bit. So O'Dwyer can leverage that. A little finger wag. <laughs> I didn't get past two semesters of Japanese in college, Nick. I've done enough omakase that the, you know, the arigatos and the irashaimases are still with me, but most of that exchange I'm, I'm not going to be able to help with. Yes, fair enough, Ali. Ace Jack, though, helping 120. Work its way to the middle. You're a man of the omakase. I've actually abandoned the omakase a bit in lieu of a la carte. Uh, trust issues? Not so much trust. I just know what I like. Okay. Certainly we don't like eight deuce off. There it goes. Now Muller. Four three off. Bins it as well. For being a landlocked city, you and I both hailing from Las Vegas, by the way, I do feel compelled to say that there are some tremendous sushi restaurants in Sin City. That'll put a dent in the bankroll. Restaurants in general. Yeah. We have a break upon us, Ali. Everybody's standing. It does feel that way. Mics are being reached for as well. And of course, if the players are taking a break, then we are on the precipice of taking one of our own. Cards are in the air, though. So perhaps a bit premature. Maybe we. Maybe it was. Get another one out. And then the breather. Although the baseline continues. I, I like the baseline. Here we go. Give me some flow. Oh, oh man. Oh. Just about to let it drop. Really disappointing. 130 to go from O'Dwyer. Ace, king. Oh my. Two jacks. And maybe that break would have been a welcome one. TBD though, as we know the collision is eminent between Satubayev and O'Dwyer Muller's path to the exit, I suspect, aided by open and three bet. Although, note, it's O'Dwyer and then the button of Shingis. Good points. I think your initial feeling is, is the one we'll be seeing. Yeah. Samuel, by the way, a bit of a baby-faced assassin. Don't yes. Let, don't let the years make you think that he isn't chiseled. Oh, we're not. Oh, hang on. He does do it. Rips the ace ten suited two queens for oh Idol. My goodness. Hang tight here. This is wild, Ali. Uh, very seldom do we see an open and then three successive jams. Note all of them larger than the one that precedes, and O'Dwyer covers all three. In each successive one of these jams, the range is so much narrower. The last of them coming from the big blind of Sergio Ido off of 2.1. This is not clear to me at all how to proceed if we're O'Dwyer, but my initial feeling is to fold, although call would be 
very understandable, my no. word. Perhaps we draw the line at ace-king suited. We know Sergio's range is so, as the most legit credible. as it gets. Yeah. And of course, Muller can easily have kings or aces. Yeah, he's about as light as you could hope him to be, is Samuel. You are all in real fast. You had plenty of time to think about it. A rare opportunity to Indeed. listen in on O'Dwyer's thoughts in a tricky spot. It would be huge for Samuel equity-wise if O'Dwyer folded. Worthy of note, Nick, we did reach our first pay jump as there are just 37 remaining. 49, 47 through 40, paid 43.5, 49,000 the on tap payout. We do not jump once He is more. putting it in. Oh, Fair wow. enough, he's running it correctly as it stands. This is wild, Ali. So we're gonna have multiple side pots here. Satu Bayab is gonna play while. four ways for the main. I'll tell you one way we don't have a side pot is if O'Dwyer hits a king. Sure. That'll make the math real easy. Huge pot here, my. Now Muller's gonna play three ways with queens and ace king, and then Ido squares off Blue for the final the portion with O'Dwyer alone. So to the flop we go, seven, four, four. Queens are cozy. Oh, he picks third, up the four, four. Alec Muller as well. Ace for a chop, king for a clean winner, and Sergio instead my. it's the eight. So showers in two camps. And that does make the side pot simple as Sergio collects Muller and Shingus' stacks, and O'Dwyer just pays Sergio the amount that he has. What a pickup for Ido, Ali. And obviously a sour note for the dearly departed in terms of Satubayev and Muller. They will go home with $49,000 apiece. O'Dwyer making sure the accounting is accurate. When the dust settles, he will be left wounded Bruised and on break. <sighs> what a moment that was. Blinds will be going up to 40 and 80,000 as a scheduled break is upon us. 1.7 and changes that which remains in front of Ireland's Steve O'Dwyer. But in front is where Sergio Ido finds himself there at that table and an incredibly breathless exchange there. Was it possibly, Nick, one of those moments where the Ace King could have considered folding? I sense that you might have been going that direction. Certainly you could consider folding. Uh, it was very close to O'Dwyer. He alluded to the speed at which Sergio put his chips in. Maybe he read him for Queens. We know we might have Shingus in bad shape. And Muller had ace-10 suited, so... Which, again, he, was very light for He him. had that situation read very well. If he put Ido on queens, uh, that was a crazy scenario. Nobody yeah. really knows exactly what to do with those. It was six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. He ran it. Huge tournament implications type pot, and what a pickup for Ido. No question. So then, I will be stepping aside and doing so with 35 remaining here in our field as... 
This 25K GG Millions is shaping up to be a special one, Nick. No question about it. I do want to give you guys one more glimpse there at the leaderboard. It is Sergio Ido at the top of it officially. Once the accounting is complete, having dethroned Shevlyakov, Tim Adams has entered the conversation in third. Everyone in the money. Pay jumps still not quite there, but obviously seven figures awaiting one of these final 35. So Will Jaffe's going to step in for me. You continue to enjoy the sultry baritone musings of Nick Shulman and uh, I guess stick around 10 minutes time we'll be back with more from here day two of the 25k GG millions Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard. Practice against GTO on all your devices. Study any situation using our revolutionary AI-powered solver. Upload your hand histories to uncover your biggest leaks. We have hundreds of hours of coaching from top pros, cutting edge theory articles, and custom study plans to help guide your poker journey. GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top-up, up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience. Just seize the wonder. Teju Shinoa World. For me, yeah, that can be problematic. But no understandable, doubt. they block the pulse out there. We we can see why they're wearing it. The ace queen of Kuznetsov slides over to Yan, and we can see why he's opening from the button. Ace 10 suited for Vieira, 520 back. This bodes quite poorly. 
certainly does, Ali. It will be going in. Yep. He'll see the bad news. Mm -hmm. Can he hit perhaps a 10, maybe some hearts? He'll need some of that. If he hopes to continue here in the quest for a cash. One point two million chip pot. Heavy favorite is the ace queen. The flop will bring us into focus. A heart in the window. No others joining it, but a pair on the board. And we know that the chops do loom. No backdoor heart draw. Eight, deuce, king. It would all do. Ten, obviously, for the Good clean game, winner. Sir. But instead, it's the jack. And Vieira. Vanquished. <coughs> By the way, he's not the first to hit the locker room on the day. As we began with 66, Nick, first, nary a comment. I'm going to run out there and give that man an exam. Like, is everything okay, Ren? Right. Just, you know what I mean? <laughs> Meanwhile, the Booth Brethren. Henry killed Bane, ace queen, 90k open, 10 9 suited here for O'Dwyer in the cutoff. He's chewing on it. And O'Dwyer in a familiar position, having a very nice stack in front of him. He is indeed chewing on it, Ali. A three bet to 235, and this is a little bit awkward for Henry. Another 145 to call. Obviously, ace queen, a good deal of hand. Quite a few different roads to go. Cool. Played as a call. And this one grows to 570k here. It certainly does. 61 remain. 47 make the money, and it's a very interesting flop. Henry with top pair, top kicker, the ace of clubs to boot, and of course O'Dwyer with the flush draw. Henry checking with the flow of play, collisions potentially eminent for obvious reasons. As the three better here, are we always compelled to continue putting chips into the pot with I these flush draws? I, I think so. As does Shaman O'Dwyer. Checking feels possible, but this is quite typical. And the upside to the check, obviously, is it somewhat conceals the club draws. It conceals the club draws, and also Henry's range here is overtly respectable, calling the three bet, nearing the money, but nonetheless, we can understand O'Dwyer's procedures, and for Henry, let's see if he goes for call or raise. By the way, the ace of does clubs call. deeply relevant, potentially, in the event that O'Dwyer sure. does pick up this club. That's right, Ollie. Another 280 into the middle, pot at 850, and there is the club. Coupled with a wheel gutter, this is a tremendous amount of kit for Kilbane. Very much is. He'll be check calling something healthy, I would think, perhaps even raising. And as it stands, Kilbane in dire straits, Ollie. Absolutely. Let's see how greedy the Irishman will get here as he looks over on the hunt for Kilbane's gold. Just go for half pot. You know, That's slightly sloppy pattern. <laughs> Kilbane immediately <laughs> on him. Clearly no escape here. Is there ever a case for getting in for Henry? There are always cases to be made, but I think in the face of half pot, call speaks to me. 
but a raise would be understandable. He has a, an incredible hand, so to speak, but we can imagine hands that have us in trouble, and this is, of course, one of them. And also, there are some bluffs Steve can have. King of Clubs, Jack. Some mergy ace wheel. Let's see, Ali. Both One. make sense. The only thing we're not doing if we're kill paying is folding. One and a quarter million in there already. I gotta admit. Does go I... for call, Ali, and let's see if Henry can hit. When I look out and I see just 16% equity in front of a hand that just, the initial response is It's a cold like game, it Ali. So it can bad. be a cold game. Huge river coming. And O'Dwyer does hold. Four-liner on board. 3x doesn't rate to be a part of the equation for either. Sub one SPR. As they play 1.2 effective, I imagine Steve will feel comfortable asking for all of it. I, I believe so, Ali. Maybe he leaves him with some chips just to sort of play that game, but putting him in is natural. Oh, Dwyer, brutal to read. And a very difficult spot for Henry on the river. Does put him in, Ali. And we can't tell from this vantage point if Henry has time banks. I assume he does behind his stack, and they'll be getting used if he does. If he doesn't, this is really crunch time. Oh, there they are on the rail, producer uh, James has pointed out, just in the nice shadow catch. that lurks. Okay. Well, they'll be going into the middle. Understandably. doesn't have tons of time. Welcome back to Jeju Shinwa World Triton Super High Roller Series. Will Jaffe, Nick Shulman. And Nick, at times like these, I think of one of my favorite quotes from music of all time. Bling, bling. Every time I come around your city, bling, bling. <laughs> there it is. From the Cash Money Millionaires. Yes, yes, I got it. Of course you know. Today we will be awarding another Cash Money Millionaire, Big Nicky. $1.485 million up top in this, you know, GG 25K here. And uh, I haven't been in the booth, but kind of fill me in. What's been going on? What's the speed? We burst the bubble. Well, it's been, as always, an interesting day. And there was a really sick one right before we went to break. A four-way all-in where Sergio Ido crept into the chip lead, or not really crept, but, you know, bulldozed his way into the chip lead. Queens, ace-king, jacks, ace-ten suited, one of those. And uh, as always, much of the same. Some great plays, some unique kind of sidelines, and as you said, bling-bling is upon us. It really is. Sergio, uh, another great Spanish player, Adrian Mateos, the conquistador. I can't harp on it enough. 29 years old, I know. 40 million in tournament earnings. All-time great. I mean, let's take you guys down. I mean, we got some really stacked tables here. Uh, at our blue table, if you want to pull up the app, Mario Mosbeck. Um, you know, probably the best of the Fedor bots out there still in. Fedor himself still in, Nick, not on these tables. I would say, yes, go on, Will. Uh, Timothy Adams leading the blue table. Uh, ran up a monster stack, Nick. I remember last night we saw him double, I think, from a 10 big blind stack, now up to 68 bigs. That's right. And Danny, the ice fisherman, Devoris, down with three bigs and a dream. Very much the dream. Very good player at our other table, Vincent. There you see him. Uh, 
I think he made a final table earlier. I've seen him around. Someone who's probably looking to make a splash. Oh boy, Hachua's got the mic involved in the massage. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be an issue. That looks incredible, by the way. And She's going double elbows there. This guy, Hachua. Okay, Nick, last night orders a bottle of wine, like, mid-hand. Yes. Starts sure. the day off with a massage. Yes. Yeah, it, all true. And this is Jesse Lonis, very good American player. Welcome, oh, sir. Yeah. Legend. Seth Davies, uh, great player. 475 behind. Calvin Lee, another legend, Will. One of my best friends in poker. Nick. Really? Yeah. Well, there you go. And for Chidwick, it will be going in, glancing at the clock to see about pay jumps. See if Michaelitis wakes up with anything. Indeed, he does. Chop it up, we would think. Michaelitis, one of the chip leaders here. Before I forget. Great series so far for Dom. Stevie looking to spin. Club's working for Dom. Not what Stevie was looking to see. Really not what he was looking to see, Will. This is not the way you want to go, is it? No. Oh, oh my. GG, Stevie. He D mics. You could feel <laughs> the physical kind of. Look, Stevie's taking a lot of bad ones, but the King Queen off versus the King Queen off, Nick? <laughs> Those are so rough. I actually got the read that Stevie felt literally nothing. I, he wanted to remain, but these guys are so. You just can't do it at that level if anything phases you, really. Although, I, I know what you mean. Mossbeck leaning on Adams. Mossbeck allegedly played pro soccer before starting his poker career, Nick. Sounds like a great story to make up for someone <laughs> who was created in a factory in Austria, but does check out. Well, well they have to have backstories if we're churning out the bots. Tim Adams with the ace four off and uh, just going to let it go. There is a pay jump upon us. 49,000 guaranteed, 34 remain, and at 31st, it's 55.5. That's on their minds. Adams leaning on them a bit. And we talk about tournaments. There's all these different phases, right? You, you saw the money bubble burst. Obviously, very, very much pressure. Are we at a more relaxed phase now before things pick up, or is it still ICM implications? More relaxed than the bubble, but implications throughout until it climaxes. And it's interesting, some of Adam's open there with Ace-4 off. One idea might be that divorce is very short. Only speculating, but all of these split stack situations it really is endless will and look at this nick officer watson oh he's doing officer watson on a brand new day but fair enough 160 to go i i ran into mike right before we got in here and i said what do you think about the nickname officer watson he said i don't like it and he said why i said why would you call me that and i said well you're kind of mean and he goes who told you that and I was just thinking, nobody. <laughs> Fair enough, Will. Mike Watson takes down a nice one there. Great player. And there are so many great players here, Nick. It's just like, I know I should be used to it by now. But, I, you know, I'm used to doing World Series of Poker events. I'm used no, to doing... I know what you mean. Watson really is very impressive. He kind of... He's just a great player. But he's, like, sneaky good. Kind of sneaky in a way. It, it isn't really, but... It does take a while to realize if you watch him play for a while, it's sort of like, wow, you know, this is really the upper end of the Grandmaster. It will be going in for Dvoris. Good luck, sir.
And when you've been nursing the nub, it always feels a little easier to just stick it in, right? It does. Justin Saliba, very good player. And Boyvin would think the two paint cards warrant continuation. I would too, Will. Kind of awkward, though, with the pay jump and Big Tim there, big stack. It's a little bit awkward. I think if we continue, it's with a jam to isolate. And it is a little bit awkward. He does do it. And let's see if Timmy wakes up. He's gone. Good luck, Daniel. Thomas. And I've noticed, Nick, day one, 100 big blind stacks abound. Day two, it's really these small stacks. And these pots might see not seem like a lot, but it wouldn't be surprised Danny can double up here, never know. He might be a force exactly. down the road. Exactly. You see it all the time. Can he spin? Good start. So far, so good. Go on, Daniel. You're right about the no emotion, Nick. These guys just cold as ice. They really are. Like nothing there. Zero. Day two, 25K. Can, I mean. Can we get a little jump or something? Business as usual for Dan Devoris. $10.6 in Triton earnings, two titles. Devoris is videos and whenever he speaks about theory are right up there with just my and personal favorites. He's not one of these guys that jumped on the poker coaching train, you know, the whole yeah, he's, he's been an doing OG, this. Yes. He's been doing this for a long time, Nick. And he's so just pragmatic and spot on with just really yet another great player for Ray Ron Poo. Nice timing for the big slick will. Does yeah. go in. Just really comfortable. Ooh. And Nick, last night, Mike Watson twice beat Ace King with Ace Queen. Can he do it again? Uh, he's going for thrice, Will. And I'm sorry, Nick, but if he does it, it's Officer Watson, because this is just mean. Fair enough. This is you get pulled over, you got nothing on you, and they still write you up. I, I know the feeling. See if anybody wakes up with anything behind. But as it stands, Pooh in great shape. Always nice to be suited, but Mike's going to need a lot of help here. Spades, my boss table, Spades won every single all in. Like, he's very likely to have 0% on the flop. Watson claims spades are hot. Okay, some chop outs for it's not gonna be a chop Sir out. Watts. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Would you be happy with one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. Go on, Wayron. What a cooler. Big double, two million in the middle. Watson now down to under 10 bigs. I don't want to show you game shit, but sometimes you just got to really lean right into it. You know? You gotta know Pretty rough sequence for Mike so there. Hard. Runs Indeed. into me. Double I tell him the nickname. <laughs> I tell him he's mean. <laughs> First hand loses a big pot on the feature table. Two brutal beats. Great player. Ace, though. queen, ace, king, and running into Will. One of them was bad, just bad play. This is at the last table I would have won. But looks like spades are not the suit at this table. Triton, super high roller series here at Jeju. And look, it's a lot of fun watching these guys play, talking about them. But you know what's even more fun, Big Nicky? Tell me, Will. Find some action. Today's event is brought to you by Poker Stake, the official staking partner of Triton. Poker Stake is the ultimate platform for staking and professional poker players around the globe. With no fees on any purchases, Poker Stake is the go to platform for anyone looking to support their favorite player's journey and celebrate the rewards of big victories. 
Check out PokerStake.com now and stake your champion. Get in on these guys, Nick. Let's get a piece. And speaking of pieces, for the show, uh, me and Nikki, little UFC sweat. Let's go. <clears throat> Nick was very engaged in a one of the fighters. Big win for Peter Jan. I was a bit what, even with my own, I'm like, yeah, yeah. what we refer to as overextended on that fight. It's always the best when that works out for you. It, it is, and conversely, it's always the worst when it doesn't. 10-9 yeah. suited for Kuhn. Yeah, welcome to the table, sir. 16 bigs, just north. I'm just going to let it go. That he is, Watson as well. A little too early. Let's go, bro. Uh, shoving stacks behind. That's exactly right. And look at this. He's a German with Ace King. On it. Six, six, so five. nice when you get the Ace King here, right? Because there's so many worse hands that are going in. Clear cut decisions are the best. Six, six, five. Yeah. Fine. We are still on that pay jump. Next player gets 49,000, then up to 55, all the way on up to 1.485 million. Second place won't make a million, but 944,000 will ease the pain a little. And for those who haven't been following perhaps record-breaking Triton, up, breaking its own records this series, Speaking of breaking records, Nick, 10 Triton titles for that man. Really something. What did he win, five or six last six year? Six last year. Five for Danny Tang. And it's cool to see Jason rack up all those titles because he really is unequivocally a top, you know, five no-limit player. It's, it's really hard to discern amongst. He's just awesome. So when awesome players just win, it, it reminds you, okay, it is a game of skill. Obviously, you got to run pure to ship six in a year, but it's inspiring. Good luck, sir. Family now, though. I know, bro. Can't be fucking wasting sixty-five hundred dollars. I guess. Tavoris looking to turn this nub into something a little bit more. And he's going to get called. Weiron with the big hand and the big. And, and this is a big pot for both players. Weiron just doubled up. We'll have a lot of chips if he can win here. And he's ahead. Indeed. A pseudo flip, would you say? That's fair. I like that. Great flop for Danny. Just looking to fade an ace or a nine. And if he does, much like you were talking about, the spins deep in these tournaments, so real. Go on, Daniel. Yeah. He's back. 5.30. It's wild. Maybe you can get Sean Winter to give you some coaching, make sure that you're... Bro, I'm the yeah. elite. What is that your call? What was your call? Well, between Jack for the winner, but I, I okay. said Jack was going to win it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're pretty good. If you it's can nice just get like it. that top level coaching from Sean, then you're gonna like really. We've done a couple hours together. Yeah. It's nice to see there's still some room for improvement. It's always yeah. growth is so. That's right. <laughs> Strive to be better every day, you know. Sometimes my deck reads are off. Yeah, mine are bad. I had one the other day uh, with the massage service lady. I was. Uh, just standing up stretching, and I was like, just out of nowhere, I wasn't even in the hand. The dealer was about to flip the turn, and I was just like, three of hearts. Bam, I mean, this is two days ago. Three of hearts on the turn, and she just looks at me, and I'm just like, just David Blaine's deadpan, straight face. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> just nailed the three of hearts. And then maybe this is a little secret into the, what is making Jason win so much deck reads. Nick. I do believe in that a, a little bit. Not so much if the cards are in the Shuffle Master, but I do believe there's a very subtle 
you know, the speed in which people fold, perhaps certain cards group together. And I believe, Will. Look, everybody's got a coaching course these days. Get ready for Nick Shulman's 2024 coach on deck reads. That would be sick, by the way. We might crush that one. You certainly wouldn't have a lot of competition. Me and Winter. Deck oh, reads. Yeah. If you special could, yeah, guest yeah. coon will get you in there. With a special... Uh, no, I have player reads. What would Winter's part be? Just telling you <laughs> how, well, to, how to spin free big blind stacks up into... Well, yes, but also Winter is kind of the goat of deck reads. And I really do mean that. I bet he is. Came across Sean Winter in a bowling alley last week in Vegas. Mm -hmm. He bowls like exactly how you would think he would bowl. Okay. Like he just launches the ball at the. I got you, Mike. Thank you. He just launches the ball at the at the pen. It's so <laughs> funny. I mean, like obnoxiously hard. <laughs> he's, a, he's a funny golf swing as well. Does That's he swing, swing hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like better out of rocks than he is on grass. Yeah. <laughs> he just like. Swings out of his shoes. Yeah, checks out. And he'll shoot like a 76 or like a 105. No way, he can shoot a 76? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Jamie Archibald, I see you in the chat. Shout out to all the disabled vets out there. Damn. We got you. That's a lot of it. Yeah. I mean, that's Thanks for the sweats. Yeah. He's live to very young golf course. Wow. And Boyvin, we talk about this with Rast. The solver loves these suited kings, Nick. Suited kings, it's true. Back in the day, we put so much emphasis on your kicker, and it's still extremely relevant, but in the modern game, we have once again realized being suited is very relevant as well. And it gives you a little bit more wiggle room if you do have to see a flop. More draws, more back doors. Same Mike's one. also suited. Seems like a pretty easy call. Nice for him. 30 players left. Made the pay jump. You can see a flop here. Basically just a pot size bet left back. Interesting spot for Boyvin. And these short stack maneuvering spots really are intriguing. It's not nearly as clear as, as some of us think, or not even clear, but more blase. He does just jam. That'll do it. Interesting. Yeah, I guess didn't want to bet and then get shoved on and Yeah. Thomas is a great player. A lot of ideas, very prepared, hard working, sharp at the table. Who's that what type of dog is that on the shirt there? What is that? It's not a border collie. See if our producers can find that out. Looks cute. It's really cute. I wanna rub its ears. I wanna rub it. Triton, super high roller series here. Very serious stuff, Nick Shulman. Maybe wow. a Bernie's Mountain Dog? Producer James coming with Bernie's oh. Mountain Dog. Great find if it is. Well, that's because Producer James has three. And when he's on his vacation home near the factory in Austria, he takes them out in the mountains, Nick. <laughs> Quiet day for Adam so far. You, Nick, you think maybe just the massage, he's enjoying it, getting started slowly? Perhaps, Will. And for Mossbach, we're going up. And Dvoris, I mean, this is... It's close. Cuspy. Very. He is gone. And a nice choice it was. Pooh as well. Sir Watts with the ace. And I know every hand matters, Nick, but at this point, it just feels like every hand matters so much more. Really does, and it compounds as the tournament progresses.
very much an idea from the small when we're short to just get involved more than would be our intuition. Well, also the big, the added rebate, right? A little bit more money on top. Exactly right. Note he's going for call. A very interesting and known idea. And a pair for Saliba. I would think for Justin, we... These spots, Nick, they're so they interesting. Heal, they're so they common. Are. These You're playing eight big blinds, six big blinds, but there's all these decisions, and call. yeah, just going to peel. And this call from Watson Pre might look unorthodox, but again, that price you alluded to with the big, these are very cool ideas. Great flop for Mosbach. Indeed. King's obviously the best hand, but the type of board that with Saliba's stack with the positions could see him getting in a lot of trouble. And I don't know, with Mike just being so short. I think very small is nice and a tough spot for Saliba, Will. He but goes for the trap to let something like Queen Jack perhaps catch up or even this. Let's Mike pick up a wheel, and the track. The I think if these guys are deeper, he's probably more likely to bet. But it's not hard to get stacks in. You're absolutely right, and also generally the way these work is we're more apt to check the bigger the pair is, as it requires less protection. Mario likely finding a very slippery and sound idea. All in. And look and at it this, is Nick. working out gloriously. Go on, Mario. Justin wisely gets out of the way. The trap works to perfection. Really does. Rough for Watts, too, that Justin's folded two threes there. He can't know that, but... That is indeed rough. Can he find the ace or perhaps the three? He cannot. Good game, sir. Always a pleasure. 29 left. And just a great example, 30, Nick, rather. of what we learn here. Seems like a standard continuation bet. But if he does, maybe he just takes the pot down there instead of taking all of Sir Watt's chips with him. Indeed. Good game, sir. Great guy, Sir Watts. Like Sir Watts. On and off the felt. Sure he'll be marinating over that one. All of those are so fickle. Twenty nine players left. Working down. Seth Davies now our short stack. Anna Marquez, Steve O'Dwyer, Fedor still in the game. Look at this. Tim picks up king, queen. Mario's got pocket tens. Just going to call. Boyvin with the suited jack, getting a really good price. How's your fitness, man? Tell him. Tell him the game. Even crushing it out here. And it's interesting, Nick. Even that is interesting to me because these are the hands that get you in trouble, yeah. right? The jack yeah. six suited. You know? I mean, it's good Definitely. Good, I, I don't feel like I do when I'm back home, but close spot. Good. Found the food that works. Found. 
a good enough workout situation. Ball and a nice down. flop for Mossbeck. Four really good workouts in and six sauna sessions since I've been here. I think I've been here for eight days or something. Yeah. yeah. Do they have a sauna here? Off property, but yeah, close. Close? Mm -hmm. I might be interested if. Text me, yeah. It's possible, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Good party. Where should I text you? Um, I'll give you my number. Yeah. Yeah. Mario's got a pretty intense table presence. He does. Pretty impressive with the technology these days that Fedor is able to kind of, you know, implement that in the factory. Jason, right? Mm -hmm. Jason. 37 bigs, which is a pretty big stack at this point. <laughs> Top 10 in chips. Fedor creeping around with 2.3 million. Justin with the jack 10 0 on the button and only about six bigs. Is this enough? Looks like it. And Tim with the really pretty king nine of hearts going to snap it off. Good luck, Justin. Another pseudo flip here. Tim looking to claim more chips. I ain't killing your guys' sweat. We'll say there's a little. I already know what's happening. I really do. So fucking sick, dude. Oh, good game, sir. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see. I think it's. That's all she wrote, I think. Ah. GG. GG. Good luck, guys. Good luck. See you. Luck in the next one. Thanks. Yeah. Good run. 28 left, Will. Getting down there. 55K, nothing to sneeze at, Nick. No. Yeah. I knew it was a flop. <laughs> <laughs> and what a good feeling, Nick, to have a stack like this at this point in the tournament. Look, it's great to be in, but it's better to be chipped up. Correct. <laughs> Someone in chat says Danny D and his low rider tonight. What do you think they mean? Not sure. Like his short stack or? <sighs> Please elaborate if you can. Not only did Nick have a good day at the fights, so did Brian Rast. He really did. I mean, he did a little differently than you two. He had like a spreadsheet up, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, Go on though, Brian. I, I saw the spreadsheet. Kings for Pooh. And are we always just trying to get some action here, not scare them off with the shove? think so, Will. Oh, salty for Boyvin. Perhaps an ace lurks, but it's rough as it stands. All in.
who snaps and big pot here, 2.5 million in the middle. Way Ryan, who came in pretty short, 10 bigs, will be very healthy if he can hold here. No ace so far, but it lurks. Okay, pick up the jack outs. GG, sir. Very good player, Thomas Boyvin. Bows out. Way around Poo. Chipping up here. Good game. Seth, we lose yet another. GG, Seth. Definitely one of the players who's had the worst luck here at Triton, Nick. Perhaps okay. this is his series. Perhaps this is Sergio's. Chip leader. Really good Spanish player. Been around for a long time. 3.8 million in Triton earnings, but no win here yet. This could be it. Shot at our other feature table. I haven't seen too many hands over here. <clears throat> Guy in chat says he pleads the fifth on the Danny D comment. All right. Fair enough, right? First shot at Calvin Lee. Very good player, but not so known to the mainstream poker public, maybe. I would agree with that. <laughs> Raises the ace-10 off in one of our chip leaders, Dominicus with king-5. Again, the suited kings being a little bit of a theme here, Nick. I did give it a think. Adrian, a seven off in the big. Uh, I think started with two point one. Total. Nine nine four two hearts. Adrian does have the ace of hearts. Calvin just going to pot control. Really good card. It's not going to chop too often. Would think after a check flop, Calvin content to check turn. Probably gonna just chopped. I mean, it is if it isn't bluffed at. Both players probably very happy with their hands too. Good. Chop it up, boys. Two twenty a piece. Another pay jump, 63,000 smackers. Good day at the office, right?
Kiat Lee, 3.1 million. Another one of these guys, 6.8 million in Triton earnings, 19 caches. Saw him make a final table. Third place, actually, Nick, for him, 440,000, so. He yeah. wants that first title. Yeah, we're about a week in here, a little less, and cash is starting to mount up for some players. Pocket fours for Steve. Is this enough, Nick? One million? We have our answer. It does go in. This whole situation from Vincent is strong. The shirt, the shades, he's gone. Adrian as well. Take it, Mr. O'Dwyer. And I've seen a lot of folds with the smaller pocket pairs from early position, but maybe the fact that there's an empty seat plays in a little bit more. Empty seat and 12 and a half big. Sometimes the folds are off a little bit more, perhaps, although you're right. And as we've touched upon, it's all so fluid in tournaments. What do people have behind you stack-wise? The considerations really are vast. Vincent, yeah. Brought the swag. Everybody feels like they need to bring the swag here at Triton. Triton Nick. is a swaggy environment. 160 to go. And 11th place for 100,000 for Vincent in the last tournament here, so. Very nice, he's on fire. Might he be hearing from Mr. Lonis, Will? Yeah, with sixes here in the small, Jesse's a very aggressive player. Just going in. Yeah, there it he is. He does put it in. He'll be getting called. Good luck, gentlemen. One point. It's uh, 1.44. Big flip here, Nick. Three million in the middle. 26 left. Vincent, obviously, still healthy if he wins, but in the chip leaders, you know. Sorry, still healthy if he loses, but one of the chip leaders if he can win. And he has plenty of possibilities. Any card above a jack for Vincent. Clean for Lonis. Just needs to fade paint. Go on, Jesse. Nice double, three million for the American. Jesse popping his Triton <coughs> Cherry with that same event that Vincent got 11th in. Jesse finished 13th. And he was chip leader for a while there. Deep, Jesse. Something you see a lot. And look at that, 92 big blinds for Sergio in the chip lead. Right before you came in, I was telling you at the break desk, he won that sick four-way all-in. Yeah, four-way all-in? What were they, were they? So rare. Did they go in blind or something? <laughs> yeah. Just try to run it up? Yeah. Someone in the chat is asking you to talk less if you can, Nick, but don't don't just ignore that. Steve O'Dwyer, our short stack, 15 bigs. Jesse Lonis now really healthy. 40 bigs, I mean, is a pile at this 40 point. 40 is nice, Will. I do exact counts with Ras because he'll literally correct me, but with you. You I, can round up, round down. You feel a little wiggle. I'm so glad I can be I, there for I you I really on appreciate. That. No problem. Welcome, Sergio. Talk to me a little about ICM. 63,000 for our next three players eliminated. Are we 
it, not really thinking about it too much right now? Or The overarching tournament considerations, we're thinking about it as we see O'Twyer with a very comfortable rejam. He'll be picking this one up uncontested. It's always relevant. You know, ICM, it's a bit of a buzz term that it's there, but every situation is different. But of course, 305 began. We've whittled down to 26, and everyone's stack is worth quite a lot, still having a chance to win. Take it, Steve. And this ace king suited, it's just we need to get it in right. It's not strong enough to trap here. Sub 15, indeed. Even though we're suited. Sergio with 16 million in career winnings, no slouch, Nick. Sergio's a great player. Really is. And one of these players, like, again, obviously if you're in poker, you follow tournaments, you know who he is. But the more mainstream casual fan, he needs that signature win, Nick. He needs that Triton title. To I, I hear you on that. He doesn't need it. He wants it. He does have some signature wins, but they all want it bad. And this is the biggest Triton ever, just objectively. So they're, Look, if I'm they're in the booth, the Nick, glory. if I'm in the booth, records will be set. You know it's a big deal if they brought you out. It's, it's the heavy hitter. Steve O'Dwyer, 40 million in winnings. And honestly, Nick, it doesn't even feel like he plays that much anymore. I'm not saying he's retired. I mean, it sort of does feel like he fires to me. I see Sergio all the time. No, no, Steve. Steve. Well, Steve doesn't come stateside much. Have you noticed that? He really you know stays. Why? I actually don't. They lose his luggage when he flies to the yeah. States. Blinds up. 50, 100,000, 100,000 ante. And what I love about these tournament structures, Nick, is they're big, but they're not too fast. They're just right. I like that. I really do think they're perfect structures. It's subjective. Something like the main event of the World Series, or it's nice to have tournaments like that sometimes where it's a very slow structure and turbos are nice as well. These are right in the middle. They're just perfect. Ace King for Vincent. Yeah, let us know where you guys are watching from in chat. What time is it? Beautiful afternoon here in Jeju. Weather was a little bit dicey when we got in. It's, rain. It's picking up. It's beautiful out, Nick. I, I had my two minutes outside earlier, my <laughs> fresh air. You know, it's nice. Yeah, you could tell it was nice looking out the window from your room. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually funny. My first day, I actually got over to the gym because it was nice out. Obviously, not going like Jason, taking saunas every sure. day. Sure. I see Rast. He's in there. He's doing his squats. I literally get like a, a dumbbell up and I get a text. <laughs> you got to come in. So that was my well, workout. You did your for thing, a day. though. You tried. I got a pump. Vincent going to take it down uncontested. Just about, about to hit 9 a.m. in the UK. Denver is here. We won't let you sleep. Henry, if you got to sleep, sleep. Copenhagen, coffee and poker, beautiful Bay Area. Vladivostok, okay. Talk to him. India's here, New Zealand's here. We're really thankful for everybody that's with us. Ooh, and we got a good question for you, Nick. What's Showman's thoughts on the Euro scarf? I'm not a scarf guy. I'm not offended by it. But I don't like scarves, even if it's cold just outside, let alone at the poker table. I actually almost like to be as least covered up as possible. <laughs> What's going on? Jaffe's got the I giggles. I mean, are you, do you like to be to in the ask. nude? Like Not in the nude, but there's something about just wearing a T-shirt and controlling the rhythm of your body that I, I like. I do wear shades sometimes, though. And I do wear a hat, I guess, and sort of obscure my face. I'm not saying, yes, I don't like to play in the nude, Will. A little strip poker for Nikki. Calvin going to raise it up with the sevens. 10 a.m. in France, Guam, Vilnius, Peruvian coffee, Switzerland, Canada. Peruvian coffee we'll sounds you guys. great right now. Can really does. How about Cyprus so, is here. How about just some regular coffee back here? Where, is, where did producer James go? <laughs> He's gone. Vincent with ace-10, and this is, Nick, this is really interesting, right? It is. Against cutoff, it is. 
does go in. And for Calvin, it's interesting as well. I think we give it a try. Hope to see the low pair. It's gross, though. It's a bit gross calling it off, but he yeah, is doing it. Good yeah, luck, he, gentlemen. Big yeah, I guess one this here, is just Will. too many suited aces, lower pairs type of hands. to Exactly. You need to be careful, but you can't be afraid. Very well put, Will. And now, Vincent, this is a really big pot for him. He will be very short if he loses and a massive pot for Calvin. Four million in the middle. Oh, and there's the 10. The dagger does have the heart working. Ooh. And it is another heart, Will. Is there one more in there, Nick? Nope. GG, sir. We lose another. Can't lose three in a row, you know? The demiking process, always a little bit awkward. Nick. It's tough. The most awkward is when they have the backpack on the back of the seat. They spring up too quickly. The chair falls down. The backpack is entangled with the chair. They can't get it out of there. This is a pretty smooth exit from Calvin. Not his first rodeo. No. Then <laughs> Vincent gets all those chips he just lost back. He must be near the top of the pack. Definitely up there. Look at that cluster of big stacks, Nick. For real. And if you're at that table, like, look, is chip envy a real thing? Yes. Look at all that real estate. Oh, yeah. You're, you're in a squad house. Vincent He's does move into fifth. These That's guys, exactly right, Will. These guys are over here in, you know, the Bonvoy. They're in the penthouse. 24 is a redraw? You're in the squat house. <laughs> is the squat house a thing? Good, or I, I, just, I was hope, I'd have no idea. I don't think it is, Will. <laughs> were you hoping it wasn't a thing? <laughs> I, no, I assumed it was because you said it, but I've never heard of that. 3.1. Average. <laughs> here Good chance I average. just made it up. Yeah, this is tiny. <laughs> it's good discipline, though. Can't do anything funny. You can't? <laughs> <laughs> I like the color. Calgary, almost 2 a.m., about to be 3 a.m. Shout out to these guys, Nick, staying up all night. Big shout out to these guys. And I really do get a little tickled when we see how international the audience is. These are the really tremendous levels. sweats. Last night. Triton tournaments yeah, are unbelievable. To We're thankful for it. We're thankful right. to be in here, Will. Normally, I would drink, but I'm not, I would drink a little bit. Wine, Dominique is in. I mean, Nick, right look now. at all those chips over there, man. I know. As you said, just in a row. And we've seen a lot of short stack pots, right? All ins, 10 big blinds. Now we're going to get to see some deeper stack play. Pretty much so. Quang hopping in. Sergio with the same hand as Dom. A little small big button. Single raised entanglement. 50 bigs deep. Little more. No connection anywhere. Nothing for anyone, so who wants it here? Vincent with the best hand. Now just takes a hammer lock on it. Interesting. Dominicus and Sergio with the same hand got shot in a little club blocker. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not, like, hungry again. I just can't eat. Man. Sneaky check from Vincent. Gives a little bit of rope to Dom. And when we check back the flop nip, can we have some kings that are trapping, perhaps? I think we can. Sometimes the way players do it is they go for the king with the low kicker, and sometimes the king with the back door in regards to traps. He can definitely have some stuff. He's firing Will, and as you said, very nice rope extension from Vincent. Not as if calling off with impunity is 
so simple, but it'll certainly be calling here. And with Queen Jack, one of these hands that makes sense, right? We, we're not ecstatic about it. We like our hand. Exactly. Just going to call. And I think the plan for Dominicus is maybe make a straight and definitely bluff a club. Could see giving up this card as gross as it feels with his particular hand, although not clear. It does feel gross, right? Because we're just not going to have many worse hands here, are we? We aren't, but we might have some better cards that still have no showdown. Although, again, a bluff here doesn't seem insane, but I don't really like that 10. It does block some big pairs, though. Not totally clear. What does Dom want to come with? That's what he's thinking about. Nicolite is going time bank. Yeah. Does check and a winner for Vincent. I think good example, right? Just because you're at the bottom of your range doesn't mean you have to bluff. So true, and poker is hard. And stressful, Nick. Very. It's one of those weird things that's like super fun, but incredibly stressful. Yeah, I guess when something is really fun, there has to be some bad. Not always. True. That ice cream I got from Ollie was just fun. There was no bad. Was it fun an hour later when you were laying in bed? Or perhaps this yeah, no, morning? It, no, zero repercussions Good so far. Good for you, yeah. Will. That, why do you think I was so excited to get both M scoops? Maybe it will be a delayed reaction. No, I process quickly. I would have felt it by now. <laughs> Jesse. Dom with another playable hand. A suited king, but this one's connected enough to feel pretty good about. Very much so. A suited king that can make a straight, unlike some of the others we've been discussing that are more of the king middle kicker. Sergio looks intrigued. He's cup intrigued. He's cupped his cards. Yeah, another big stack war, and Sergio has him dominated. That he does. He is three betting. And oh, look at this, go Nick. on, Adrian. And an interesting spot for Sergio in the face of the upcoming jam. I suppose he's priced in. Although it's highly annoying, Will, is it not? Yeah, and Adrian, I think it's... Did Adrian just sigh? I think it's Hollywood time here, Nick. He what other sigh. What other choice do we have? We Bra have to make this look good. Bravo, Adrian. He groaned. Did you hear a groan? I love that. He immediately went, uh That's gangster, Will. It might be his first Triton, but... Guy clearly has been around the poker streets. He certainly has, or just the streets in general. How about a double check? Only. Only. There it goes. And yeah, Sergio's going to be sick here. It's also gross, Nick, because you could have called. You could have just seen a flop. I know. And now you're looking at two million chips in the middle. And I guess he's just asking himself, can he have the ace queens here? Can he have the ace jacks? All Maybe the this. jacks? Nines, does he have nines? He asks himself something like this. And sometimes we're priced in and for chips, but his stack is so lovely, we can take a little the worst of it and fold. But this one is razor close. I think he has to give yeah, him a spin. There he goes. There he goes. He'll we'll see the bad news, Will. Very bad, but still 18%, not nothing. That's why those suited broadways are so coveted. They can beat a hand like aces a little more than it might feel like. Can he hit, Will? Or does Mr. Chua hold and pick up that 4.3? 10 in the window. Start for yeah. Sergio, indeed. Needs a 10 or an ace, or Adrian's going to get a really big double. 
Go on, Adrian. Nice hand, sir. And like you said, Sergio's still very healthy. Pushing some of that real estate down the table. Thank you. Yeah, I put the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. There you see Jason Kuhn getting short. Doesn't even seem to matter to him, Nick. Yeah, he's right here, planted in that seat. Kiat Lee now at that table, making another rum. Welcome, sir. Mr. Mosbeck, the original Fedor bot. Is that the original one, Will? The first one. Okay. I believe. <laughs> also could just be a human, a like a really successful I, soccer player. I put the read on that he's just a human being. You think being, so? I, that's okay. what I always thought, but. Okay. Weiron is definitely a human. King Jack off, gonna raise it up. Twenty-five players left no, here. Like ten years ago, twenty-five k to today. It yeah. was very rare, I think. Ace Queen suited yeah, for Timothy. In like 2011, it was very rare. Basically, yeah. just the WPT Championship. Yeah. That, that was a sick event. Tournament. Yeah. That was really fun. Mm. It's five days. Yeah. Interesting spot on the button, Nick, because it's such a comfy hand, but it's also so strong. Ace Queen off feels more like a three bet, maybe, but. Suited, and you've alluded to this, it's quite nice to call suited. So much more potential. So much more potential, and so much more ease post. Comfort would be the word I use. Fair enough. And Danny D, suited as well and pretty comfortable himself. And a nice defend, closing the action. Incredible price. Looks up at the clock. 25 remain. Action flop. Oh, my. Very much so. Open-ended for Weyron. Top pair in the back door. Nut kicker for Timothy. And, of course, all sorts of stuff for Devoris. How does Weyron want to play this? He wants to fire Will. Timothy now with the decision. Obviously, we love the top pair, top kicker, the backdoor spades, but still kind of a scary proposition. Agree with all of that? You know, you're agreeing with me a lot today, Nick. It's really been throwing me off. I'm sorry. You've been right a lot. I've I just think. been waiting for you to take a dump on me, and it's not, it's it, not happening. It's, you know, it's likely coming, but so far. And for Devoris, let's see. Yeah, I mean, such a big semi-draw here. Do we want to just pile and take our equity? I think so, but it's not crystal to me. The only thing crystal is, of course, the don't fold part. I guess the tricky part is, are we ever getting two folds here? Occasionally, but it's very rare. Because if we are, that just feels... I mean, like, the Unbelievable. Dream. Can basically double up without showdown. An ace-10 and an ace-8 suited type are possible, where one of them gets sandwiched in, Poo, and then Adams. Let's see. All in? He does jam, and it's interesting right away for Wei Ron. Maybe we just have to fold, but it's super awkward. He has the club as well. And it's really awkward because Timothy lurks behind with a covering stack. Exactly right. He is just in. Interesting, Nick. For Timothy, this is a crazy spot. Yeah. Very hard to discern exactly what's going on here. And credit to Weyron for kind of taking his equity, too, taking the aggressive route. Big time and doing it right away so as yeah. to kind of scare Timothy. Timothy's in a really gross spot, but as you can see, he only yeah, has 31% equity. I, I 
has both players covered, which is very much enough three ways. How to know, though. Maybe the ideas were in with the back door and off and out with the other ace queens, although this is pure speculation. Obviously, we can see oh, nice he's hand. beating these oh, hands. Nice he's hand. totally. still an underdog, but there's a lot of hands he could be in real bad shape against. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. Not hard for Weyron to have tens or eights or queen ten suited yeah, himself. Right. Definitely. Yeah, I'm not he surprised to see go. Timmy. And it bravo is. to Weyron here. This is a really good play, Nick. Very much so. <laughs> he's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> if this runs out clean, he, he's going to be really steamed. Uh, yeah. What are these guys doing? What, the, like, what should come to him? 2.945 in the middle. Go on, Devores. It's not over, but he likes to see the six. And of course, Timothy would have picked up the spades. 1 million and 10. What a huge pickup for Devoris, Will. And what did I say, Nick? Three big blinds for Devoris. He did have three, right? When did we started, right? Did I not right? mention you the importance mentioned of it. these pots? You very much did. Forget three big blinds, Nick. Forget a nub. How about three million in and, tournament and, and chips? And I know this is going to rattle you, but you're once again correct. What's that? Take that in, chat. I think I make small. A roller coaster ride today for Weyron. I really like his play. Got his equity in. Got it in with the best hand, technically. King high. Weyron not here to lay down. He's going for the W. Got to respect it. It's so bad sometimes. A very easy call to... And always nicer in Timothy's shoes when you know you would have lost, right? It's If that had bricked out, he would have been... Hmm? Well, he would have beaten Weyron on the side pot, though, oh. so... No, it's all good. It's, uh, I did, Never you mind. Did nothing wrong. I, did, I did things wrong. I deserve to be mad at myself. Tim looking to get back in the action with an offsuit ace. And we can really understand Tim's fold there. That's a wild spot. Sometimes spots come up you just don't see that often. And you do run into kings, aces, tens, like you said. Mario thinking it through. Yeah, same hand as Dan. One seat over. And Dan now with the suited ace. This is interesting. Wow, ace on the river. Holy shit. It was, uh, 24 remain, 63,000 guaranteed, 71,000 for 23rd. And these are all good players, Nick, but Daniel DeVore is not somebody you want to see with a lot of chips after starting the day with three big blinds at your table. Correct. Always yeah. interested to see how they play between generally call or a raise. Same. Does go for call. And let's see if Weyron decides to give us another three-way flop between the same three. Hmm? Yeah, I'm excited for all of it. Yeah, Weyron's not here Go to fold, Nick. Wrong. No, he's this not. Is 800, bump um, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to look until the last stop, you know, because I'm just going to play back. I think the next one, Montenegro, I think. Wheel draw for Devoris, middle pair for Weyron. Dual suit interaction for Timothy. Nice from Weyron. This likely does it, Will. Look, as somebody who plays a lot of Pot Limit Omaha, Nick, you don't want to fold equity in Pot Limit Omaha. I, I like that. You're it, right. Weyron, maybe he's a PLO player. This isn't very fun. 
Interesting from Dvoris, he really wants to keep an eye on the 5-6, the diamond diamond, potentially a 3-5. He is seeing all of these hands in his mind and trying to calculate how he's doing against Weyron's entire nine, nine, range that might do this. And he wants to keep him honest, but it's it's a lot to call off. It feels like it is a lot, and the three is a little bit irritating, blocking three five suited, although. Oh, he and does give him a spin, Give Will. him a spin, Nick. Interesting. And Weyron is in amazing shape here, considering. Go on, Weyron. This has worked out gloriously for him, this open jam on the flop. The roller coaster ride continues, but he'll be up to 2.7 million if he can hold here. Three to one favorite to do just that. Deuce is clean. Just needs to fade a five or an ace now. Oh, and it is oh. the ace. Very hard fought battle from Mr. Pooh. We'll be seeing him again. GG, sir. And for Devorah's fortune really favored the Brave there. Yeah. Up to four million in chips now after starting with three big blinds. Crazy. 44 bigs, I mean, crazy spin up here. Spun the nub, nursed it very well, Nick. Jason still with eight bigs, plenty for him. Steve O'Dwyer hanging around the short stacks, the outer tables. David Yan in there, a lot of really good players in this one, Nick. I mean, I know that's standard, and you guys can see there's a little cut in my head here. I, I don't watch a lot of MMA. I don't know how this happened, Nick. Is this... Usually it's not a good sign when you have a, a gash on your face and don't know where it came from, but... You know, we're all praying for Will. It's been stressful. He's a little jet-lagged. He's easing in, and we love to see that. Yeah, thank you for the close-up, uh, producer. We're going to take a, about a 20-minute break. We'll be back real soon. Uh, don't go anywhere. This tournament's really heating up. Welcome to the Daily Dose of GTO Quiz of the Day. You're playing an 8-max MTT, 25 big blinds deep. It's a button versus big blind single raise pot, and you're facing an 83% c-bet on jack 7-3 rainbow. Which of these hands should you consider folding? 6-5, king-queen, 7-4, or king-3? Find the answer in the Daily Dose of GTO, our free ebook designed to help you master GTO poker in just 5 minutes per day. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top-up, up to $250. Become a part of BetACR.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience.
just sees the wonder. 제주 신화 월드. <웃음> And he kept saying, like, oh, watch it tonight, and then, like, said he didn't watch it. So, no further participation in the field, and Tamashauskas taking the lead into battle with 55 left. They play for 455. The threat is real. Stone coin flip. Nice in the window, no three. No heart either. And the lights are dimming for Vladis. Mm -hmm. Can he hit a wheel card, Ali? He cannot. Down to the lone three. Is there a crab boil on our hands? No. GG, sir. Out of there is the Lithuanian. Vladis Tamashauskas. Good game, bro. First ever. Triton Festival. Finished 44th in the 25K silver. Mossback with 10. And a few more 10 BB stacks. So we shall see. Nikita leaning on them. Such a nice spot to have chips on the bubble. Maybe you tried a nice for me. Little suited connector being put to work under the knife. <clears throat> Roman having a moment with King A. Ren will put his King-10 offsuit to work. By the way, shout out Dylan Lindy, who is here playing Love the Dylan. events. Go also on. in the chat said, thank you, Nick. Hmm. Quote, Ren has turned on me, as you alluded to <laughs> earlier, is the <laughs> most perfect way to say that as he's hopping into the mystery. Much love, Dylan. Event. One of my favorites. Well, hang on. There's not a lot of love available this to This King-10 King is turning on Ren, Ali. Bottom two for Kuznetsov. And he certainly understands the situation that Kuznetsov is a bit pedal to the metal. So the relative strength of your King-10 increases the wider the range we're up against. Just 14 bigs for Ren. Kuznetsov third in chips overall very much as we approach the bubble expected to be opening wide and often and sea betting with some frequency. So the value of the King-10 perhaps perceived to be greater than under other circumstances. Nice. Very understandable proceedings mm -hmm. from Ren and the dream for Nikita. <laughs> and if Nikita plays back now, which bottom two is a hand where that comes to mind. It's a little bit dicey for Ren. Five hundred back. Is the mission better accomplished by jamming here and now or by flatting and allowing Ren to perhaps slide the noose? Well, maybe if we raise, we go for something less than jam, believe it or not. Although jam is an understandable idea. I think both are nice. Ren doesn't, he does go for just the click back, which I really like. And it's a spot where Ren doesn't have as many straight draw check raises as he would under normal circumstances, as he's not defending the 6-8 and 7-8 offsuits as robustly as he would normally or at all. 
So we Even anticipate a good bit suited. of retention. <laughs> retention and also just this exact type of hand we really run into a lot. And who doesn't want to put more chips in versus that hand with yeah. two pair? Great read from Kuznetsov, and I really like the click. You know who doesn't? Ren. As it's getting awkward. Ay, yeah, yeah, mama mia. He's in. Mm -hmm. Feeling a little muzzled at the moment. 975 what? in the middle. Marker down. Owes two time banks. Three on the turn. Not the best card for Nikita as 6 7 suited, perhaps, is possible. But nonetheless, believe he'll just be putting Ren in for third pot some odd. It's all chips. Yeah. Okay. Now, the jam, and Ren was prepared. Three ten or king, Ali. Yeah. In a bad way, is Ren Lin here in a 1.7 million chip pot approaching the bubble in the 25 kgg millions? Doesn't need Lady Gaga. Needs a grown man king, 10 or a tray, and instead the ace. Falls to the river. GG, yes. sir. Very Ren tough Lin. one for Ren. <coughs> He'll, He'll be back. In 52nd. So then, just four away from the money bubble as we resume. Jason Kuhn with King 8 Go finds on, himself Jason. ahead of Shingis Satubayev's Jax. The road travel to this point was a 240k almost all in from Jason. Satubayev flatted the remains in there on this flop. A safe turn in the form of an ace. And now we need to fade the Jack or 10 to double and fight on. And that's exactly what 10-time right. Triton title winner Jason Kuhn has done. Indeed to the chagrin of the others, by the way, as well-liked as he can be. Objectively uh, true. Showers were where we wanted to see him if we're trying to burst the bubble and win one here. Be for Zhang Yu and Winfred Yu, Daniel Devoris and Daniel Paulson with seven. Lonis as well, Seth Davies, Boyvin, Monica Zukowitz, Joseph. Many sub-10 BP stacks in the room. Yeah. A7 here for O'Dwyer, and a, you know, a sporting pause there from Jason. Unrelated to the 5-3. Shingis. Little suited connector on the button. Perhaps my favorite name, by the way. Mm. Or there was a, there was a Chu, remember what was that? Chuck Chu. Chuck Chu Incredible. also, you know, we used to refer to him as Tai Tin, now. He said call, right? Okay, time. here we are. With Chuck. Sometimes Anyhow. call sounds like all in, but of right, course it right. would be just impossible. And a nice start for Kosei Ali, my. And a board one could certainly see O'Dwyer representing. Between the femur and the shin bone lies the joint. That's what Ichinose is working with. You yeah. prepared that one today, right? I promise I didn't. Off the dome. Yeah. First timer, by the way. O'Dwyer, by the way, C-bet here, 100,000. Fruitless, but for a chop, which would require a 10, only three available. Kose. Yes. Nice Good slow time. play from Kosei. He knows Steve has a wide range being the chip leader at the table. Deuce of spades on the turn. You mentioned earlier in the exchange with Kilbane where he had made the flush that O'Dwyer's reputation precedes him. Could be a three-barrel kind of guy without it. And I only meant by that, not that you're saying otherwise that he's capable not insane, 
as some are, by the way. Mm. No, not this is not. But he'll path. run one on you, right? The only time I've ever actually been privy to any psychopathy from Steve O'Dwyer is when I say the word Lufthansa as they did lose his baggage and then really butchered the customer service with him after that and he's sworn them off entirely. Understood. A, a real trigger. 410 to go here, by the way, Ali. And forgive the obvious, but if this isn't the dream for Ichinose, we really don't know what is. see Steve wondering to what he owes this continued participation That's from Ichinose. That's so brutal for Kosei, my word. This is a slice of three-day-old sashimi on the river. Vicious river. Absolutely. And for O'Dwyer, go on, Steve. Why not? We'll take that. Repugnant run out. lately? Not lately, but I'm going to go after this trip. Um, I was going to go before. And, uh, I was just going to come for the main and just play cash until the main, but it's big, so I just flew over here. 1 million 320. Here we are. Each and say will be all in momentarily. He kind of knows it, Ichinose. You can feel it. Yeah. He knows what went down here. And, and even O'Dwyer. Yeah, a sympathetic smirk. Yes. He's taking it well. That's a sick one. I mean, for a public game, I mean, if there were a sword That's near... Sick. A gathering at one of our outer tables... Looks, looks like, like six, ten, two yeah. to go on, Ali. And what else? Eight, Jack. nine, which has slid into the lead. Right? It was names, Jack eight small, I believe. Names are escaping my Nick. Apologies, by the way, because I know the face is familiar to me, but drawing a current blank. No problem. We know the ten six needs the ten. And the river. The river Winner is the for eight, clubs. nine. GG, sir. We've lost one. Place, 48 players remaining. We're going to table number one. Do we have another all-in, Ali? believe we might. Right, Shadam, please. Could that have been Zhang Yu? So the bubble We've could burst right here. We've read shows king four, king of arts, four of diamonds. Team shows ace, jack. Ace of arts, jack of clubs. We're going to see a flop. OK. Another collision. Adams the flop is involved. King, Jack, five, rainbow. His ace, Jack, being outflopped, it would appear. Adams, Adams is covering Winfred, it appears. So There's if Winfred holds, the bubble does not burst, I do believe. Has and to fade Barry or a hook. The river is oh, the go oh. on, Lots. Timothy. Very good we game to you, sir. Eight plays. We have 47 plays remaining, but we still have... One of the Triton OGs. Winfred Yu. So it is one of these situations where the tables need to play an equal amount. 
So perhaps the bubble has not officially burst, as there could be some chopping of the min cash. Four. He plays under the Austrian banner. Another one of those flags we don't like to see. for Henry. Sub 10 big blind stack. Wants to think about it in the hijack here. Obviously having made the money, wheels are a bit more greased. It's going in. Good luck, sir. Yep. Oh, Dwyer one pip better than last time. Certainly will be giving Henry a spin. Holding. Yep. You Henry copy. eyeing the clock in regards to pay jumps. Last there are 40. By the way. Good luck, Henry. Gentlemen, here we are. And first time he's been all in all tournaments. So he picked the right time to do it on the inside of the bubble. Indeed. You flashed the Ace of Diamonds, did you? Ouch. Now I'm guaranteed to win Steve Overlay. Aya. Oh, seven in the oh, window. Oh, Dwyer running Eight very percent. clean right now. White hot. Henry could find himself drawing dead on the turn. Eight or a nine would help. Instead, it's the jack. And the run comes to an end for our own as Henry Kilbane. GG Henry. Excellent run. Go pick up that 43.5. Yeah. And do so with pride as you earn the respect of peers, those that you have commentated on. Spent the morning with Fedor doing a little promo shoot along with Bertrand Gropelier, Elki, as we refer to him. He arrived a little bit late, but you know what? Personally, I was happy to see it because I knew he was going to have to rumble day two here, losing Rems. Mm. would be a bit more costly. There you go. For him. Katie looks intrigued. She does jam. Spot on read on your part here. And again, the small pairs. OK. If I recall, under the gun with sevens, the open fold from Zhang. Different circumstances here, as he says, all in. Zhang is shapeless, formless. Mm. He's in. Topets with one that might have been of more interest with the absence of this behavior well, how much is that okay, behind dude? Katie's open. Everything okay? Thank you. You're welcome. How much? Seven That was the plan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. Okay. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Does find the fold. Katie says she loves it, but obviously referring to the fact that she's not dominated by an ace king or ace ten, or perhaps up against. Good a luck, pair ladies, gentlemen. Better than the one point six in the middle. Possibilities for Katie. Mm -hmm. Four is still in the I'm lead. Lucky woman. I'm being the jack. And they stay that way as a six pairs. An odd card would be the ace as opposed to the queen. It's the nine. Good game, Miss Lindsay. Yep. 44 remain. Found her way to the money, though, Nick. And obviously, this is a much nicer place.
Welcome back to the Super High Roller Series here in Jeju, Triton. And we spoke about Will Jaffe, Nick Shulman, by the way, but we spoke about Adrian Mateos, the conquistador, as the best maybe under 30-year-old player in the world. But we forgot that Fedor Holtz just turned 30, so we can include him in that list. Fair enough. 41 million in winnings. Retired for a few years. There, there was that little retirement. Who knows what he could have accomplished without the retirement, but he's done pretty well. Like Jordan coming back with a 4-5. Exactly right. Well, he's got 5.5 million chips, Nick, and he's on one of our feature tables. And we like to see these things. There's been so many unique sweats today. Short stack, multi-way spots, a lot of... Love these spots. Yeah, love these tournaments. Next to him is Steve O'Dwyer, the human sloth, with one million in chips. Okay. Jesse Lonis, also at the table. Our secondary table has, not Fedor, but his first bot, Mario Mosbeck. Let's put eyes on these guys, Will. Let's see if they're human or not, Nick. Here are three remaining tables. On our red table, Fedor Hulse leading the way. Dominikus Mikolaitis right behind him. Nikita Kuznetsov, start of the day chip leader. Kose, who we've seen a bunch of. Jesse Lonis, Chang Zi Zhang, Mattis Symbolis, and none other than the sloth, Steve O'Dwyer, bringing up the rear. Jesse Lonis. And it's it's almost nighttime, Nick, here. Might be a good time to pick up a couple ladies. <laughs> there it is. It is indeed a nice time to pick up a couple of ladies for Lonis. There's Fedor, the young prince. There's Ichinose. I liked watching Ichinose do his thing. And for Nikita, this is problematic. Watched Nikita play a little. Seemed very aggressive. I, I got that same impression as well. He does put it in. Good luck, gentlemen. 4.5 in the middle. 22 left. Huge spot. Mostly for Jesse, but also for Nikita. And interestingly enough, even though he's not all in, Nikita decides to stand up, Nick. Wants to see if that ace is coming right away. It's tough in the nine seat. You get the kind of delay hunting the king as well. Clean for Jesse. Can he hold, Will? Go on, Jesse. He can. Huge pot for the American Jesse Lonis. And Nikita, start of the day chip leader, Nick. Not going to be happy with his stack right now. It's our other feature table. Timothy there. Alex Theologis. Very good. High stakes, no limit tournament player. Theologus has great theory, most of us know. Sharp guy. And it's cool to see some of these guys we don't see live that much, but we know are in the solver streets. I agree, and a guy that everybody would, who knows poker would deem befitting to grab a big win. 22 left. Welcome, Mr. Shevlyakov. Folded around to Sergio. Going to raise the button. 
Sergio is sixth in chips right now. About 4.6 million. Timothy in the big with a lot of chips too. 5.7 million. Can get a little hairier when you're this deep, Nick. You're right. Nine hundred. Okay. Interesting spot here. Sergio opens the two hundred. Timothy three bets to nine hundred. We don't have the hands just yet, but we can still observe Sergio and Timothy. Sergio certainly looks intrigued to me. Will, do you agree? Yeah, and this is not a useless exercise because we don't have holes cards. If anything, it could be more useful. I've always felt that way. I enjoy a hand or two without cards. Outer table action, coon all in with queen eight versus ace queen. Small, big. GG, sir. Another Titan falls, Will. Kiat Lee stacking those chips. That he is another deep run for Kiat. Three tables now, so you'll see everything. We see it, you see it. Jason Kuhn hitting the showers. You think Sauna after the tournament? No, he's he's Sauna's before. He definitely has his regimen down. He's going straight in the 40K. I would think he's hopping in the 40. And it looks like Sergio called, Will. Ooh, so let's continue. I believe that's a 5-6 deuce, and there it is, Sergio drawing almost dead. What a spot for Timothy. Goes for third-ish. And it does do it. Fortunate for Sergio to not find more connection there. Definitely. Timothy kind of looking like the Reaper with that black hoodie. I like when he goes for this look, which is common. Oh, Dwyer all in. Lonis in good shape. We shall see. Good luck, gentlemen. And that all but spells the end for O'Dwyer. Okay, he does pick up the straight draw, Will. <laughs> GG, sir. 20 remain. Another deep run for O'Dwyer. He's definitely not 30, but 40 million winnings nonetheless. And with Jason Kuhn out in 22nd, with Steve O'Dwyer out in 21st, players make a pay jump, 79,000 now. How about that feeling? You're in a tournament, it's day three, you're here in Triton. You get a pay jump because Kuhn and O'Dwyer go out. Three way all in here, Will. Do you have the proceedings for us? Me? <laughs> Looks like we got a really good spot for tens here. Two ace high hands and tens is gonna scoop a monster and is Go that on, tens. is it, that Danny DeForest? It who is I, indeed. Who I mentioned when he had three big blinds as a case study for how important it is to play those stacks. You felt it too, you felt the DeForest spins. Yeah. Four, four, three, ten, Sorry, guys. Three players? Yes. Double knockout. That's a good feeling, Nick. It, it certainly is. GG Kiat, good game, Jamil Wakil. And go on, Daniel, 10 million now for Devoris. Is he the chip leader? I believe he is. From three big blinds, as Will said, to the chip lead. That's a nice feeling. He really nursed the nub. He did. What a spot for Theologus. Forgive me, I thought he had three nines still in commanding lead, but not quite the same, of course, as middle set. He's in.
And might Alexander feel compelled to keep firing with these diamondless fives? Yeah. Certainly clear targets are exactly what we're looking at. And I think so often we're tempted to just check here, Nick, and just wave the white flag, but we raised. We should realize we're not good that often. We have a strong range. Well put, Will. That's real small. Very nice from Shevlyakov. Would imagine this does it. Putting, it's like, I know Shevlyakov can't see the cards, but it's like he can. Yeah. Are those glasses legal, Nick? What's going on here? <laughs> They're cool. What's uh, up with your boy? Yeah. Check like those. Off. Are those street legal? Welcome, Asan Amiri. Sitting very healthy with 7.8. 79 big blinds. BBs, Nick. What happened? <laughs> this Shevlyakov is a cool customer. One cash here at Triton. <coughs> In the silver main here, Nick. 46th place, 42,000. So oh, wow. these newcomers. He's gotten his feet wet. <coughs> Sergio looks a little steamy, Nick. I don't know if he looks steamy. That king-queen off didn't work out, but I don't think he's sitting there just stone steaming. No, but remember the king-10 suity? That was a while ago, Will. I'd still be steamy. You would. Are you projecting a bit? What do you mean? I think you sometimes project your own tilt or how you would feel in the spot. On to the players? On to the players. You, you think I do that sometimes? I think you might, a little bit. If you think Ido is steaming over a King-10 suited that went awry 80 minutes ago, I do think you might be doing that. I do it sometimes, Will. And there's Ido, still sick about that King-10. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an orange ship or a card protector on top? <laughs> 18 left, Will. First look at this gentleman today. I like him. He's back at it. You said that pronunciation was Asan? That's what I went with, but it might be Isan, or it could even be something exotic like Aishan, but well, trying our best. Certainly Amiri comes to mind, and for Shevlyakov, I believe we'll be hearing from him, although flat is possible. He does go for flat, very understandable. These particular cards have some anti-blocker type properties in this situation. It's a very good hand, but it also interferes with a lot of the folds. 650 in the middle. And a nice start for Amiri. Shevlyakov was able to see Alex's cards earlier. Let's see if those glasses really work, Nick. Well, if he check folds here, we'll have to take a look at them. He is in. Oh, he's check raising, so certainly we can somewhat rule out <laughs> anything nefarious with the sunglasses. And for Amiri, this is immediately uncomfortable. He is in. Nowhere to go. Interesting card.
That is a very scary card for a king. Look at this. I quite like this from Shevlyakov. It's an interesting spot. He's going real small, trying to sort of set his price, and a king is immediately concerned with that card. This bet is protecting him in a way. Kind of. It's He's sort of putting an amount into the pot that his nines are worth in a sense. It's protecting him, but it's not a protection bet. Very well said. Amiri's in. Can Shevlyakov hit, or does he have designs on turning these nines into a bluff? We would think not, but you never know. I think we're about to find out if those glasses really work or not. I think it's check, check, winner for Amiri. I don't know, Nick. Most of the time. If he shoves here, the glasses are back in play. If he shoves here, it would be very interesting. But the beauty of this bet is when you set it, you give yourself the option when called. He decides now. It is true. It would be a very creative line if he does. This guy looks capable of anything. And that would be a bit of a merge. Maybe Jack's Fold, maybe A7 Heroes. Those spots are always compelling. Does just check, we would imagine Amiri content to do the same. Perhaps he goes for some value, Will. At this point, though, there's plenty of Jetter out there already. I'm kind of feeling that way with King-10. Can't we just take the cheese? Amiri agrees as well. <clears throat> nice pickup, sir. Closing in on 10 million. Very dramatic showdown. <laughs> 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 yeah, shows a nice. It's like, it's like in James Bond. It's like, it's like, yeah. <laughs> For both. <laughs> Mr. Amiri. Now, Nick, you're a fashion guy. I see the Gooch. I see the Louis. Do you have any Amiri in the wardrobe or not? I don't have any Amiri. That's where you draw the line? Yeah, I'm not moving weight, Will. But you followed with a dramatic show. Yeah, yeah. One. You're not really a weight guy, are you? You go cardio. You know who exclusively wears Amiri every day? Alex Ponikov's? Nacho Barbero. Oh, he does. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> He's sponsored by them, though. Might just be. In the Amiri Miri. back at it. Yeah. Ooh, 8-7 diamonds under the gun. A lot of chips here to speculate with. And... 79,000 to our next player, but then it goes up to 90. And I would think if you have a lot of chips here, you're inclined to start getting in there, not just because you can afford to, you can easily take hits, but because the other stacks are starting to get scared and not want to bust. That's correct. I've been in this spot before. I'm deep in a tournament. I have a big stack. And honestly, I'm not even thinking about chipping up. I just don't want to bust because I have so many chips. And then somebody else takes all the chips, Nikki. I know that feeling as well. It is tough to go from the big stack back to your house. But if you're never doing that, perhaps you're not playing the big stack correctly. And perhaps you don't have a house eventually. You're right. This as well. Queen three suited for Mario. 25 bigs. Sergio looks to still. Ishan, going to quickly let it go. These suiteds, they have to make it in here, right? They got to be in the range, bro. They're not always in, but this one looks nice. Suited paint always comes to mind, but it depends 
what the stacks behind you are, what the tournament situation is. It really does. Mario Mazbeck, the original Fedor bot. It fully equipped with stare downs, scarves, and great poker theory, Nick. How are we going to beat him? This is our only hope. Shevlyakov, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, we got other, we got other soldiers in the fight, Nicky. Don't All you right. worry. Although the way Sergio Audio is tilting today, I don't know. Kings for Adams. And Nick, are these cowboys strong enough to trap with? You know they might be. Looks like he's going for 650. And for Shevlyakov, ooh, these are very tough and close. And Timothy, part of the reason he's not flatting here too is he, last time we were around, we didn't see the cards, but he three bet the big blind versus the button. That's true, there might be a little of that he could. He bet the flop. The guy folded. He could have had cheese. So you think some of the meta of yes, that? Yes. I know what you mean. Yes. Psychologically, Shevlyakov might be wondering what's going on. Is this Timothy's play? The flip side of that coin is Adams is one of the best in the world. We sort of assume he's not just off to the races, relentlessly three betting his big. But it is relevant. Will you're right, and he does shove. Good luck, gentlemen. Big one here. Shavliakov, wow. <laughs> Puts it all in. And that's the beauty of the three bet. You call there, you see a flop, you we'll see. three bet, you're all in. Massive pot here for Timothy Adams. He can eliminate Shavliakov. And Indeed, he did put it in. Alexander Shavliakov. And he's going to need an acer. He's out of here real quick. Perhaps a jack. A little more life. Removes the ace of spades. Can he fade the reaper? Great pickup for Adams and a very good game to you, sir. Alexander Shevlyakov out in 18th. What a run. The Reaper takes another soul. A lot of chips for Timothy Adams. Familiar faces, Nick. Danny DeVoris, the ice fisherman. <laughs> Timothy Adams. You, you know, you get you get tired of these guys sometimes, but you also love to see him. You know? Oh, wow, okay. So he was like, okay, he was overwhelmed. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. So. And then he just lost every pot. Anna Marquez oh. hanging in there as a short yeah, stack. Also, Matas, you saw him creep, creep into the okay, screen doing a little table scoops. Left. What's up with that, Nikki? Is that legal? You can think then. <laughs> Final table. I believe that's legal. Yeah. Three tables left. Big payouts loom here. Dvoris with the chip lead. Uh, Shavlyakov, 79,000 up to 90. Then we go up to 100, six oh, figgy. Oh. oh, right, yeah, yeah, of course. I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. I'm All the way up to the champ, Nick, 1.5 million. And you've won 1.5 million before. What does it feel like? Calm down. Turn this into a hyper. It feels good, Will. It really does. You know what else feels good, Big Nicky? Tell me, Will. Mario Mosbach on a feature table. Just feels good. Even when he folds. I like that. How about Sergio Audio on tilt at a feature table? <laughs> Sergio <laughs> Audio on tilt. <laughs> <laughs> he, no, he's, he's not on tilt. He's really not. He would have raised that hand. I started with 2.5. 
Thanks. Would imagine yeah. Timothy often applies a lot of pressure to theologians in this spot. 25 effective, 20 rather, as the blinds have just gone up. 2.5 million. And one might be inclined to limp this yeah, and see a flop, million. but you really want to pressure them because... <laughs> oh, Theologus, oh. it is going in. Good luck, gentlemen. Huge spot for Theologus to get back in the mix. I mean, uh, we're all in. Well, yeah. I mean, we're <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, yeah, we're all in. Like, I do it so in case someone has opened and I don't just yeah, yeah. rip because I'm, I'm sleeping. This is part of why we rip. He has a great hand, and we're in a pseudo flip. And a good start for Timothy, Will. Click of the tongue from Theologius. Ten? Can you get a little help? Ten. <laughs> oh, how about the queen? King of clubs? <laughs> King of clubs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Seven is fair. Go on, Alex. I was seeing five of clubs. <laughs> <laughs> nice hand. Nice hand. Fades the Reaper, Nick. And by the way, Will, on, do you think that's part of his sweater, the yellow tape, or there's some logo that needs to be obscured on the feature? I would think it's the sweater. Two, yeah. Anyway. I'm here for the poker, Nick. Yeah. You sure are, Will. <laughs> Who's, who's nets off under the gun with the 10 9 0? <laughs> gonna pit, <laughs> fold it. I'm gonna fold his hand. But Dominique is suited now, and when we're suited, Nick. It's true, we have Lonis covering us, though, behind, and Modus very <coughs> short in the small. Both not our friend for the 8 6 suited. Jesse gonna raise up the button. And quick fold from Modus. Okay. Or as well. Okay. Can this be the young Can prince, not so young Can anymore, 30. When you get into 30, you start regretting things. That's not what you were saying earlier. That's not a projection also at all. Mattis Symbolis. And you play a lot of poker, Nick. Fedor Holes. Uh, it just, <laughs> he feels like he's one of the all-timers to me. He's but an all-time great No Limit like player. Gonna, Tournaments. I, Objectively, I, I, I if he called it quits list. today, he yeah. would still be on the list. I mean, if you have a tough one, it will be a disaster. Is there going to be any more after this? No, no For more. the rest of the tournament? Ah, no more. At the final table? Final table. Final table. Final table. Final table. <laughs> <laughs> this one gets me how many seconds? 30? 30. 30. 30 seconds. <laughs> Use one first, okay? First look at Chang Zizang. And Nick, are we doing a little stally now? 17 remain. Are we going poly stally yet? 90,000 guaranteed at 15, it's 101. Perhaps, Will. I think it might be time. You're gonna use it. For Pauly. Well yeah. It's gonna be a big blank soon, you know? Nicky, it's time. It does appear some of them deem it to be time. It appears it's time for a little bit of Polly Stolly. <laughs> but not for Jesse. He's not playing that game right now. Time for Razy Daisy. He's playing a little Razy Daisy, 275 to go. And for Modus with the Ducks. And for Modus, look. He's gone. He's going to nurse that nub, Nick. <clears throat> We've seen it happen time and time again, and might Kuznetsov be jamming oh. and finding himself in a world of hurt, Will? Oh. Colin? Indeed he is. Get snapped. 49 column two. And not long ago, he doubled Jesse up with ace-queen. Now Hold Jesse has the ace queen. He's got him crushed. And Nokita's going to be ten. eliminated no, if ten. Jesse can hold here. He's working for you. Looking for the chop. Mm -hmm. There oh. it is. Gosh. <laughs> is he a queen turn? Deuce? Deuce is like. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe Deuce is maybe Queen 10. No, Deuce is <laughs> Maybe I should put it in. Nikita throws on the fanny pack. He's going to need a 10 or he's <laughs> outie right now. GG, sir. What a run for Nikita Kuznetsov. Great pickup for Lonis, who creeps into the top five. Where do we drop? Jesse Lonis, Nick. A familiar sight, Jesse around. deep in big tournaments. But not in Triton tournaments. Seeing that this is his first one, that's correct, Will. How could it, right? Ten minutes ago, we this had is his first Triton stop. tournament? Yeah, you well, first it. stop, oh, I believe. <laughs> could be mistaken. Not his first Triton tournament because he just cashed in the 30K. First Triton series, for I think. He also cashed in the 15K Triton event here, Nick. Record breaker opener event. 28th place for 29,000. So just getting his feet wet, gearing up for the big score. Jesse Lonis. Mattis now our short stack. Really, Nick, really like nursing that nub. <laughs> yeah. 700,000. Anna Marquez down there with nine bigs. But we talked about this. Danny DeVoris, started the day chip leader, is a big Jacob and Co. guy. I know he doesn't rock them at the tables, but Danny DeVoris has a very nice Jacob and Co. collection. I've seen it. What do you think he does with all the money he wins here? You think he's just ice fishing? No. Jacob & Co. is the official timekeeper of the Triton Poker Series. Our official timekeeper, Jacob & Co., makes these incredible timepieces. And they're not just about the diamonds and the sapphires and the rubies. If you're into poker and gambling-themed gear, there's just one perfect watch brand to check out. They're embedding a playful spirit into the watch functions. Yeah, Danny DeVoris, you wouldn't think of it, but crazy collection. Yeah. Alex there. With the ladies, Nick. Indeed, as you said, it is the evening. It's getting later, and now it's really time to take them out, right? I believe Theologius agrees. 250 declared. Snap defense from Sergio. Speed run? <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds, hard card. He wants to bring the yeah, waiting for us. Jack of spades working for Sergio, naturally top set for Theologius. And just another bad spot for Sergio. Could see Sergio going for both call or raise. He's sizing Alex up. Good problem to have though. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's like all these chips, they're so hard to manage. So many of them. <laughs> Good start for Sergio, not check raising. And he is drawing dead, Will. And Alex boats up. And might he be inclined to check behind? Perhaps not. We do want to get all of the chips in the middle. We're but out. our hand is We're also out. bulletproof. We're about. We got to keep. We got to keep pumping it. We're out, we're about, and we got to keep pumping it. That's why you're here. Oh, and a very nice check from Theologius, and Ido slides into something of a disaster. And if he wasn't on tilt before, Nick, maybe now. Yes. It's possible. It, it's possible. What is that tape, Nick? I'm not sure. I, I think it's just part of the sweater. And for Alex, let's see, sizing-wise, button BB in this situation, small bet, flop, call, check, check, turn. 500. He does go for half pot, a difficult size for Sergio to navigate. Another of these classic, we fall to the value and beat the bluffs. Seemingly a tough fold. You'll see the bad news, Will. Oh, nice good. Hands. Wow. <laughs> it was 
no way you're gonna go broke on this one. <laughs> My eyes with this light. <laughs> and you see these guys, these new players, oh, struggling with the new settings here. Nick, the lights are bright, it's hot in there. It's, it's real out there, Will. This is a competition. Massive production. We can see yeah, all the moving parts. Looks like we're looks like we're gonna have a quick break for a redraw. Um, we'll be back real soon. Don't go anywhere though. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top-up, up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience. Just seize the wonder. Jeju Shinoa World. We are back and, uh, 
I made a mistake, guys. I was supposed to send off Nick Shulman, but uh, I forgot to. So, fortunately, Nick, it's time for him to go because we are down to two tables, and that means we need math. So, we brought in three-time winner of the 50K Poker Players Championship at the World Series of Poker and Poker Hall of Famer Brian Rast. Apologies to Nick. We got Daniel DeVoris, chip leader at our red table, followed by Mr. Amiri, Alex up there after that big pot with Queens, and then Mr. Fedor Holes, 38 big blinds right in the middle of the pack, Sergio down to 24, Mario with 18, Changji with nine, Mattis the short stack of the red table with six. And then at our blue table, we have Jesse Lonis, doubled up through Nikita, who's nets off the start of the day chip leader, then finished him off. 73 big blinds for Jesse, followed by Vincent Huang, Timothy Adams, Dominikus, Jose Ichinose, Adrian Chua, David Yan, and Anna Marquez, our short stack. Brian, it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, it's good I don't know if here. you've been following, but uh, it's been a crazy ride and a lot of, a lot of big names here. Yes, yeah, certainly. I'm excited to get back in here. <coughs> Now that it's math time, you know, before I dropped out of university, I was technically a math major. Yeah, uh, maybe they changed. They, they, I think. What does the math say here with pocket aces? Math Brian. says but the you raise it up. Just gonna bust and crib. Definitively. No question. Yeah. Paris tomorrow. Ooh, Jack Nine suited. Oh, he fine. I'll play. Does not play. Maybe the big blind? Certainly the big blind. Oh, wow, the big blind. The big blind no chips. He's nursing a nub, Brian. Yeah. Well, that's that nub is going in, and it's going to be a four to one dog. <laughs> Can't nurse that nub anymore, just a little bit more? I mean, it's really tempting sometimes to just n nurse the nub all the way, like <laughs> fold all the way to the final table. Cinco. If only you could do that. that Fedor in a great spot to knock out Mat Mattis Symbolis, really good player from Lithuania here. Sixteen. Straight draw. High straights, low straights. So this yeah, tournament I'll plays down to how many players yeah. today? <laughs> to the f uh, winner, my man. To the winner. Yeah. Oh, wow, we're just r running this. Yeah, <coughs> we're ripping through this. Fedor flops a set. Oh. Mattis. Oh. If only you had the backpack. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. But that's, but that's the thing, you had something for the turn. Seven. But well, now he's just calling for the river. Seven. Seven. Oh. It worked to me. What? I mean, the Does he think he won? Well, he did win. Classic GG oh run my out. God, right. <laughs> yeah, beginner, I mean, beginner mistake. We have to honor the name. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. What a double for Mattis there. I didn't think it was possible, Ryan. I called for it. <laughs> Thank God we brought you in, the math guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, been I'll tell you what the math says on that. It's not very likely. That's what it says. I guess that's how you beat Fedor. Brought energy to the table. And black Okay. Wow. I invented that. Sick call there. Maybe big minus. Is that a pro move, Brian? Call for the card. You know, there's so many different theories on this, like. You call for the card you want. You call for the card you don't want. Say nothing. It's at the end of the day, math doesn't have an answer for that. So neither do I. Math has no answer. No. But Amiri has the answers. 9.4 million of them. I mean, that's a lot of chips. Yeah, sure enough, he's one of the chip leaders. And when you got this many chips, you got to splash a little, right, math guy? Yeah. I mean, suited one gapper, a lot of chips, putting the pressure on. Even if it's Danny D's BB? You're like so happy. Oh, after the flop. Yeah, I mean, Danny's, he's going to play, but 
He's going to be a bit handcuffed I'm in terms of three betting. Yeah. No, I wasn't. You didn't even care. Yeah. <laughs> you only look and at I this on price. Even if you do get three with that, yeah. in position, there's worse hands yeah. to have. That's for sure. When you're 50 big lines deep. Okay. Nobody has anything, but Dvoris has overs and the backdoor flush draw as opposed to actual nothing, but Amiri has the <coughs> stronger range. He's in position with the betting lead, and he's going to fire out about 30% pot. Danny, is this strong enough to continue? Yeah, de it definitely is. He's, he's not full. See what the turn brings. Both players with nothing. Ooh. I mean, another card. I mean, this card is good for a Mary. Yeah, and when you raise and you get called by the big and you bet with the eight, is it from uh, this card again, right? I, I, Kung, I think this Kung is Kung a pretty good spot to, to follow through here. Make it. Normally, the Silicon Overlord also likes big sizings. You here, might find so out one day that it's worth like 15k you know. or something. Okay, he gives up. I mean, it's 1976. Ooh, and a 10. Did you buy it? Or no, I got it as a present. And now, when did it happen? Bahamas. Devoris deciding yeah. if he wants yeah. the value bet here, and I think he maybe feels that when Amiri checks back the turn, he's going to be weighted towards some value stuff. Maybe a hand like eights or sevens. That, that doesn't want to bluff the ace. So because of that, just taking a gander at what Dvoris is thinking, he decides to bet himself rather than check. But uh, that's not what happened. Amiri checked back with nothing. So. And that's part of why we want to bet, right? Just to, just to avoid situations like this. Uh, who, Dvoris or Amiri? Amiri, no, on the turn. No, I think on the turn it's just... <coughs> The ace coming is a is a better card for him, and uh, his he just gets to bet a lot with his range, and betting usually likes being polar. All that ace x stuff bets pretty big for like value 20? or better, yeah. and then yeah. a lot of your worst hands just continue betting, and that that's a hand that probably slots in that category, right? Just to realize fold equity, so. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what it boils down to. I don't know. Does that explain it? Makes sense. Yeah. Someone in chat asked, what's a bluff? A bluff would have been betting the turn with 8-6 high mm -hmm. there on ace-4-3-9. That's a bluff. Even on the turn, he has, when called, he has very little ways to win the pot. He might be drawing dead. Zhang Ji going to ship it with the king jack. And Danny with the suited connector in the small blind, Brian. One. And what does the math say here? Hmm. I think the math says fold. Well, we know what the math says with ace eight suited for Sergio. He's in there. Great spot, actually. A pseudo flip here, Brian. Yeah, you're you're on team math now. We welcome you. We go down it's to about the math. time, Will. Final tables, big events. We get the math in here. See a flop. Ooh. It's pretty much curtains for Changji. He needs runner, up. runner. No, but <laughs> Any backpack? <laughs> oh, I'll be paying. See, now they're making fun of the Need stand water, up maybe, you know, just all the cards around. are out. And how that's Ooh. bad luck. Okay. You have to walk away now. Walk away? Yeah. No, do the, like... Huh? No, just, <laughs> just call the, for, call yeah, for Jack, the king, Jack. dude. Yeah. Call for Jack the king. <laughs> more power, more power. Hey, go game. You didn't believe it enough. <laughs> yes. Mantas was like not ready to leave this place. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but on the flop, you didn't believe it at all. 
But the truth, like, the truth is, the if you're in there and you're only there. pulling for yourself, shouldn't well, you stand guys? up more? I mean, it's like the, the idea is that better. theoretically yeah, standing up helps you suck out and get a bad beat. I mean, like, wait, you're not trying to help your opponent. It's your tournament life. Like, I would do anything I could to suck out. Like, I'd jump, do jumping jacks. If standing up helps, like, why not do it? Because it doesn't help. It is. Uh, uh, nice pot for Sergio, and Chang Ji is going to go out in 16th place. 90,000 for his troubles, though. Not I'll, a bad payday. All of a sudden, you're a math expert now. I spend you a few days <laughs> around you, man. Tiny, tiny Doing fucking points. linear calculus. <laughs> the big ones. And take the big ones. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of a funny math joke. Unintended, I'm pretty sure. No, I know what linear calculus is. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. I know, Brian. Let's not let's not overwhelm them with math. It's linear algebra. No, I know, I know what that is too. Let's not overwhelm them <laughs> with the no math. There's no linear though. calculus. Danny Devoris on the button with the Jack Four of Diamonds here. Gonna, I think, get involved. What does the math say here? The math says he's gonna wield his big stack like a bludgeon and raise it up. Ooh. Oh, interesting flop. Both of them hit the card they don't share, and both of them have a backdoor flush draw. I think Dvoris is going to stab here quite a bit, probably thinking he did, gets check raised very little, and there's some kind of good uh, fold equity type properties to his bet. With bottom pair, you get almost your opponent has to have an overcard basically, and probably two. Quite an interesting turn, Brian. Yeah, I, a great turn for Amiri, who picks up. Well, they both pick up a gutter, but he picks up hearts as well. And I wonder if Divorce is going to keep barreling this off the strength of the gutter that he picks up. Maybe hoping he can get a lot of different 10x type hands to fold. And potentially bluff an ace x on some rivers? Potentially, yeah. And he doesn't take that route and just... And look at that. Another heart for Amiri. Backdoor flush. Yeah. So he, now he has a decision between bet and check. And if check, probably check raise. Yeah, I'd have to think so. But the check, very sneaky over to Dan. And but Dan, does he have enough showdown value to yeah. just... Yeah, he's happy yeah. to. Not going to work there. Oh, good. Interesting that Dan checked there. I felt like he'd barrel some of the time. Saves himself a lot of chips, potentially. Yeah. Yeah, no, the turn, I think, is pretty close. Check on river. I mean, the other problem with the queen, it does fill in a, a few hands you might think your opponent has, Better like queen point. jack, king queen, that that float flop. Definitely helps you get tens out. Uh, it's I think because Fedor raised on the button and he defended the big blind, maybe there are more hands that the jack four actually does beat in that setup versus, you know, if he raised from early position. Yeah, he, ra he raised button, right? Yeah. And yeah. Mario now with Queen Jack offsuit. He's just going with math. Look, if there's one thing the Fedor bots know, it's math. Look at this. Danny DeVoris. And the big story of the day so far, Danny DeVoris started with three big blinds, Brian. Oh, really? And I just randomly, just because he was the first person on the screen with a short stack, I made the point to Nick that it's so valuable playing these stacks because in these tournaments, you never know. 
now he's got almost 10 million, and he's in a great spot against the Fedor bot, because those bots, Brian, there's one thing that they might short circuit on, over aggression. You know, you know what uh, David Peters had a short stack like all, f like two yeah. tables, final table yesterday, and just slid up into second. He nursed the nub. Fedor bot, no, just gonna get right out of there. Maz back, of course, allegedly a pro soccer player before becoming a poker player. Brian, I'll let you decide. But Daniel Divorce, I heard he goes ice fishing. Brian, you're in with these players. Is that true? <clears throat> you know, I haven't confirmed that, so I cannot confirm or deny that based on my experience with him. You know. Interesting. I haven't gotten any invites for ice fishing with him, though. I will just submit that piece of evidence. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mazbek kind of down to, not a nub, Brian, but it's getting, it's getting murky. Yeah. Getting, I mean, not even... He's like... He's fine. He's got 10 nine 17 suited. blinds. I know. Like It looked more like it. I, I didn't see those black chips on the side. Yeah. Even one orange chip there. Oh, come on. Those are just... Is that? And look at this. 10 million chips for the ice fisherman. Unconfirmed. Wow. And is he going to attack again? Last hand, he had the goods, but this hand, back he doesn't. Back-to-back, Brian. It's got to look stronger if you do it two hands in a row, right? Is this guy really doing it twice in a row? And Sergio. Oh. What do we do now, Brian? Under the gun raises. Next player, three bets, and we got the pocket jacks. I mean, four bet it. Oh. oh. Alex in the big, wow, Brian. I mean, I guess he just really respects the under the gun range versus this. I did not expect that. And Mosbeck now with the really interesting spot. And he folds too. Wow, look how much credit this raise gets. That's crazy. I, I thought he would consider calling with such a pretty hand. Yeah, I mean, look at that people, from the ice fisherman. People just, when you get down and there's some ICM pressure, people just hate playing huge contested pots with marginal holdings. In your point, Brian, next My player out in like 16th 1. 6, yeah? gets 90,000. I, I, I don't know if I trust the up. Okay. Then it just goes up. I do think that this is the part of the tournament where. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, we're going to stream. I mean, we're not, the ICM's not so crazy now yet, prior to the final table, where you, you kind of can't, ha can't gamble. Yeah, because I have a body Definitely body can body. right now. There is a pay jump, but, you know, yeah, between here and 10th place, I mean, 10th place is only 128K. <laughs> but that's what I mean. That's why I was kind of surprised with the jacks. My, my I feel like this is a spot where we can still take risk. We don't have to be so handcuffed. Yeah. No, I, I think I'm going to get kicked out. He of has table. four million, so but like. But he can also four bet. He doesn't need to yes, put all his exactly. chips in. Yes, exactly. He could make it like one point two, and, and even consider folding to the. And this is this is something so. a, a great player told me once. I said I've been in similar spots. I'd be in that spot, and I say I don't know what do I do. I say I don't want to four bet because what do I do if I, you know what I mean? If he calls, he goes, you play poker. Yeah, play poker. Play poker. Yeah, I I think I would have four bet the jacks there. You are committed versus uh, the short yeah. stack. Versus the shorty, but you can still, there's but, still option and, points. And he's, and you he's can, definitely yeah. got the you goods. You can still maneuver when, after but that point. Yeah, you can maneuver. Yeah. Speaking of maneuvering, what does Mario want to do with the king ten of clubs in the big? This feels comfy. You get raised out of position by the no, small raised, blind? No, he's raised by the small blind. I mean, he could have definitely shipped his hand in there. Uh, but decides just to call. He's in position, play some poker. And this is the issue of calling there, is that uh, you let s some of your opponent's garbage hands in and flop. You know, it is what it is. And what a flop when you raise with the queen three off, Brian. Yeah. Just going to check it, giving Mario some rope. 
I think being as short as Mario is, not wanting to get check raised, I'm very curious. His hand is If we're Mario, doesn't this kind of look like an ace high hand? Like yeah, he ends up wanting to just preserve his equity here and check back. And the ace on the turn does give Mario a gut shot. Uh, I, yeah. would, I would think a much better card for Alex, though, in terms of his range. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. quite a few ace -X hands Mario's shipping. Even the thing is, I mean, they're short enough that Alex would have just open jammed quite a few ace -X hands as well, like the ace -X offsuit variety. So... Neither one has a ton of as much ace as it, like you might think, but it, probably Alex has more. Mario gonna check it back. And Mario has kind of gotten saved here a little. I'm not saying he would have continued, but maybe a small bet on the flop in position could have led to trouble. Does Alex want to bet at this point? I mean, we've checked yes. three times. Yes, I, I think Alex is gonna bet at this point. Do you think that's real yellow tape or part of the sweatshirt? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with part of the sweatshirt. That, that looks yeah. like real yellow tape to me. 315? 315, 315, 315. Oh, no five. sure, that's true. 325. Sure. 325. Yeah, we don't have fives. Back. I mean, we do beat some bluffs, right? Yeah, no, we... we Honestly, he probably beats most of the bluffs, if not, if not all of them, but, you know, he can probably find better hands to call with. Fedor looks on intently, not happy to see those chips leave one of the factory members, Brian. <laughs> Alex pretty happy, though. One of these guys I talked about, we don't know a lot about Sorry? him. He's probably just in a lab somewhere running simulations and playing online, and now we get to see been tough. first what do you mean? From Quite happy. He just won a pot with queen three offs. I mean, you folded just a very Let's but go. First place. More. 1.485 <laughs> million and Sergio finally with the chance here has hasn't been his day but well, like no way to get during the first hand the math says you have to raise here so you have to raise with pocket aces and Alex small pair here in position they're pretty deep I mean Sergio doesn't quite but have 40 bigs I mean that's a that's a stack that you can win a big pop from. Really is. I'm, I'm pretty sure the math says call. Yeah, maybe didn't think Sergio had enough chips behind. I mean, he could be worried about the, the two stacks in the blinds who are very short, but I mean, I guess if one of them shoves, it's pretty easy if Sergio puts money in the pot, you fold, and if he folds, you have to call, kind of. That's what, how that ends up working, but. And Sergio Audio has had a bad day. Sergio Ido, I'm not sure. It's not audio, it's probably not Sergio Audio. Um, See, to, to me, by the way, just before, I want to stay on that hand before it's too late. Like, this is another example of, I think we're in the part of the tournament where you need to gamble and try to pick up chips, and I think fives is a call for chip EV there when you're like 40 bigs deep in position on the button to a min raise and I don't know where you know it's not time yet to be crazy about the ICM anyway what were you saying about Sergio I was just saying I pronounced his name wrong ha do you know who Frank Lucas is uh I think no okay um Dominique is now this is our second table we haven't seen this table big story of this table has been Timothy who came dressed like the Reaper today Looks like he's calmed down a little. 
You see Anna Marquez nursing a serious nub there. That is a serious nub nursing situation <laughs> going on there, Brian. That's David Yan. Interesting. You get a lot of different countries. This is a battle of two countrymen here. Okay. A civil war. Both from New Zealand. Beautiful place, but it can get ugly out there, Brian. And if we're Vincent, I mean, you got to just slinky something out there, right? Yeah. Uh, this is a pretty decent board for, for us, opening under the gun versus the big blind. Here it comes. We got a little little something going on. Not the end of the world if we get raised. Yeah. Didn't turn into a civil war, Brian. No. Very peaceful affair there. I mean. They're countrymen. Yeah. You don't want to kill your own countrymen, Brian. No. You really don't. See Marquez nursing that nub. That is, that thing needs milk. Jesse Lonis, American gangster, Brian. Is that how he's been playing? That's how he plays, Brian. Uh, just always. Always. He doesn't he doesn't use the solvers. <laughs> <laughs> Not a math guy. Not a math guy. Adrian He's just been chilling, dude. This guy ordered a bottle of wine like mid-hand last night. Today he started off with a massage. Oh, Nicolaitis is here yeah. again. Familiar face, just right? every tournament. And is this good enough, Brian, with this little nub we have? Looks like it is. Oh, King yeah. King high has to be, right? We got to no, go at I some point. Did she get it through? That's so what you're hoping for with the king six the off. Spots, you know? like, I okay. Mean, one more customer here, Brian. Here, Just one more 7-3 type in. Oh. It's not getting through, but it is ahead somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty great scenario considering, right? Yes. You get called, but you still have the best yeah. hand by a little bit. And Anna Marquez been nursing that nub. Great player. Great spot to double up if you can just hold, Brian. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, solid flop. Queen Jack's really got nothing working for it. An eight would chop the pot, but... That's the only card. All right, king high beats queen high. And we keep going. And Anna Marquez can exhale. Great double there. And we talked about this, Brian. She has, what, four big blinds? <laughs> Daniel DeVore started the day with three big blinds. He now has over 10 million chips. You chip in a chair, you're in there, you have a shot to win the tournament. Or get second like David Peters did. Yeah. You gotta just never give up. Say it again, Brian. Never give up. Vincent Huang, our chip leader at this table with 83 bigs. Anna Marquez, never giving up, never surrendering. Nursing the nub, doubling. David Yan, 16. Adrian Chu, Jesse Lonis, Dominicus Michaelitis from final table there. I believe our first event together. Yeah. Rusty. Timothy Adams, the Reaper. Stack tables here. Fade or over at our other table. I don't think I've seen Kose have. Uh, how has mm. he been playing? He's this guy's a gangster, bro. Oh yeah. Yeah, this guy's really. He's been he's been getting in there. Okay. This is a pretty gangster table. So he's like Japanese Lanus. Kind of the same ill. Not really. No. Okay. Suited connector for Adrian. And Dom, our boy. Is Kose a, a math guy? I don't know. Okay. You'll have to see for yourself. Ooh. Is it a 15? Well, Timothy looks interested. Okay. 
He's got a little something. He's got to decide how he wants to approach this. I'm pretty sure he's going to play. Is he going to come call or is he going to three bet? Is he going to make the decision himself? Is he going to randomize it? Oh, he goes fold. Wow, a lot of respect there. Yeah. Pretty pretty big lay down. I'm, the difficult part here is, especially when you flat, is you got uh, these stacks behind you, short stacks, two million, shipping it in. It's, it's just gross. But David Yan hasn't folded, and we've seen players do crazier things with little aces, Brian. He won't yeah, do not it. Not suited, though. Yeah, it's true. Vincent, though, with queen 10 off, is this blockerish enough to... Nope. No. A lot of respect. In the small the blind, race, yeah. in the small blind as well, out of position is pretty, pretty rough. But he's got a customer, Jose, with Ace Ten offsuit. We've seen two tens folded, so this is going to be a tall order in terms of winning the pot. He's going to see a flop dominated by Dom, and a flop that gives both players a gut shot straight draw. And a board that favors the big blinds range. Michaelitis really never flops a pair here. Uh, he does have a lot of strong hands in the form of over pairs, definitely more of those, but he has less of the, the nuttish hands. He might not even have the sets raising from early position. And Michaelitis can have straight sets. Sorry, it, it, Kose can have straight sets, etc. So. But Michaelitis can have aces, kings, queens, all these hands that yes, Kose so can have. Yes, he can have, have so good, good hands, but but he's definitely at a nut disadvantage. So he's at a nut disadvantage in terms yeah. of maximum strength hands, but in terms yes. of just average hands, he has plenty of good ones yes. that he can keep betting. Yes. No, yeah, so so betting is pretty normal here. It, it is a board that the big blind could either lead or check raise at a decent frequency, but I think Kose is not that interested maybe in doing it with his particular hand that has a decent amount some showdown value ace high now we've been called once what do we want to do on the turn yeah is he is he going to start barreling this or kind of just check back realize some showdown value yeah, not a ton but like we can see here that he he does actually have the best hand we don't have I mean, we don't beat pairs, but we beat all ace highs, right? Yes. We beat some draws. Seems comfortable. Yeah, he, I I don't think he's going to go for value. I think he's just going to check this back. It doesn't really, I mean, he's never bluffing. I mean, this would bets. be really thin. He's just targeting hands like this, basically. Yeah, I think it's a little thin. Unless you had, like, some special read on your opponent that they're just always value betting any, like, two pair. Maybe. I mean, it's just so specific. Wow, he's, he's, he's got a read, it. Brian. Look at this. This is a pretty sick. Is that 500? Wow, this is a pretty sick value bet. Dom, who final tabled the first event, got fifth place for 240,000. You're seeing why. This is a crazy next level just soul read value bet. And Ichinose has the type of hand that might get curious, Brian. Yeah, for sure. But he know great fold from him. He's played very well from what I've seen. Well, that's that starts to say like maybe that value bet was too thin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's not like let's not. We don't know what these guys. These guys are out there on the felt, Brian. We're here. Like. Blinds up seventy five thousand, one fifty thousand. GG millions, twenty five k, Brian. Getting down there. 15 players left. Mattis Symbolis now nursing the nub. Mr. Mosbeck also nursing a nub. A lot of big stacks here. Yeah, three nub nurses right now. Yeah, it's uh, Anna Marquez still down there in that territory. She's a little healthier though. Adrian with the pocket sevens under the gun. Feels like it's got to be good enough to put in a raise here. 
Yeah, I. Whoa, this is a that's a that's a pretty tight fold. Yeah, I, I, everybody. Finds I mean, I've done it before. I get it. You got a lot of good players behind you. Your first to act. No, I agree, and I think like maybe if we were down and this was like. We're eight-handed at the final table with his stack. Or well, it something. works out extremely well for Anna Marquez, Brian, who picks yeah. up a, a hand. Good. She just gonna shove now. She would have folded versus the open. Yeah. Look. Now she gets a chance to take down the pot, which will be huge for her stack. The bad news is, Brian, she somehow dominated. He. I mean, it's not a guarantee he's gonna play threes oh, there. Oh no! She, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow. He folded. Yeah, that worked out great for Wow, Anna what a scenario for Anna Marquez there. Yeah. First the guy folds sevens, yeah. then the guy folds threes. You have ace three. She, Brian, not long ago she was nursing the nub. Just yeah. keep that in mind in case she wins this puppy. I'm just, I, I've noticed a little pattern here in, in this particular tournament that like people are really kind of uh, knitting it up right now out of what's I'm sure is ICM concerns. But I kind of feel like people are overdoing it. The the ICM is, it, it's there. I've noticed this theme. Every but time there's a spot, you say, let's get in there. Queen 10 suited, let's see, five. No, the Queen 10 suited one, I didn't have a strong opinion. But I'll the sevens one I did and the fives flat. Well, both of those I I would bet. The Queen 10 suited, I, I don't want to bet that. I, I, thought he, I thought he was going to get involved because he looked interested. I think it's a pretty close spot. And he can consider all three options, and I'm, I, you know, I have gotcha. no idea what's right. We got a flop here, a hand. Sorry, Dom yeah. getting back in it with King Jack offsuit raises under the gun, and Vincent with the pocket eights, the snowmen, Brian. I know, good. It's a good hand. Why does the math call them the snowmen? Because the the way an eight actually looks. It, it it's like a snowman. It's like the two big balls of snow. Yeah, now, but clearly on a snowman, the bottom ball is larger on a real snowman. But you know. But the not only is the bottom ball larger, there's three balls, not two. Take it up with the poker nickname. No, it's a math history. thing. <laughs> Why is it the snowman if there's? Three I like this. Everything's a math thing, so therefore everything is under my purview as a math guy. No, not everything. This I is mean, numbers. pretty much. This is numbers. <laughs> is it? I mean, I think we're talking about snowmen. Let's get back to the hand. The snowman, great flop with the overpair. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this, right? What well, does get better than that, but it is a solid flop. And I think eights, you just kind of have to start betting. You know, can't leave free cards. We could see his opponents have three free cards in between, over, sorry, over cards in between them. He's going small, and this bet might accomplish what he wants. Mikolaitis has a curious hand. Like, this hand is really, he's getting five to one from the pot. He has two pretty big cards and a big diamond, and see, even that gets him to fold. But you could see he was thinking about it. Really nice bet from Vincent there. Yeah. Seemed like the perfect size. In multi-way pots, you kind of get to bet small, kind of small sometimes, and it can accomplish a lot, like, right? Like, you, in position, you don't see people too often doing the, like, 20% pot bet on, like, the wet boards. But, you know, multi-way pots, you do it. People play a little snugger. Looks like the Reaper's going to take the hood down. It, and we noticed this earlier in our tournaments, Brian. Vincent Huang, one of our chip leaders, the last event he got uh, 11th place for 101,000. We see these people getting hot now. Now he's in this, looking to better that score. Just run it up. It's like a parlay. Speaking of running it up, Anna Marquez turning that nub into a lot more than just a nub. And I mean, she's not nubbing anymore. No, she's not, Brian. She's really not nubbing anymore. Brian going to get in here. Queen Jack with the blockers. Feels good enough. Vincent, though, picking up some cards, and he's got a lot of chips, Brian. Yeah, he's really amassing piles over there. Not going to play it, though. I think Dave too short. Ooh, pretty hand for Adrian in the small blind. But an awkward spot. Yeah, pretty awkward. Wouldn't be surprised if he passed this since he passed opening sevens. 
Yeah, and yeah. I hate these spots because it feels like you yeah. can't make a right decision. Nothing feels good. But look at this. Sevens in the big for Dom. I mean, Can I, I wouldn't. That, King 10 suited. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the Silicon Overlord just ships that sometimes there, by the way. I've seen it. Dom, though, what does he want to do with the sevens from the big? Probably just. All in? Well, ooh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, like, aren't you just tempted to rip it, not have to worry about dealing with the flop? You got the best hand a lot, take down the pot. David's a very aggressive, very difficult player. That would always be my instinct. And that's why I'm here for poker analysis. Brian, it's great to have you too for the math. Nope. Oh, together we make a good team. It's not just poker, right? It's not just poker skills, right? It's math out there. Yeah. And that's why we have you. Math is everywhere. Math was all over your computer when we were watching those <laughs> UFC fights. <laughs> you were doing some math big time. Uh, you, you mean the spreadsheet it's adding a, up the bets? It was a I good mean, day for math today. Uh, yeah. You've seen The Matrix, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, like at the end of the movie when he sees The Matrix and it's like it's just green zeros and ones, tiny ones in every one. Is that what you see? No, that's, that's real life, dude. Oh, that's what that's that's what we're in? Why don't you we break it down at the smallest level? It's, it's math, bro. Well, we know what the math says now because <laughs> Brian is here. We know firsthand off the bat, someone had pocket aces. I asked Brian what the math says. It says raise. Yeah. That's what Adrian's going to do. If he folds, actually, the universe will explode. That's how. Thank like, God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a close one. We really faded that, Brian. You know what? So far, I mean, I've been in a bunch of streams, and it's gotten faded every time, and I'm so thankful. Dom with a hand that can really get himself in trouble. Burst the button. 900. Oh. So the crazy thing. I wonder if he's going to ship or he's going to call. Yeah. <laughs> we can't have him fold because that would mean <laughs> the universe would end. Yeah. So I, please don't fold, sir. Yeah, but ship or call, you know? Yeah, it's so good. I'll tell you one thing he's going to do, Brian. He's going to Hollywood. Gonna make it looks like you have a decision. It's such a dream spot, Brian. I mean, we raise the button. We have not many chips behind. We get a We're big free bet. bet. By a guy who's probably gonna be committed to call any two, and we've got aces. He's calling. He does just call. Look at that. There setting, we go. Setting the trap, Brian. Thank God he did not fold. <laughs> I know. There's a lot riding on it, but they just never do. They you know? never do, and the universe continues, and Dom in dire straits. Now the really sick part is if he checks, and you're like, oh, no, he, maybe he has nothing. Maybe I just check back. Don't even talk about that because that means he could fold at some point. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh my God. It. The universe lives on. Adrian is in an amazing spot to double up. Just a master class in trapping, Brian. Yeah. I mean, if he shoves... You know, maybe it just he gets he folds for the one point whatever more. One point four. It was one point four more. Five million chips going to Adrian Chu. Unless some really funky stuff oh, happens, no. Brian. Oh come on, that's just too dirty. You can't do that. Don't do it. Oh. Okay. The universe Yeah, I, I, I couldn't have taken that. We just see another runner runner. <laughs> <laughs> Bad beat versus aces. <laughs> I mean and Dom's aggression bites him obviously it's helped him a lot but there's a downside and Adrian what a, what a hand great hand sir and is it fair to say that he just saved the universe Brian? Yeah. you know what I like you know how he used the time bank but he he didn't do the use the time bank look fruffled and then go all in move. No. No, he did use the time bank, looked a little fruffled, and came with call. He looked a little fruffled, but he didn't yeah. go all the way. It was yeah. really well done by him. Yeah. It's 
Sixes for Vincent. 15 players left. How incentivized are the shorter players here, Brian, to just try to hold on to ladder for pay jumps? Ooh, tens. Ooh, never mind. Ignore that question. Tens. And Jesse is going to come. Do I three bet? Or do I call? He's got 30 blinds. Kind of a kind of a close spot. And I'll okay. tell you, Jesse has quite an image, Brian. I just, the way he plays, I feel like he just tries to get max value every time. Sure. Now, we'll see if that image earns him something here because... Well, it's why he plays that way. Yeah, Rejamming the sixes here is, is a bit wild. This would be really crazy. Vincent, 11 million in chips. I are mean, we deep this enough? Is, this to, is are we big, deep enough to peel one off? No, 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 no. Because like he only has three point five behind. Yeah, You're gonna call yeah. six hundred thousand. Yeah, just yeah. folds. Nothing there we he can go, do there. Vincent. There we go. This is the second time Vincent made it deep in the last couple of days in something. I just said that, Brian. Yeah. Wh which one? Eleven place in the last tournament. That's right. Here. I oh said yeah, that. I was doing that one. Yeah. Were you doing? You're doing the math when I said that, right? I was. I was lost in thought and math and. Were you seeing the matrix? You know what? Screen? Vincent had like no chips. And he just didn't get to do anything. But now we get to see what Vincent's made of. He's got chips. He's in there. He's got decisions to make. He's making good folds, making good plays. Let's go. It's always fun. It's always fun to see new people, too. You know, I love the people that I know and that this and that I've played with. But it's fun to see new people. You're like, because now it's always curious. Like, what is this guy doing? Where is he coming from? I mean, record-breaking fields here. As long yeah. as I'm in the booth, Brian, he came to the right place. And apologies for that, by the way. This tournament also broke the record. Yeah. But technically, you weren't in the booth for it. It was just the math. <laughs> Dom now with ace-king and looking to get some of those chips back. 300. He has a good hand to get chips back with the big slick. And why do they call it the big slick, Brian? I don't know. Actually, you don't know? It's not it's not something that's based on math, so I don't know. Oil spill. Slippery? It's based on human tradition. I mean We always spill oil. One of the least mathematical things out there. Check it out. And David now with a hand that can get himself in a lot of trouble. There it is. Oh. Gonna shove and he's gonna be dominated by Dom. Dom just Bluffed off a lot of chips to Adrian and can get most of them back. David doesn't do something funny. David Yan, really good player from New Zealand. One of the best. Looking to double. Four clubs in the window, but bad. He's going to need something real, real special. He's going to be out of here. Yeah, not a good flop for David. But <laughs> quite a turn card. Steel wheel in play now. Five, three, or club. He can suck out here. With that, David Yan, great player from New Zealand. A lot of winnings here at Triton. A lot of winnings all over the place. One Triton title, almost five million. And look at this, Danny DeVoris back where he left off. Yeah, just come to the other table to watch Mario Mosbeck get smashed. In a great spot to take out Fedor's most dangerous bot, the original <laughs> model, Mario Mosbeck. You remember the Terminator? Yeah. Oh, so he, he's like the T-1000. Under that is a just a yeah. metal shell. But he's got ace-10. He's alive. Oh, very alive right now. <laughs> these are these things are tough to kill, Brian. The forest does have hearts. Gonna need a king now and only yeah, a king. Heart's not working anymore. Or this. Mario gonna double. And Danny, just a very small flesh wound. Is that a flesh wound, Brian, or no? Technically not. What does the math say? Yeah, the math agrees with that assessment. I mean, in the Monty Python use of the word, 
And you always have an attachment to the first thing you build, right? Uh, right. Sure. There's got to be a special bond. Because I think, like, really, if you say flesh wound, I think, wow, that sounds serious. Like, flesh is coming out? I mean, that doesn't sound good. They probably got to go to the hospital, get stitches. But in the Monty Python sense, like, yeah, just take multiple flesh wounds, and you're okay. The Black Knight, no exactly. big deal. You're yeah. Like yeah. Eight now? Uh, I think it's like plus. Yep. Like, we don't need that leg. As I was saying, Brian. The first thing you build, you have a special attachment to, right? Your first castle, I'm your first Lego. <laughs> you had Legos, right, Brian? I, I did, actually. Yeah, I did have Legos. What about your first bot, your first human creature that you <laughs> mold with molten lava and feed solvers through straws in their ears? How, how, how close do you feel to that? Madison Bowles <laughs> with Queen Four Off. And Madison Bullis, Brian, yeah. what is he doing right now? <laughs> he's nursing the nub. <laughs> he's wasting time. That's what he's doing. He's, he's letting time go by. Folded around to Mr. Amiri with a very playable ace five. And he's going to... He's going along for the ride. No yeah. three bets. Just going to see a flop. Alex with a suited... Fold. Going to a flop here. Mario just doubled. Okay. And nothing for anyone. You see that scarf on Mario? It's not hiding the armor, Brian. Just so you know. I know you were thinking that. What does Mario want to do? You, you I feel like he's going to C-bet here. You got to, right? I think he's going to C-bet. He's just like, let's get this is a good high, test. clean high. This is whatever. a good test of how much your solver skills are up to par, Brian. Because we know Fedor has these things equipped with the latest solvers. So it looks like you're <laughs> correct so far. <laughs> but what does Mr. Amiri want to do? you got to call, right, with ace high, such a small bet, back doors, Yeah, abound. backdoor heart. He's gonna that bet was very small. He's not letting the bot get away clean here. Let's see. Let's see what cards Mario double doubles it on. Ooh. Ooh. He's not gonna need to double it anymore. No. Now he's got the best hand. Now he's thinking, man, I would love to just end this right now and see who wins. How can I end this and see who wins? <laughs> Probably he's check. These models, they know how to get there. You know in, in Terminator where the cop's chasing him and he shoots him and the cop, like, you know, yeah. his body morphs? That's what Mario did hitting that nine. He morphed back. And now, Amiri, are we just happy to see a river here? Hope day's high is good. Ooh, Amiri's going to start bluffing. Ooh, look at this. No, we are not. But I think after hitting a nine... I just don't think I don't think you can fold here. You're just like I don't know, maybe my opponent has some random stuff. Maybe maybe even has like sevens. And he's just betting once in position and gonna check back the end. Who knows? The bot yeah. is going nowhere. See? I'm Mario and I You were up to connected. par, Brian, two for two. Two for two. Let's see if you can ace this. <laughs> I'll tell you the river. River's pretty easy. I'm gonna go with check. I don't even. I'm not even gonna say what the river card is. Well, let's, let's see. Let's not be a nine because that would be the one. Okay, I'm gonna go with okay. check. So this is potentially the last street we'll need you for. We'll see. Three for three, Brian. Congratulations. You <laughs> are up to par with this the software that Fedor puts in his bots. Incredible, right. man. You're still. You still have now, it. This is it. This is. This but what do we do now with Amiri? No. We can't be good here. No. We he cannot knows he's not be good, good against this Fedor bot here ever. <laughs> no. What do we do? Oh, he's going for it. This is some heart right here. Look at this, Brian. Heavy lifting. Telling the story. This is some heart. And now this is a tough call. Dude, fearless from Amiri. No fear of the original model, the T-1000. This is a tough call. I mean, the thing is, he bet kind of, he bet pretty small. But it's but a tough call, Brian. It's a he tough call with less than a king. Uh, with the king, it's you just always call. But he, ooh, it works. Look at that, Brian. 
No fear from Amiri. Takes it down. Great hand, sir. And now we see why maybe Amiri has all these chips. He's flatting in position. We get a little glimpse, don't we? He's like, I'm going to take these guys to the streets post-flop. I know this, Amiri. Brian, you wear their clothes. You wear their jeans, right? <laughs> They're a clothing line. Is this the guy who invented Amiri? The I don't actually have any of his clothes. I saw you and Nacho Barbero together. You're both wearing Amiri no, outfits. No, no, that wasn't no, you, you in the purple sweatsuit? No. Really? Yeah, really. I don't know in the purple sweatsuit. Huh? Back on the action. And I think we're seeing why he has all these chips. He's uh, And I, I want to give up. a special shout out to Daniel Ruth in the chat. He asked if there was a way to mute me when I say nub so he didn't have to hear it. <laughs> So if our producers could give Daniel Ruth a, a special way to mute me, Matias Sembolis is under the gun, nursing the nub here, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed in my time in the booth with you so far, when you pick out a concept, you stick with it. You stick to your guns. It's not a concept. It's a poker term, Brian. <laughs> Fedor holes. It's nubs, it's watches, it's bots, whatever. We stick with the concepts. Well, Fedor is not happy about what Amiri just did to his bot, and he's <laughs> going to come for some chips here. Raises the button with Jack-10. But Amiri is not even in the pot. Yeah, but he needs to get those chips back ASAP, Brian. <laughs> he's not happy. And look at this. He's not. He might not get them here. Alex just rips on him with the bot in the big blind, Brian. Wow. And Mario folds king-queen suited. Wow. And in one swoop, Alex not only gets the bot to fold a much better hand, takes out Fedor. Fedor is not pleased right now, Brian. He's really not happy right now. He looks he looks fine to me. He you're the math, dude. You don't know how people feel <laughs> inside, do you? You really no, don't. I really don't. So don't do it. Okay. Just 14 players uh, left in this record-breaking uh, event here. Oh, how many? Sorry, I thought you First, we'll get 1.5 million, essentially, when you round up, Brian, right. sorry. Next player out will get 100,000, but the next player that, 113. So these pay jumps, Brian, we can see them looming. We can see the, pre the pressure that the players feel. But look at this, Brian. Snowmen, I'm not sure why they're called that, because they're only two balls for Daniel DeVoris. It's it's a s snowman either without the base of the body or without the head. Fair enough. One thirty. And can I'm someone done, please yeah. mute that guy not for done. a sec so he can't hear me? Just that one guy in chat. Madison Polis, Brian. What is he doing? No, I think it's 450. He's nursing the nub, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Nursed it a little more. Daniel DeVoris, the you really don't know if he's an ice fisherman or not. <laughs> no. Dude, I you're don't. in the you're in the sauna. I, I Guns am. out with these I guys. Am. You don't have that info? <laughs> and just so you guys know, the sauna's here. It's not really a math thing. You can't wear bathing suits. No, in the sauna they give you clothes. It's in the it's in the other part of the spa, like where, where the jacuzzi and the cold plunge. Yeah, but plunge. when you go in the hot spots, you have to go nude. No, they have clothes to go in the sauna. They give you special clothes. Do you, does does Sergio look like he's on tilt to you? Be honest. He kind of always no. He always looks like he's on tilt. <laughs> 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 That's what you were gonna say. <laughs> Fedor's on tilt. He's not happy right now. <laughs> but Fedor doesn't tilt. And neither do his bots, Brian. Ace queen on the button. Is it still going to be a three day event? Looking to get healthy again. And Brian, what is Met Metis doing here? Mm. He's nursing the nub. Just say it once. He might, he might play this here. Because he's kind of getting two to one because with the yeah, 150 and the knot. The deuce is really bad, though. 
The answer is no. It will be two days. They will finish it today. Almost certain. I'm curious what he comes with here. I, I think it will. Like, they, I think they 375 will, they will behind, so he has, he has three big like ones. Or something. He has like so six more hands to find a better spot if he that's folds. That's like another six hours. Mm. Five hours of play. Oh. Yeah, kind of, like it's yeah. close. Yeah. yeah it was more maybe. These when are the spots we gotta get, get down to the decimal, my man. Yeah, he when the what? Passes it up. It's made. They just decide, okay, come play tomorrow. No. Ooh. This would certainly not happen. <laughs> and so how Fedor, happy is Fedor going to be? I, I personally think so. I think not happy. He wanted a lot more there. <laughs> Look, the, the armor's there. coming out soon. He needs he needs to get healthy Fine again. Bank, table two. Fine bank, please. And Brian... Look at this Triton gear. Exclusive Triton merch. The freshest in the game. Brian's rocking the hoodie right now. You can't see it, but only the finest linens and fabrics here at the Triton series. Check out that bucket hat. I wear that a lot when I'm on the beach at home. The shade's got to come out. Check out the Triton merch. Get swag, Brian. Get dripped out, brother. Black car. <laughs> Everybody at Triton swag, man. Swag lord. And Fedor, <coughs> it's time to get some chips back for the young prince. And Brian, what is Mattis doing here? He's uh, nursing the nub. Thank you. Yeah. I was actually asking what he's doing with 9-7 and Super. This, his hand is a little better than the last one, but it also has the problem that, like, when he calls, he's no longer nursing the nub, Brian. It's in play. See, the one of the issues now is like the big blind comes along a lot, and it's then not going to be an issue here though. The nub is now in he play. Now has to beat three hands. That this will probably, I would assume. Yeah, one of the issues that was not there in the previous hand. You'd rather just have to go heads up there, take your equity. But bigger pot if he wins it. Yeah. Maybe trying to parlay here. No, I mean, this hand is a little better than the last one in some in many ways. And look at that. Ooh. Fedor having a pretty bad day. It's about to get worse. Although, never know with Fedor. What does he want to do on the flop? He's going to bet really small. And with that little chips left, Brian, is Mattis still technically nursing the nub? Does that still qualify as a nub? Is there like a I, can different someone term? check? Can someone confirm for us if that's a nub or not? And Mattis really, really milking it. There goes the nub, Brian. Whatever it is, it's all in now. It's not being nursed anymore. <laughs> and Sergio going nowhere. Top pair. But Fedor with tons of outs here, Brian. Looking for a king or a queen or maybe some straight Pavel possibilities. Knows. Pavel knows. That's one of the straight ones. Can win with a no, 10 no, no. now. I didn't mean to to myself and he, is there any incentive for him to start bluffing here? I mean, because I compliment for I mean, he Pavel. will beat. Won't he beat Mattis's hand some of the time? And then if he gets yeah, some, Sergio sometimes to fold, he, he wins the whole pot. That's got to be yeah, enticing. Sometimes, sometimes he will, but, but not that often. He's not going to be able to beat Mattis very well, often. Well, now he is, Brian. You're right. The young prince rivers a straight. Oh. And Sergio still has a nine, Brian. Yeah, that nine is shrinking up quite a bit. And it's 
Not going to make it to showdown unless he puts in more money. How much? We're going to find out. Fader with an interesting spot here because... What does he have if he's bluffing? It's he's not really incentivized to bluff with, with the way like this is ton, set up. Yeah. So this looks really strong. Three hundred thousand. Sergio. There's no way Fedor has like eights right or sevens. I don't know. He's just checking. I think. So he doesn't beat any value. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, maybe like eights or sevens would be the only hands because your opponent doesn't have a jack or a ten very often. But like, I don't like that would that would be very thin. This is kind of a genius bet from Fedor. It's the only size that could ever get called. He's never calling <laughs> more than this. We talk about how. You always want to bet the most you can when you're bluffing. You don't want to leave yourself short. This feels like the most Fedor can get here. Yeah. And he's going to get it. Nuts. And Matt is some bolus. Mm -hmm. Nurse that nub, Brian. I think he let it off a little yeah, prematurely, if I'm being honest with you. But unlucky there you was a great too. spot to triple up. Yeah, really, really cool bet size by Fedor, huh? 300k on the end. That's why the man has all the money. Fedor holes. Yeah. And you know, Brian, let's be honest. It's been a while, right? Okay. Since he's won one of these. <laughs> a few days. <laughs> yeah, it's about to, it's about time he's for due, it to He's due, right? Again. What does the math say? Is he due for this one or Yeah, it's it's about time again. <coughs> With Madison Bolas eliminated, we're down to 13 players. Each player gets 113,000. <laughs> Anna Marquez, the short stack. Like four now? Jesse Lonis with a bunch of chips. Dan Devoris. Yeah. I haven't seen that table. We've just been watching Fedor take back his fallen soldiers here. Getting real close to that final table, Brian. Where all the big money is. Yeah, 13. We are just now starting to get to the spot. It ramps up. We're not quite there yet. What ramps up, Brian? I mean, 113K twice, 128K twice. Still a chance to accumulate some chips to make a play for the top couple spots in the big money. Sergio's had a really bad day. Nothing is going his way. Does have a suited ace here in the small. He's just going to limp it. Miri's happy to check with the Jack-7. Oh. Ooh. And a little something for everybody here. Sergio top pair. Miri second pair. And the problem for Miri is there's plenty of aces Sergio would have raised with. So the Jack can be good here a lot. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Sergio no, decides to check. Like, yeah, someone like messaged me that like the one of the coffee shops. It almost feels like he's trapping, Brian. At, at, at this point, I think you just got to. What does Sergio want to do? You just got to bet here. Turn trips. He's going to go for it. Yeah. There's a lot of draws we can get called with as well as a jack or a four. Or who knows? Even like king high. And if you have jack seven here, this has to be one of the best turns for you, right? Yeah. No, it's a great turn. You're pretty happy to call. In fact, he's, he's giving a little enough raise. enough to raise here, Brian. Which is, this is an interesting little play in, in position. I'm pretty sure he's raising here. This guy's got all the moves. Watch this. He's raising here. To check back the river. To check back the river. He's setting the price. And the price is 
probably a lot smaller than if he just calls yeah. in a blanket. He just has to hope he doesn't get re-raised, yes, and that, then the, he will have set the price. Yeah. Really interesting. What does Sergio want to do? And look at that, Brian. Price set. Price set. And the man who created Amiri Jeans knows how to set a price, right? Yeah. And look at that. Clean River. This could have been way worse for him. Unless Sergio does something crazy or Amiri decides to, this play will have worked. Sergio ever thinking about just donking? Looks like he's thinking about it. Trying to reset I think the he's price. not going to come with it because I think he's hoping. Oh, no, wow. no. Wow. He, he resets the price oh. and at least gets a little sliver of value, but still, Ishan gets off really cheap there, considered. Nice pop for Sergio, though. He needs it. I was thinking, okay, interesting. I guess he's still may, maybe hoping if he bets super small, a jack calls and maybe the Miss Flush Draw still try to bluff him. Uh, Sergio uh, finally yeah, yeah. wins a pot. You see why that raise can be I so effective. Right That's why, yeah, right? Yeah. It's easy to say, oh, why is he raising with a okay, jack? Okay. You know what I mean? He should just call. No, he sets the price. Yeah. I Setting the price is nice, isn't it? Right it's better than yeah. someone telling you the price. You yeah. come into my store, I got a you know, nice burger. Wouldn't you rather say, hey, that's $5, than me be like, yo, that's 20 <laughs> It's math, right? What does the math say? The math agrees. Okay. I wish you guys could see the wrath, <laughs> the look Rass gives me. Yeah. Here. It would be. I wish there was a way to show the chat. <laughs> like we could just get your face out there sometimes, but we can't, unfortunately. Yeah. No. Your analysis of it is spot on. I mean, the problem when you're doing stuff like that is when you get raised back. But when you don't get raised back, you're. It's pretty effective. You're charging draws when you have the best hand and you're setting the price versus a hand that beats you that's probably betting more on the river. I mean, it's... Daniel you know. DeVore is going to set the price here with ace-jack off. And Sergio with one of these suited aces cut off first button. Yeah, is he going to... Is he going to go for a little th three bet here? This it might be not the time you want to set the price for him. Looks like he's really thinking about it. And the way Sergio's day has gone, Brian, I just it's just the feeling. I felt it. I feel like he might get himself into some trouble here. Like 900K maybe he's going to come with. Oh, this is small. You know, you know something I've I've found the silicon overlord says in these spots. You actually kind of want to go big because your range is polar. So you want to be bigger. Interesting. Yeah. Even when you're this short stacked. Yeah. I mean, you can still make it like 900 and fold. I mean, 900. You know. And what does Danny do? Just going to call, getting a yeah. very good price, right, with the small sizing. Yeah, he's he's dominating a lot of the bluffs. I mean, he's in trouble again, in a lot of trouble against the value. It's it's a tricky spot. But Sergio giving himself more paths to win, potentially, than going bigger, though, because if he goes bigger, Danny's more likely to fold or shove. Well, folding is great. Yeah. Yeah. But now he could, or he could just hit a deuce. <laughs> I mean, this is this is a terrible flop for Dvoras because let, let's say one of Sergio's biggest bluffs are like suited kind of wheel aces and stuff. I mean, suited wheel aces hit that. But isn't this a big problem for what if what if, he's losing Sergio still to ace king, ace queen. But now yeah, what is Sergio? What? What if doesn't Sergio have some 10, nine suited type of stuff like that? Or you think he's no. just flatting that? Yeah. I don't think he has any. He probably folds 10, nine suited. So you think this is mostly made up of hands like this? Yeah, ace, you know, stuff like maybe not something around nines, tens, maybe tens plus, ace king, maybe ace queen. Uh, and then like a smattering of like various suited aces and a, 
especially the wheel ones probably but but if we're Danny we still have to defend against this type of price right it's it's dicey w what was the bet again it's 400, 400 into 200 into 2 million it's yeah it's close it's close I mean I w honestly wouldn't be shocked if somebody folded in his spot too you know I I, I I don't want to say that it's right or wrong that he that he called, but I think I think it's pretty close. If he folded, I wouldn't have been shocked. It, you're, you're not. I don't think his range is doing very well on that board. What does Sergio I mean, want to I, do? I don't, yeah, yeah. He's just gonna check. Makes sense. Yeah, get to showdown. I mean, Ace Deuce can be good here. And Divorce, is there any part of him that wants to bluff now? I I think so. I, thi I think it's pretty close. Like, you know, he can have worse hands to bluff with, so I'm, I'm not sure about that. I don't think he's going to bluff because he, he can have stuff like Jack-10 suited, Queen-Jack suited, whatever, and I think he's definitely going to want to bluff with, like, Jack-Queen, maybe even King-High, but, but not Ace-Jack. But I don't think he expects to win very often at Showdown at all. Sergio, I'm thinking, is happy to take this one now, right? He doesn't need to bluff, does he? Yeah, he, he yeah. takes it down. Really nice pot for Sergio. Really nice turn of events. Yeah. We, we were joking earlier. He's not on tilt, okay? I know. Great player. But he looks <laughs> tilted sometimes. Are you tilted? You're Are you very, on tilt? You're a very you serious, tilt? like, joker. You joke and then, I, like, what, when, what am I go. joking about? What have I joked about? Well, didn't you just say you were joking? You think I, when I'm saying nursing the nub, that's joking? That's a poker term. <laughs> I learned that from Nick and you. <laughs> Triton, super no, high roller series. 25k super millions 13 players left now jesse lonis with a bunch of chips dan devoris and fedor and his bot mario still in there anna marquez our short stack with 10 bigs uh we're gonna take a quick commercial break we'll be right back in a few minutes don't go anywhere we're going to the studio uh -oh, we're going to the studio brian here that, we are here we are uh you got anything man <laughs> He's the math. Uh, I didn't know we were going to the studio. Listen, Sorry, guys. Uh, all Look, right. Listen, record-breaking event here. I'll do the talking. One. No, listen. Based on what we were seeing, I would say uh, Amiri is the chip leader. You know, he's got over 10 million in chips right now. And I think we're starting to see maybe, I mean, he's not a person. I don't know if I've ever seen him before, but I'm seeing a little bit of maybe why. I mean, he's getting in there, He and he's mixing it up. The ace-five suited hand that he played against Mario Mosbeck, that was kind of cool. I mean... He had just no equity, no draw. Bet the turn when he got called. Made a pretty tough river bluff and also chose like a weirdly small sizing, you know, and it, it worked. Mario ended up folding the best hand. Yeah, it's a good point. This guy set the price also, and it worked perfectly against Sergio. So playing against the best players in the world, that's what you see here. An unknown player. This guy might be great. We don't know what he's doing in his off time. Uh, he's our chip leader. Very mysterious player. Um, yeah, we're going to take a short commercial break, but we'll be back real soon. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to the Daily Dose of GTO Quiz of the Day. You're playing an 8-max MTT, 25 big blinds deep. It's a button versus big blind single raise pot, and you're facing an 83% c-bet on jack 73 rainbow. Which of these hands should you consider folding? 6-5, king-queen, 7-4, or king-3? Find the answer in the Daily Dose of GTO, our free ebook designed to help you master GTO poker in just five minutes per day. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. 
receive a generous 15% free play on your first top up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience. Just seize the wonder. Jeju Shinoa World. Welcome back to the Triton Super High Roller Series. Will Jaffe, math. Uh, we've got you covered. We had a great poker mind in here, Nick Shulman. But things get dicey. ICM, numbers, calculations. We got Brian Rast, Poker Hall of Famer. What are we looking for here, Rasty, as we get down to the meat here? Well, what I would say is, if you look, we got 13 left, 113K, 128K, two spots each. Then the pay jumps start ramping up. In my opinion, this is the time of the tournament where, um, yes, you want to stay alive, but it's like still four more people bust before money comes in. So there is ICM, you want to stay alive, yet... You don't want to be so tight that you just like guarantee you chip down. It's it's a spot you could also earn some chips. So there's some dynamics there, and I think you'll see some of the players uh, who you know aren't too nitty. Let's be real, take some chances and try to earn some chips. And it, it's a pretty good time to do that um, before the ICM gets really crazy. So like the mid stacks that like later at the final table, you're like, oh, the mid stacks, they're handcuffed can't do anything, waiting for shorter stacks to go out. We're not quite there yet. And the mid-stacks can take some chances to become one of the big stacks so that later, right, like you're the guy who gets to kind of like mess with everyone, steal pots, get all these good spots. I mean, this is the time where, you know, you can try to make that happen by taking some calculated chances. That's what I would say. Yeah. Can you zoom this camera on me? That's the math. Thanks. Thanks for getting that camera. <laughs> really, really great stuff, Mr. James. Uh, Blue, red table, led by our mysterious Mr. Amiri. No, I don't believe he created the clothing brand, and I believe you're asked that you don't wear Amiri. Short stack over there, Mario Mosbach. Followed up by Fedor Hulse. Sergio in there with 30 bigs. Daniel Devoris, 36. And Alex Theologis, really good online player. Blue table, Jesse Lonis, the American gangster, leading the way. Vincent in second place. Kose, Timothy Adams, Dom. And a couple names I couldn't read because the screen changed, Brian. That's too bad. All right, and yeah, the two short stacks now are Mario Mosbeck and Anna Marquez, both down around 10 bigs. And actually, Fedor is in 11th now. 27 big blinds. 
And that is Adrian. He doubled with those aces not too long ago. Trap Dom, still in there. 13 players left. Decent amount of chips. Dom thinking about getting jiggy with it with the king king four suited, but decides not to, and uh, that gives Timothy Adams a chance. He's been a little quiet, but for fifty, ace nine off, hijack, rips it. Well, rips in the min raise, or slightly over the min raise, I guess. Vincent on the button. Yeah, we don't know what he has yet, but he seems interested. King seven off there is Anna Marquez's hand. Ooh, ace five off suit. 1.1. Oh. You and sounded a little, uh, dare I Ooh. say, um, <laughs> tickled there, Brian. Yeah, that's he's going to win. I mean, Timothy Adams with ace nine off here, I think it's pretty much curtains. It's curtains for the Reaper. Or can he find a, a way to win this pot? I mean, I, he's never calling, and this would be a pretty insane, like, well, I guess. Well, he can four bet, though. Can I he, mean, Mr. Math? Can he make it, like, two million and not go uh, he in? Just, it's mean, too powerful. That's yeah. why you got what you got uh, so excited when you saw Vincent make that play. The solver, the silicone, when you hear that sound from Rasty, that response, that means the silicone overlord likes it. <laughs> Vincent? Vincent is uh, over here surfing, surfing in the matrix, just like whoosh. ace five off three bet, ten nine of hearts fold, just boom, boom, boom. The other day, I f I f it's interesting. The other day, he just had no decisions, short stack, nothing really went his way, just sliding around till it was time to go out. But today he's getting to show his stuff. Is Dom going to show his stuff here with a seven of clubs? Oh yeah, he's he's shooting this up. Four is for the Reaper. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going in the muck. Yeah, it doesn't like these small pairs, huh? No, not there. Not with the whole table to act behind you and just you're not really that deep. It just there's a lot. There's way too much going on there. No takers for the Lithuanian. Yeah, it looks like at the other table, Holes just dragged this pot playing with uh, Theologus. So that'll get him up over four million. Fedor, still alive. How do we have 1.7? 1.8? You just asked for a count there. That's yeah, Mario's big blind. It's pretty relevant to know how much the big blind has. So he asked Mario for a count there? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Can I get a water? Going to raise with water? the queen 10 off. Get to see another glimpse into how he plays. <coughs> Thank you so much. <coughs> You're telling me Fedor doesn't know how much Morio has. He yeah. doesn't have like a program somewhere. Yeah. <coughs> Mr. Amiri, we know how much they have because we got this great Triton app. The best poker app ever.
beautiful. All right, Sergio with a suited one gapper here under the gun, but oh, uh, sure. But then it might oh, it's pretty, turn off, right? No, 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 early line. position, and these guys are shallow. Yeah. So I know the hand looks pretty. Uh, but I'm not going. I don't want to risk. I guess I will just do that. Ah. All right. I made it. Fader's going to play this. Has to be ace now. <laughs> Solid holding for the cutoff. Fader looking for more chips. And Brian, he's looking for another tournament to win. It's been a long time for Fedor. Two days. Oh, always looking for more chips. Ooh, king four <laughs> off. What's Daniel going to do here? I honestly would not be shocked if any of four options are picked. The, the only shocking thing was if he puts Fedor all in. Yeah, C3 bet here. The idea being is that you take some of your worst king and ace, some of your king and ace x offsuit type hands. You turn them into three bet bluffs. Faders at a stack size, and then given the people in the tournament, you, you just don't get flatted very often. So it puts Fader in a really tough spot, and Fader's having none of it. Just ripping on him. Well, it was almost like Fader <coughs> did those like listening to him do those calculations. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then he just figured it out and shoved. <laughs> It's like, he He's can have king four, I'm, I'm ripping. <laughs> nice hand for Fedor. I, it is a spot where when you rip it as Fedor, you do get kind of immediate either pain or gratification generally. Usually, Dvoris has a hand where he's either basically snap folding or snap calling you. So you, you find out real fast. And uh, ace, ace 10 off is usually... Well, when you're called there, it's it's not going to be good. No, it's not. No. So Fader very pleased that it was the snap hold response. Okay, ace ten again. This time suited. Get into the blinds. So far, nothing. Just down to Sergio. Ooh, Sergio with a little suited one gapper here. He, he's probably going to want a C3. So he calls. We're going to go to a flop. Man, these pots are getting big. 1.1 million in the middle just for a single raised heads up pot. Oof. And. This is the type of flop that really favors favors the opener here, hijack opener. And they're deep enough, so Fader, Fader's going to be betting this flop quite a lot. And I think this holding. And, uh, yeah, it, not much to say because Sergio's going to fold. And that's doesn't take Nostradamus to predict that one. <coughs> <coughs> Can we get that man some water? Or I guess change to the other table. That would also do. Fader starting to spin it up at the other table. We're going away just as he's heating up. He was in 11th and now he's up to 8th. Oof. The Fedor spin can be quite the sight. He's a very good spinner upper of chips. Jesse Lanis can folds the queen four suited. While not an open, technically, you never quite know with Jesse exactly what he's going to come with. Very unpredictable fellow. That's because he's a gangster. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. I don't, I don't like using your big labels guy, which I'm, I'm cool. Everybody's got a style. I'm not a big labels guy. Gangster, bot, 
this, doop, boom, nubs, you know, whatever. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what type of guy are you, then, Brian? <laughs> what type of man are you? I'm a, I'm a beat around the bush, indirect kind of guy. Saying analysis, not a label. Jesse Lonis with a bunch of chips. Haven't really got to see him play, Brian, but I'm guessing we will. 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, 100% reason to remember the name. That's the kind of guy I am. Wow. The math, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the math. The math on that one. Th it adds up to 100. Don't worry about it. The math speaks. Anna Marquez is going to speak with another king, Brian. We saw her do this earlier on the button. Looking to double here or just get it through. And does get the ace to fold. Ichinos. Yeah, look again. Anna Marquez, great. Just staying alive here. Ooh. Just glided it through. Got some, got some hands out there with the king seven off. Great feeling. Great feeling to stay alive here. Next one out will get 113, but the winner will get 1.485 million. And according to the math, Brian, would you say that's a lot of smackers? What does the math say? Smackers? Is 1.485 million a lot of smackers? Oh, uh, you know, not anymore. It ain't what it, it used was, to be, but is it? The, yeah, it ain't the, what it used to the be. There's inflation, yeah, there's everything's coming up. Yeah, I hear you, brother. There's a couple of suited aces here, and Anna's all in again. She's maneuvered brilliantly. There it goes, Brian. Sailing away. Oh, ooh, but this isn't good. Oh, but she just sailed into some murky waters. Not the most comfortable spot for tens, really. You know, it's 12 blinds, the opener's got 22, but feels like, given the positions of them, hijack cutoff, tens is just too much hand here. But Brian, I think. we've seen these players navigate very cautiously before. We saw Sergio fold jacks in not such no. a different scenario. It was, it was a little bit different, yeah. It was a little bit different. I guess Brian is, the math is always right, and Anna is going to be in dire straits here. Does have the ace, um, the spades, but... She had been navigating, dodging, weaving, but mm -hmm. finally kind of ran into it. Actually, she was fine against and the opener. Folded. Ace, deuce, suited, probably would have folded. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Price alert. Dude. Anna in dire straits here. Needs help quickly, or she's going to be... Our 13th place finisher. Yeah, that's not a good flop <laughs> for her. Not much to work with there. Is that what the math says? Yeah. Yeah, you can see the math on the screen, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Those little percentages. That's Brian using his mind. That helps a little. Always something. Always something. She can hit a nine now. Or an Ooh. ace. Club. No. Good luck, guys. Well played, Anna. I mean, she was she was really bobbing and weaving with the short stack. She really nursed that nub. I mean, not she was shipping it in there too. Nursing kind of implies that you're tight. I feel like that you're just protecting. No, it, it doesn't. Yeah, it just, yeah, I didn't see. You can you. be protective and still aggressive, like okay, a cheetah okay. in the wild. Action over here. Alex going to raise, and the bot is all in, and with a great spot to double in. Fedor looks very interested. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the point? <coughs> Big hand, Brian. 3.25 million in the middle. Mario way ahead with the diamonds. Looking to hold. Ooh. And there's two more. Oh, well, that flop is all Mario, I mean. Ooh. Tough for Alex to win this. Oh. Gave him a lot more outs. A little bit less tough. Huge card for Alex. Can he get there? Ken! Oh. 
Never mind. It was the Wrong king way. of diamonds, Ooh. though, bringing the flush, the poison king. The poison king Correct. for Mario. Yep, Correct. What a river, Brian. Yeah. And Mr. Mosbeck, the alleged, quotation mark, pro soccer player turned poker pro. He's gonna double here. <coughs> Do you have any reason to question the legitimacy of his pro soccer playing career? Right. Let me ask you something. Or whatever. If I told you I was a pro soccer player, right? Would well, you question the legitimacy of He didn't like tell you it's probably it's like on in an Wikipedia. interview on Wikipedia. Yeah. I'm, if I, I read it on Wikipedia, edit, I would believe it. You know what you can do on Wikipedia, right? You can edit your own page, Brian. Just think <laughs> about it for a second. <laughs> Mario Mosbeck. <clears throat> Big double there. 12 players left here, Brian. And are we getting to that point where people can really start to lean on each other or what yet? What's the math say? Oh, yeah, we're getting there. We're st I mean, it, it, every person that goes out, it's a little bit more is the way it goes. So... This thing I was talking about with 15, it's a little bit less when I said it at the break at 13, a little bit less now at 12. It's a little bit more. Sergio with the king queen gonna raise it up. Alex with the dominated king five in the big, and what does the math say here, Brian? Well, this is another one of those spots we just saw the three bet with yeah, not the same time. type of hand, but he takes a he takes a different Wisely. approach. Yeah, Sergio hanging around, great player, was not on tilt early, Brian, at all. I want that to be clarified. And definitely isn't on tilt now. Still alive here, playing for the first prize. Not mine. Looking to add more to his 16 million in career earnings. Now it's yours. Rasty with a 25 mil ball up there in career earnings. No, the math is no joke when it comes to tournaments. And Fedor and Mosbeck were bleeding earlier, now both healthy, both very alive yeah. to take this down. Danny, yeah. though, still with plenty of chips. He, it, Mosbeck is still the short stack, but he's much less short than he used to be. 16 blinds. I mean, previously it was like 10 or maybe even less. So. Very different situation. That yeah. is not a nub he's on. No. Yeah, when you're nubbing it, you're, you're not dangerous. You're not a threat. Most people, it's like they don't want to double you up, but it's no big deal. I but mean, now, I mean, six. when you have 16, 16 15, yeah, I, whatever, I big blinds, that's not a nub. Yeah. And then I You're totally nobody, right nobody wants to double you up. I couldn't set it better myself. That's, I don't even think that's a flesh wound. It's worse than that. <laughs> that's why we bring in the math, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sergio. Everybody's well-dressed here, Brian. And look at this, the snowman, Brian, for Mr. Amiri. Yeah, he's shooting it up. Amiri's been... He's not playing a ton of hands, but when he plays the hands, he tends to win them. Oh, I don't know about this one, though. Right? No, this There's one's going to be tough. I, you know what? I think the math is going to dictate that this goes in. That's it. He's going to go, go in the tank and be like, That's yeah. That's what the math's going with? We're shipping this. Yeah. 14 you heard, bigs. You heard the math. To Let's the middle. See, you, this is your test. Looks like the math is correct, as and always. Unfortunately for Amiri, it's like 8, 2.4 more. I mean, you kind of like, this would be a big fold if you fold. I mean, you're, you look, you can theoretically see a smaller pair here. It's we've not. We've seen him navigate, Brian. If there's anybody that could do it, I feel like it's him. He's navigated perfectly. Yeah. 2.4, and you, you need like high 30s equity. You probably have that with eights. It's not a great spot though. Man, I've, I've seen him get away. I've seen him get it's value. Pretty, it's pretty close actually. Kind of depends on how like wide you think Mario's shoving here. Can he get away? This guy's a navigator. 
He really is. The ace five suited, some, some bluffing. Setting his price. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a price setter, navigator. Can the navigator beat the bot, Ryan? I mean, he did in the other hand. Would, is he going to do it again? Because he bluffed him in the other one. I know. Yeah. No, he's, he's, he's reaching. reaching for chips. It's, That's bad news, yeah. Brian, isn't it? It's going in. Once they start reaching. I mean, if so it goes you in. You love to see it, though, when you're on the other end, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> don't you love to see that first grab? I don't like. I don't. I don't think Mario knows what he wants here. I mean, he definitely didn't want to get Probably snap called. Second. No. But he probably wants a fold. Look at this, though, Brian. He wants a Look, fold. He oh. navigates again. Now Mario's going to be sick. What a fold. Eights. What a fold, Brian. He didn't want to call, but after seeing the eights, he definitely would have wanted one. Got to take your chances there as a four to one favorite. This guy has walked on water <laughs> so far. I mean, I'm speechless. He's made the right play versus Mario a couple different times now. Back on the Reaper, Timothy. Once one of the big stacks. Now on the short end, Brian. Yeah, he just hasn't dragged a chip since I've gotten in the booth. I'm sorry, bro, if I've been You bad mushed luck. him, dude. I the know. math mushed him. I know. But this is this is like maybe the start of something something better. Here we go. Vincent's probably checking this one back. It's a little too much equity. No, nah, no great blockers still. But I don't. Yeah, wouldn't be shocked, but f feels like a check back. And then uh, this is Timothy's chance here. Let's go like eight five deuce flop. Nope. But this it. is one Timothy's gonna win quite a bit. He's got the he's got the more uncapped range here. Neither one of them really has that much ace-x, but he's going to have more kings, and he probably is, ends up betting. Also, he definitely wants to bluff with six high. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know if 10-9 is going to take one off. What does 10-9 want to do? Vincent's navigating I mean, most, very well. most people would float would would call this but on the other day vincent just seemed like he was playing solid but he's kind of uh he's kind of tough he plays tough he does today play he's tough. been three bed bluffing and oh here we go he's a little gangster the reaper versus a surfer pro from new zealand going to the turn now what does the reaper do brian well now this is where poker starting to get played on this hand as you said like it's time to play poker now people are playing poker. Do you double barrel or do you check and the guy who floated you in position is going to take away the pot by bluffing himself? Who's really playing poker this hand? Is it going to be the Reaper? Timothy Adams. I'll tell you what, Timothy's playing some poker. I, I, this is, this is not, he's not calling. I mean, if he calls here, then he's if really he calls, playing then the game. we're really playing some poker <laughs> yeah, here, Brian. Like that's then we're really playing. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't Let's see, folded Brian, yet. He hasn't folded. Uh, okay, goes, okay, yeah. come on. That's, that would be, that would, wow. That would be one of the more special hands if he called there. Bravo, Timothy A little crazy. Adams. Bravo, sir. Yeah, Tim Timothy's playing poker. Timothy does play poker, doesn't yeah. he, Brian? That's something he does. He's played here at Triton before. 13.5 million in winnings. He can really play some poker. He plays poker. I mean, really plays it. One of the best. It's also a little score here. I mean, nothing for him, but 40th in the 15K, the first event we did, Brian. Just get it started off. It's cool because this series is long enough that we could see a fair amount of re repeaters. Yeah. Already with Fedor Definitely. here. And we haven't seen Jesse, but we're about to. The yeah. American Gangster plays his first hand on stream. at this Ooh. Vincent I mean these guys are deep they're deep Brian it's got to be set mine in time 
How many does the big blind have? The big blind has five He's million too, too. So, yeah. We're going set mining. Let's go. Not to be confused with Bitcoin mining. It's set mining. It gets confusing. Oh, here we go. I mean, Vincent and Kose can definitely hit a flop that they both kind of love and interact with here. If it comes kind of low in the middle, lowish. Not the type of flop Jesse's looking for. Oh. He's. Yeah, and Kose and Vincent are going to go to a flop with the American gangster. All right, not really a great flop for anybody. So let's see. Th Jesse does have the ace of hearts, though. He really does. He does. And he he's, he's a gangster. Uh, this, is, this is a spot a gangster would take. Might bet. He checks. Ooh, Ooh. Now, I mean, that five was pretty good card for both the other players. They now both have a pair and a gutter. Yeah, that's a kind of the best card of the turn in the deck, right, for both of them in a way, other than a set or a nuts, you know? Yeah, well, a six. I mean, a six would have been... A second best card for both of them. Six is a big-time action card, but... This will do. Yeah, this is like... They both can have the best hand a lot now. Now, let's see what happens. I wonder if we check twice to Jesse. I mean, he might be content just to check this back, ace-king. Like, maybe. But don't you good. want a part of you in, in his spot bet this? Don't you want protection? You have the best hand a lot? I think, I think three-way... This is a lot to ask here. I mean, the big blinds betting out. What does Jesse want to do? I'm telling you, Brian, this guy is a gangster. Yeah, let it go. I mean, that's that's what the I think that's what the math says. Vincent, though. No, I, I don't think Vincent's going anywhere. He's not going anywhere, and he's got a hammer lock on the hand. Cool customer from New Zealand. Two caches here in Triton. We said it 11th place in the last event. That just matters a ton, right? It, it definitely helps. Yeah, you just call. Nothing else to do. I, I, I don't really... I mean, this hand seems too good to bluff. Yeah, not a five. Vincent's going to have a lot a nice more pot, stuff that yeah. can bluff. All right, so there we go. Very reasonable hand played by all parties, it seems like. Getting down to it. 12 players here, Triton. Super high roller series in Jeju. 1.5 million up top. Look at Adrian Chu. I haven't seen him for a bit. Still in this. I saw Timothy fold the suited king. I've seen players raise that from the cutoff. Maybe more of an ICM thing now. <laughs> yeah, maybe may, maybe it's that combined with it being uh, Jesse Lonis's big blind. That that because I, I feel like it's a hand he might normally raise. But yeah, he's he's starting to get low on chips and maybe didn't want to attack attack Lonis's blind with that hand. That that would be my guess. Makes sense. And Jesse now with the pair and the big, but an interesting spot when this. He's he just might just rip. rip it. Yeah. yeah. Um, big blind. Freeze is uh, a hand that's kind of. Always gets 20 second action or 10 second action. Three's a hand that's good enough and likes ripping there. Yeah. 20 second, fine. Good size. It's on it's, Yeah, no air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine, fine. Just. Nice hand for Jesse. Third and chips. Thank you. Also, part of the reason why sometimes around those stack depths you see people limp kind of good hands that 
I'd, I'd say like weaker players aren't used to this. Like, oh, why would he limp eights with 20 blinds instead of, you know, doing something different? And because yeah, sometimes you get the big blind will do something like that with threes. Vincent, 60 big blinds, 12 million in chips. Jesse in second, Dom in third, Adrian, Timothy Adams, and Kose are short stack now. Two tables left. It looks like Vincent Huang. I think he's from Australia. Not New Zealand? I, I, I looked in, in the chat and someone said it. So then I just went to double check and looked online. And online it says Australian poker player on some random website. On a couple random websites. So I think it's Australia. So just to correct it, make sure. Well, this guy's from America, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> just m my partner in the booth, he gives no apologies. So, uh, you know, on, on his behalf, I'll say, you know, s sorry, Vincent, Australia, New Zealand. We know they're different countries, even though we're from America. Adrian now with the suited 7-3. Just going to rate, just going to fold it. He is from New Zealand, Brian. He Your is? math was wrong, yeah. And you, I know that because I see that on the Triton Poker Plus app, Brian. You should check it out. One of the best apps out there. Well, in multiple places on the internet, it says he's from Australia as well as someone in the chat. So all of you guys are wrong. Internet Wow, we're getting a lot chat. of detectives here. We're, <laughs> let us know. It's chat sleuths. Where's he from? Australia or New Zealand? <laughs> yeah. Let us know in the chat. Where's Where's Vincent from? Help. Let's crowdsource this. <laughs> yeah. Like, crowdsource. That's the perfect term. Yeah. Let us know how you're doing in chat. Where are you watching from? We see you there. The Reaper sees everyone, right, Tim? Your boy, Brian, gets slathered up. Look what the math has cooked you. Four. See, chat, you're starting to prove why we shouldn't listen to you. See how, see how you're, if you guys are wrong about the Australia thing. It's a big test. Yeah, this is a big test right here. I mean, it might just never listen to the chat again. Okay. No, I don't mean that. I love you guys. Okay. Adrian Chua has finally decided he has enough chips to get in there and, and gamble a little bit. He's kind of been playing snug, but here he's uh, peeling it out of position from the small blind. And uh, Mikolaitis is just using some time. I don't. There's nothing other than call happening with this. But it's fun to like watch them sometimes and think. I wonder what he's thinking about right now because it's not about what he's about to do in this hand. Wow, and the person who hit the flop the least has bet. And he's probably going to get called in two places. Small bet. Michelaitis can't love the situation, but oh, wow, he lets it go. Wow. Wow, he's getting like six to one. That's a pretty big fold getting six to one. I. Adrian has played I don't pretty think the math. I don't think the oh. math agrees. Wow. And now he would be 100% to win the hand. But that's okay. Just max pain Listen, I'm there. just telling you the math doesn't agree with that fold. That turn is max pain for Tom. I mean, Vincent can have nothing. And, you know, yeah, Adrian's probably beating you a decent amount of the time. But, like, you're getting 6 to 1. What if you hit a 7 or an 8? Not to mention you might have the best hand. Yeah. I think the fold's too tight. Well, Vincent has maneuvered perfectly and now gets the best hand who would have made trips to fold. And has the best hand with ace high, Brian. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, checks it back, and he's gonna gonna win this. Maybe, let's see. Okay. L let's see. I mean, Adrian's gonna bluff this. He's got to, right? Yeah, you gotta bluff. And now the question is, will Vincent make a hero call with ace high? He's gonna think about it, cause. Ooh, did you see that? 
What did he just do? Did you see that, Brian? Oh, he bet. He bet decent. The six, not the best card, but it's like, here's the thing. Adrian's never value betting. If he had like six, five, he's never a value betting. Yeah, it's, this is a very reasonable fold. You're really kind of only beating like eight, nine, and nine, ten suited. So it, it's it's a lot. He just happened to have one of those hands. So very reasonable fold. Look at that. Nice hand, sir. Take it down. There you see the Triton Gold Trophy, which will be awarded to our winner. Fedor already has one of them. Won the opening event here. There we go. Adrian Chua getting in there, mixing it up. Yeah, kind of one of our more unknown players. Well, he had been playing very snug so far. But uh, Best time to bluff, isn't it? But isn't it nice? You've been playing really snug, this. You finally get in there, yeah. kind of take one light, call in out of position in the small blind, and it just works out. You, like, get to the end. You have well, 10 high, you bluff. You yeah, could have checked the river, Brian. He was very brave there, Adrian. Man, if you check that river as played, you're just really not playing any poker. You might as well go home. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. That's like a mandatory bluff if you've ever seen one. Each you know they're going to get involved. Look at this, Brian. Four spades. Jesse has the ace high spades. I mean, this is a uh, Jesse might three bet here. You know, we got the suited ace. It's a little too weak to call. Like go after this stack look at that Brian he does <coughs> this is you know this type of hand is why you you've been calling him the American gangster y you don't get the moniker American gangster if you're passing up a bunch of spots like this now Kose has He's got to make some decisions here, some very tournament-relevant decisions. Do I fold, preserve my stack? Are we going to gamble in some way? And he makes a very reasonable decision. Yeah. Jesse Lonis, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Triton, sir. Tim Adams, Brian, is he getting close to a nub there? You know, it looks like it, but those orange chips are 500K, so no, nah, he's, he's not nubbing it yet. It's just, it looks like it in terms of volume, but an actual count, no. Yeah, that's the thing, nobody's nubbing it right now. And that changes yep. the dynamics, right? It it makes it less likely that the big stacks can lean on the other players because they're don't they're not waiting out a three big blind stack. Yeah, to bust. no one's waiting anyone out, and not, not that you'd be waiting for that much because there's not even a pay jump on this. But yes, like that. This that is a chance right now. This is the thing you got to realize. Like right now, is a chance to get some chips. Yes, you want to stay alive, but again, twelfth place. Going back, so this is correct, 113,000. Tenth place, 128,000. In the context of all the money left to play from this tournament, it's not that much. So this is a chance right now, you know, staying alive to move up one or two or three spots. Not a big deal. Now, staying alive to move up, you know, five spots or six spots, but that's a lot of, there's a lot of poker to be played between here and seventh place. Yeah, and we're going to see some here. Vincent going to defend the big against Th Dom. This is why there's there's like a lot of nuance to ICM and risk premium and these, these words that get thrown around. It's not just like always the same thing at the same part of, you know, throughout the tournament. It's different at different times and, and you know, changes based on a, a lot of different factors. And Dominicus Michaelitis, we saw him before Brian, right? First event, 15K. He goes fifth, but we saw him play a lot of hands, wins a quarter million dollars. 
just looks really comfortable out there. Yeah, he's, he's been making and some deep runs. Vincent, last event, how much more comfortable are you after making that first deep run here? You know what I mean? You get here five days ago, having a couple days in the seat, cashing for a nice number, it's got to make you feel more comfy in that chair, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it helps. And this is only a second Triton stop. And his first Triton stop didn't go well. It was Vietnam last year and in March, and he he like had one small cash. So this last cash, I mean, 101k, and here he is back, chance again. Definitely, definitely confidence boost. And here's the American gangster, Brian. Yeah. Jesse Lonis, looking to figure out what the blinds are first. It's okay. The Reaper getting no. awfully close to a nub there, Brian. Yeah, this is this, this is nub not range. enough hand, not enough chips. Oh, fine, like, I mean, just what, 10 seconds for you to act. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm good. It's, it's longer it's to act. It's longer. Because minutes. he's raised, so. Uh, you're good, you're good. Didn't want to spoil your moment. Yeah, yeah, no, thank Your you. boy looks interested here, Brian. He does. Oh. I mean, this is... Your boy wants to play with the gangster, Brian. Wow, he's. This is this is on the loose side right here. He wants to play. He wants to play, line. Brian. He doesn't like to fold. And this was similar to last time, except last time it was a three-way. Now, just heads up between Vincent and Jesse. first glance, it doesn't look like much, Brian, but it feels like there could be potential here for a, some poker to be played. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I, I agree with your everything you're saying there and kind of the math, mathematical implications and probabilities behind the words you picked. The math agrees. Because if there's one thing I know about your boy Vincent... He likes to play poker. Can't play here though, right? Yeah, you it's too you weak. You called out of the, the small, right? You tried to hit a good flop. You yeah. didn't. Move on. Nice hand, Jesse. The Fedor Holes is still in. And so is Mario Mosbach. First two titles here were won by Fedor and his bots. Roland, really new model. If you saw that in the second event, Brian. Took it down for <coughs> almost a million. But they've been on a dry spell, so here they are, Mario and Fedor, looking to add another one to the mantle. And I don't know if you're a big Olympics guy, Rasp, but I used to be, like, way more into the Olympics, and I'd watch them, and it, early on, I'd always check the country medal count. And for some reason, this Triton series, it makes me, with all the different countries, the Lithuanians we've seen, the Belarusians, it feels like an Olympics, like, back in the day. Yeah, that, that's actually a pretty good uh, comparison. Yeah, like a cash count, money count, title count. Count, please. That'd well, be fun to see. Vincent's going to get a count on Tim here. Oh, yeah, this is this is nines are gonna not fold. That's what the math says. What will Vincent do? I mean, I Kose only has like three million or something too. I, his decision is whether to go all in our call based on Lanus being in the big blind. He right goes with and call, yeah. what is what does he do if Lonis jams on him, which we're not going to have to worry about that eventuality because Lonis has garbage, and uh, here we go. We Big flip, flip here between the Reaper and Vincent. Do we turn the cards over now or pay jump or no? Okay. And got the flip. Open for that, of course. 
Timothy Adams looking to double here. Stay alive. Very dangerous player. Very low board. It's not the kind of cards Timothy Adams needs. Always a turn sweat. Should be a club, huh? Uh, How about that? Is that one of the cards he needs, Rasty? Oh, yeah. Ten on the turn for Timothy Adams. Three, six, three, five. Yeah. I caught that sneaky turn smile. A little, little <laughs> bit. <laughs> I always think people are expecting me, or maybe it's in my own head. They have a reaction. <laughs> Thirty-eight million in lifetime winnings, Timothy Adams. That's a lot. It's a lot of cheese, Brian. Yeah, and that's a good amount of chips too. <coughs> yeah, that that was a healthy double right there. He's way in the hunt. Third place, it turns out. Oh wow, Fedor's been doing work like all off camera. But Fedor is up to over seven million now himself. Uh, Fedor holes. Still alive here. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Making another run. Looking to add to his own 40 million in career tournament earnings. All right, Queen Jack off for Kose. He's been quiet. He's on the dealer button, though, so this is too much hand. Little too much to go all in with, decides to min raise. Ooh. And I gotta say, I like this min raise, Brian, against Adrian's big blind, because Adrian has been on the more snug side. Well, it's not going to be snug with King Nine off here to a min race against the button. Okay, but this is a flop we can win on. Two point three got less than two two to one stack to pot ratio. And I mean, come on, this guy's a gangster too, Brian, isn't he? What does the math say? So far, he, he hasn't really given off the gangster vibe. How about now? 350. There's nothing gangster about what's going on. This is just like a very regular vanilla poker hand. That's what you think, buddy. Nice answer. I I have standards to use the word gangster. Finally, I won won. <laughs> I was like five hours. You must have some pretty freaking high standards, buddy. It's raise and every raise, raise and all in. <laughs> oh, painful. It was an easy game. Everyone would do it, right? Because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm losing everything. Oh, man. Maybe it's just me. Uh, I'm just greedy, I think. Two tables left, 12 players. It, does it feel like we're yeah, in quicksand here? Yeah, we're in leader if you what does the math say? In what way? It quick, just quick feels sand. like it's slogged down. We've been in this number 12, 11, 13 yeah. for a while. Yeah, it's slowed down some. Five. But, I mean, we kind of ran out of short stacks. so We ran out of nubs. Well, actually, no. Mario's back down to nubbing it again. We got a hand here, though. Vincent and Jesse going to potentially play another pot. Yeah, Jesse's got a bit of a decision here about whether the three better flat versus the hijack. And he's coming with it. Ace queen off, coming with the three bet. And isn't this one of those hands that your master, the silicone overlord, loves to get into trouble with? Well, listen, ace, you know, technically it's mostly a fold, but it, it's not absurd if he should decide to just rip it. 
rip it all in for six million? I mean, I'm I'm sub I'm guessing Jesse three bets a call here. So it would probably wouldn't work out well with them. I mean, it's like when you three bet ace queen there. If you're three betting to fold, you should just flat and you should pick weaker aces to three bet. <laughs> it's it's a very interesting thing the way the overlord plays yeah, ace queen, like say on the button yeah. versus various positions. Yeah. Yeah. Like versus the cutoff, you do three bet to like not fold. But then versus earlier positions, you flat it a lot more. So. Silicon Overlord doesn't like three bet folding ace queen in those spots, so it starts to become a flat in, pos in spots your whatever set of conditions would lead to you three bet folding it if you three bet. Vincent, still with plenty of chips, has navigated well just on the wrong side of variance. See how wide Jesse wants to get in the cutoff here. It is suited. This is this is like this is a bit more gangster since you've been throwing that term out there. Okay. Seven four suited in the cutoff. Are we meeting your standards now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. This is a little bit gangster. You know? N not C betting Queen Jack on the ten high flop, you know? That's okay. that's not okay. gangster. Fair enough. Tim Adams with a decision in the big with fives. I mean, 30 bigs is like deep to rip it. So, yeah, he, he just comes with call. You know, maybe he saw the queen deuce off hand from the other day, though. Oh, 7 million now, right? Yeah. Uh, more. I, I have like 31 blind. Ooh. A little something for everybody here. This is this is like kind of a good spot for Adams in the sense that Luanas has a worse hand that probably won't bluff at any point, and so they probably just get to showdown and am Adams. Whoa, alone. whoa, whoa! Did you just say he won't bluff at any point? No, probably not. Not with middle pair on the flop. But he's a gangster. We could have. That some doesn't crazy mean he's bad at poker. We could have some crazy runouts though. Yeah. And then he'll probably end up checking. Because he, he got could. called he could on the flop, and he can beat a three. How about that? But he could still bluff. It's very unlikely that this will turn. It's it's techn okay. technically possible, but very unlikely, which is why I said this is a good spot for Adams. He'll generally get to show this down as a winner. Well, now he certainly will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't care how much of a gangster <laughs> you are. When you get this type of run out, the Reaper just binks the turn. Offsuit deuce. And I would guess Lonis is going to barrel a lot more with hands like a six, maybe no pair. Again, he can beat a three. He can beat hands like king three, queen three, jack three suited and stuff, all that defended the big blind. So he does have, sh he actually has some showdown value. But would Timothy bluff with those hands? The fours, the threes, the deuces. Not fours, sorry, threes and deuces. Would he turn those into bluffs? Or would yeah, he just be I happy to check here? I mean, would he turn a deuce into a bluff if he happened to have, like, deuce jack suited? I mean, his, maybe his worst hands is if he happened to have something like king high backdoor flush draw. I mean, that, those he would certainly bluff with. I mean, look, if he's willing to bluff here... He's got to meet your criteria for gangster, right? No, no. Him raising here would be gangster, yes. That would be, like, legit, full-blown gangster. It wouldn't work, but it would be, yes, it would meet it that. It would meet your criteria. Yeah. Wow, he's, he's thinking about it. Timothy is like, please don't fold. He's covering his mouth because he's about to say it. I guess what just what bluffs does Timothy have here? Th this would be a very thin call. I'm very thin. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna call. 
Yeah. Nice and for Timothy, who now very healthy after being real short there, Brian. That's a good feeling. Get that first double up. He's up to 36 big blinds. Timothy Adams, ladies and gentlemen. 38 million in earnings, Brian. You got to 25. What happened? Well, I st stopped playing as many tournaments, and the number of high roller tournaments went up quite a lot in like the last five or six, five years or so. They have gone up a lot. Yeah. Don't you? Aren't you itching to get in there, or are you just happy to be with me? Uh, or neither. <laughs> or both. Or you know, I th there's definitely times I'm doing these streams that I get the Jones to play. Little FOMO. Yeah. You know, we say the field. Oh, uh, 300 person, 25k. How about this? Does I this mean a 300 person, 25k sounds pretty nice. Does you know? this? meet your definition of gangster yes yeah this is this just blows the last like kind of sort of gangster seven four suited open out of the water now he's just now we're playing some poker yeah take it down gangster well what you're a big rap guy right brian you know what that's not from? really, not really a big no. graph guy. No, what's your music genre? Uh, I like like electronic house, EDM, <coughs> EDM, all kinds of electronic music is probably my favorite. I listen to all types of music, but that's my the one I listen to the most. I do listen to a little bit of rap. Let us know what you listen to in chat. What's your yeah. favorite music? Me and Rasty. Both extremely musically talented in our own right. Just vocally, not instrumentals. Jesse with Queen Eight of Clubs and I mean we've seen look, we've seen him, Brian. I mean he just opened ten three off, so this must look like Ace King or something. Yeah. One thing I will say that isn't on screen, Brian, Mario Mosbeck is down to nine big blinds. Okay? Yeah. 12 players left. We are on a pay jump. I think this is what's going on with Jesse. He's starting to put pressure on these guys. They don't want to bust before Mario does. But Kose is also really short. Yeah, well, but he's he's going to C3 here. Well, has to. Look at this hand. King-9 suited. Got Jesse's clubs beat. Ooh. Now, this is a situation that will allow for some poker. Yes, it will. This is, this, okay. We're, we're wait saving poker for the turn. Ooh. Would you say this is also a situation that? Uh, in some ways, a little bit less poker <coughs> right <coughs> now. Because now they went from, you know, not having very good hands, weak draws, now they both have like pretty strong draws. So there will the real be. poker gets played on the river at this point. Kose going to bet small, 325. I wonder if he's going to call or just like rip it. Both feel. And if he rips it, does Kose call him? He's just going to take the immediate pot odds in position, getting like six to one, and you can't blame him. Oh, I mean. Oh, that's just a cold deck. Yeah, this is just a cold deck. And look, Brian, when you're a gangster, sometimes you just meet a bigger gangster. And I know you didn't think this man met your standards earlier. I think he might be just a bigger gangster. Because he oh makes yeah. a flush and value bets it? It's part of it. Full double here for Ichinose. Massive hand. 7.2 million in the middle. And nobody wants to bust right now, do they? No. No, they don't. I mean, that's pretty much... You could say that at any point, and it would be a true statement.
Hall of Fame knowledge here from Brian Rast. <laughs> Want to bet on these players? Check out Bet ACR. Pick a pony in the race. Ride your horsey to the finish line. Bet ACR. Check out all new betacr.eu, your exclusive hub to predict the player's action outcome in Triton events. Receive a 15% bonus up to 250 on your first top up. Join now and start engaging with the sporting world today. Me and Rasty engaged with the sporting world this morning. We had a really fun MMA sweat. That was a good sweat, right? That was a great sweat, yeah. That was fun. It was a great card. I actually have an ACR account. Maybe I should get in here. I get mean, on your bed on your boy Vincent stream. or someone. You got dogs. Yeah, come on. One time I actually just saw it on there, and I just bet a bunch of stuff and never watched. And now I'm, like, actually in the booth. I should definitely bet. What am I doing? Where is it? Poker? I don't see it. Damn. Yeah, Rasty and I, we sweated the fights today. Rasty had a spreadsheet with a bunch of bets up. Got it in good I in quite all of them. I, <laughs> I had quite a lot of bets, didn't I? Rasty gets his money in good. I, there's a lot of people that don't. Well, I mean, I won. That doesn't mean I got it in good, but I did win a lot of bets. <laughs> Today was a good day. Been a pretty good day for Dom, too. Going to raise the ace queen up half a million. Look at this, Ooh. Brian. Blinds just went up, so Vincent, who was once one of the chip leaders, only with the round 20. Oh, I think they only put the bets up, like, before the day starts or something. Look at this, Brian. Vincent going to rip. Wow. And Dom with the ace queen off. Oh, never mind. Oh. This is called a wake up. This is a wake up. This is a legit wake up. Like, boom, guy ships it, and you're just like, Kings? Okay. Don't mind if I do. And now Michaelitis has to get out of there. So. He probably, I think he probably calls Vincent there. Uh, pretty sure he calls if Jesse full. De Jesse's not in the pot, but Jesse's just got a big hand there. Hop in the fence for over 20 blinds. The American gangster looking to take out the surfer boy. Vincent's not in a good spot. Is that what the math says? Oh yeah. The math is, again, right there on the screen for the viewers at home, 80-20. It's Ooh. a lot better now, though, Brian, isn't it? It's a lot of clubs. And this spot just turned into a pseudo flip. Not what Jesse wanted to see. No. No, he didn't want to see any flipping of any kind. Vincent still with a lot of outs. A lot of outs, but... 75% of the time, it's too many outs. Yep. See, too many outs. Explain the math on that. How is that too many outs? Whenever somebody has a lot of outs but then misses, there's like this kind of running poker gallows humor joke of, oh, you had too many outs. That's why you missed. Mm -hmm. But the truth is generally somebody with too many outs still is an underdog, like, right? Because they're coming from behind in a two-card game. Jesse Lonis, a man who meets Brian Rast extremely high standards for a gangster. Now a pretty big chip leader. And we've, we've seen a switch here, Brian, right? A player goes out. A player now has a massive chip lead over the field. Mario has seven bigs. Are we going to start to see more of this ICM pressure? Listen, Will, you, haven't, you don't play poker for 20 years and make the Poker Hall of Fame because you call any random dude who makes a little play here or there a gangster. You have to have standards for being a gangster. And I'll tell you what, opening 10-3 offsuit or whatever the heck it was for a middle position, you're meeting, <laughs> you are meeting the criteria, okay? All right, so what was the question? I forget. 
Whoever knocks him out. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, now down to 11 here with the elimination of Vincent. Great run. And honestly, Brian, like, look, Vincent's obviously very happy, but back-to-back -back events, man, to bubble the final table, that hurts. It, Yeah. Yeah. And he, he just he had, like, 10 million and was, like, maybe the chip leader not that long ago. Yeah. Yeah. He had 12 million. Right. Ichinose on the button with Three. seven is going to make it 500. And Jesse with the big stack. And are we going to see some of that leverage here? Yeah, we seven, might. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, he can flat this as well. It's small blind. It's I, I think it's fine to flat. Okay. But he goes for the leverage. Max leverage. Max flight. leverage play too. Just ship. And look at this. Oh. He's not going to put one player to the test. He's going to put yeah. both. And this player... Is that he's a in. Yeah, he's yeah, in. he passes the test there. He, I mean, listen, it's it's a jam versus the dealer button. And by the way, they're deep enough that he never has like aces, kings, or queens because he three bet. So he's it's, never it's, jamming. It's, it's not really yeah, like yeah. that it's, tough it, a call, really, with nines there. But so. ace deuce has a ton of equity here, which is why you ship it. Well, I mean, this this doesn't even make the pseudo flip. But yes, you do have a decent amount of equity. I mean, but you're def definitely trying to get folds. I'm surprised that he shipped instead of three betting a little bit. Adrian in a great spot to double up. This guy has played perfectly, just very careful, calculated. Yeah. He had that aces flat from like an hour or so ago that like worked out perfectly for him. Wow, and actually a king now, which is quite a few, you know, when you go from two to five out. King or a jack? Not going to do it. Adrian's going to double up. Huge pot, 10 million in chips off of the chip leader, Jesse. And Brian, we have our new chip leader here, Adrian Chua. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> He's the chip leader now. And you know what? We're getting close to the final table. And we got another situation like here, Brian. Mario is all in. Oh, he's in and bad yeah. shape. <laughs> the math doesn't look good. Three to one dog. And that is not going to help him. Wants to see a spade or a king or a 10 or a jack. Oh, oh, but that actually increases his outs. It may seem like a pad card, but it's a good one. Gives him a flush draw. Can win with a spade now. Did you need him? Can he do it? Did yes, he oh. can, Brian. You cannot kill La one cucaracha. of these Fedor bots. They're too strong. Yeah. Huge double for Mario I there. Again. Stays alive. <laughs> now he can. Now he can donate again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the the yeah, circle yeah, yeah. of life. So who wants it? Oh wait. <laughs> Fan, I'm just calling with like happy King Nine right off now. now. <laughs> Lion King references. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, circle of life. Yeah. <laughs> Such a sad movie. Lion King. <laughs> it's not that not sad, that man. Stampede loses his dad. It's tragic. You're not really in touch with your emotions, huh? You're just I like, am, just I am. It, listen, it has sad parts, but the movie itself is not sad. Well, Ace King of Hearts is not sad either, is it? The movie's a celebration of life, man. The Lion King. Circle of life. Oh, and this is... This might be a celebration of death, Brian. Interesting. Is Jax going to three bet or flat here? I, flatting is like totally reasonable way to play this hand, One I think, two. for what it's worth. Now he's going three bet, which is going to get him in trouble because Amiri is very likely going to put him in. Although Amiri hasn't played by the book. He's been very sneaky. Yeah, I, I wouldn't rule anything out with him. Honestly, no, no, no. Brian. He he could. Uh, I'll rule out folding. How Fair that? enough. Good. But good observation. I mean, this is just such a natural ship. You cover the guy. Yeah, there it is. And now Jax is. But not, this is this is kind of like why you fly. Like, listen. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, he calls, yeah. but like 
He's not three betting to fold. Oh. No, I know that, but I'm just saying it's like oh, a huge oh. flip here. Huge this, flip at this point. This is the right. tournament right here, Brian. Yeah, this is for whoever's going to be the chip yeah. leader. 14 million in the middle. <laughs> I don't feel a chop. No. Classic flip, Ace Not in King the spirit of the first GG jacks. <laughs> Ooh. Great flop for the jacks. Still plenty What's of cards in the like American hit. Uh, pretty high. A heart? GG Williams, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Ooh. The fact that he three bet that there Maybe. does go to show that you Alex is it back. No, I willing think he busted, to uh, gamble. He just like, one, but even with 11 no, he, left, he's he, he like, this back, is a though. chance to win some chips. I guess one. I'm going to yeah, three bet is, call. Yeah, yeah, he's got Normally, yeah. once ICM pressure picks up in those spots against an under the gun seven ah, opener or whatever, people start flatting jacks and, and pick. You know, maybe queens or definitely kings plus as their three bets. A little bit, as again, I've talked about the more polar range. You wow. Know. Yeah. That was but crazy. 14 million chip flip. And I mean, Amiri is still in, but man, what a crippling blow. He's played so well so far today. Yeah. He, uh, you know, we don't see all the hands, but the hands that we've seen, it's been, he had a cool bluff. He's hes done done pretty well. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, you know. You get it in, you got to win those flips. Got to win those flips, man. Timothy Adams with a great spot. Blind on blind, limp pot. And I mean, you're just feeling really comfortable on this flop. Yeah, and we can see Mikolaitis has almost no way to win this hand. And obviously he has a really bad hand. He can't win if he checks. But when you bet and your opponent calls you here, like what are you hoping for? Yeah, you're hoping that he folds right there and you but, win the pot. But body. in terms of future potential, are we just done now? Well, I mean, he could start running out diamonds. Can we hope he has a king a, high or, or a queen a, high that we can get him off of? Or Yeah. I mean, listen, you're hoping he folds the flop. There is some draws you could pick up, like the backdoor flush draw. You know, uh, and then every once in a while, maybe you barrel with, without equity, basically, or without a draw. I mean, it is a blind versus blind spot. Always easier also to double barrel there when you're not playing against the Grim Reaper, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Mikolaitis' hand is literally never good here. Um, and he just has to decide if he wants the bluff. And there's, but some he, stories, he has there's some stories we can tell, maybe a 9 or a 5 actual, that want value now. He has actual 0% chance to win this at showdown. If somehow 10 high was good, Timothy would bluff. But it's given the flop bet and call, a 9 hit, I just, you know, it's never good. Yeah, so he decides to bluff with it. And uh and Timothy is never folding. I, if he's thinking about anything, it'd be raising, which would be a little wild, but n you know, may not unreasonable. We saw Kuhn do something. You saw Kuhn go for value thin here some spots. That said, this part of the tournament isn't one where you really want to like reopen the action too much, you know? All of a sudden you get three bet all in and This isn't the spot you want to raise there with Jack Ten and then face Dom coming back over the top of you, is it? I just yeah, I I think with the increased ICM at this part of the tournament, some of those real thin value raises. I'm not even saying that that necessarily was a spot it would even be good, but just you really want to be careful with thin value raises and stuff, making the pot big, reopening the action. The is going to balance us in some several At this hands. point. Timothy Adams was short stack, doubled up, 
The Reaper oh, now, very healthy. Second in chips, Brian. Jesse Lone is still with plenty of chips, but wishing he had those oranges back. Eleven players left here, and Mr. Amari now, after being chip leaders, are short stack, Brian, with eight bigs. Next player out gets 128. Next player after that gets 128. And it's flat, like you said, 152. But then 186, 253. 345,000, these are the juicier numbers now, you know, 452,000, where we're starting to, it makes it move, right, Brian, those type of numbers for you? Yeah. It's good to know, man. But, I mean, taking this away from something personal, they start to be, each jump is like multiples of the actual buy-in of the tournament, right? You buy in 25K, now, now we're talking multiple, you know, Three buy-ins, four buy-ins, five buy-ins, et cetera, between payouts. So very significant jumps relative to the tournament. You meant math, making it not yeah. personal. You use math. It's yeah. not personal, I mean, right? listen, my, you know, my net worth and what tickles my fancy isn't that relevant. What does, what does tickle your fancy, though, and what is your net worth? VR. <laughs> Drop it on us. Hit the chat real quick. You guys want to know, Brian? <laughs> you, which one do you want to know? Let's just do the net worth. Don't worry. Save the, save the, save the other one. Brian Rast, $25 million in live earnings. Three-time $50,000 buy-in poker player championship winner. But I remember an event, Brian, that I personally, the way it looked to me, got you started in a way. Pot Limit Omaha, $1,500 event that you won. Uh, no, it was Pot Limit Hold'em. Pot Limit Hold'em, sorry. Yeah. Yes. Am I right? Was that a... Engine Sparker a little bit? It was nice. I finally won, you know, a, a major event, but, and it, it probably contributed me to playing the 50K later that summer. Maybe I don't if I didn't win that. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. There we go, baby. Look at that. Look at that poker knowledge. If I could have just got Pot Limit Hold'em right, that would have been a dead 10 for 10 there. <laughs> got close, okay? I didn't, coming into this, I didn't know, like, any, you know, I, I, two, I said two time on the first one. That's good. Getting better. You were a little bit nervous. I was. And now you're not nervous at all. The filter's completely gone. <laughs> Koichi in the middle stack range. But that's getting close to a nub, Brian, for Koichi. Kosei, sorry. Kosei no, he's, he's actually seventh. There are four people with less chips than him. He's got 22 blinds. Okay, yeah, because those orange chips are the big yeah, ones. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. You're, v you're very tricked by the volume. Uh, yeah, I'm a size guy. You're one of those guys who, who really likes having a lot of chips in front. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm a, I like coloring up. Kosei's colored up. What does he want to do on the button? Hold it to Jesse in the small. Okay. This hand is this hand is getting played. Certainly. Three X. And woo. The only thing I can think of here is just being in position, having a little bit of a chip edge with a short stack, but Yeah, but this is this is too a dusty. really bad hand. Yeah. yeah. Too too bad. The math isn't good on that one. The four do suited. The math doesn't like that one. Suited there, yeah. Mm. Not even that one really. No, well, suited you call. Suited, technically for chips, you're supposed to call, and now you have to decide like. It's cl it's it's close, but it's a call. But then you know, there's other tournament considerations right now. Maybe having ten million in chips, you you just take the chip EV and go for it. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, you're basically not really. Chip EV, can full you just break that down for the there. people? Just give us like a quick 15 second. Yeah. Or so I, I, the reason why I use that term specifically, chip EV means like, okay, like what am I expected to win or lose if I put chips in here now? And the reason I use that term specifically is because all these guys are playing with, call it the ICM effect. In other words, 
when they win or lose chips, they're not right. worth directly the amount because you win payouts now that are stratified. Like the person who has all the chips at the end of the tournament doesn't win all the money. He only wins what first place is. So chip EV at this point is different from like kind of a, the ICM effect on what, what the actual EV uh, of it is. So that's why I, I'm using that term specifically. That, that, that's what it means. Does that clear it up? That's the math. Okay. Love it. Yeah. We got a flop here between Kose, who raised, and Adrian with the threes defended the small. Okay. Interesting flop. Yeah, some, some poker likely to get played here. Nobody has much of a hand. Will Kose see bet this? It's built up some chips. 450? Now threes didn't flop a set, but this is an not a bad flop. Andy has a club, you know, He's beaten all over cards. Yeah. So don't definitely very reasonable continue. Somewhat standard even. Okay. Pretty good card for the threes. Long think and decision to no double barrel this. And another great card for Adrian. Good enough, in fact, that he can consider value betting this himself, in my opinion. He can definitely get called by ace high, king high. Um, you know, every draw missed, the board double paired. Yeah, so Adrian decides that and you know, it's kind of a weird spot where ace high might not actually value bet this too much. So, you know, could he call? And, yeah, Kose doesn't, and which is reasonable. But, you know, I, seeing a guy, I, I've seen people hero call there. You've seen people hero call there. No, right? it's a really nice yeah. bet. It, Adrian, uh, second in chips now, I mean. Look, the first night, Rasty, this kite ordered a bottle of wine like mid-hand, got yeah. glasses poured up, started the day with the massage. Now he's here, still final two tables in our Triton super high roller, and blinds are going up, 150, 300, very meaty. They want to win or not? Yeah, he's, he's, played, matter, Alex. he's played some Sorry? good hands Trophies since matter. I've been here, right? You think so? Do you agree? Don't yeah. you strack me when I'm looking at the card. Did you hear what Fader said there? He said trophies matter. Yeah? Yeah, maybe a little head games with the guy, the newer <laughs> player, you know, knowing he has no hardware. And Sergio now, we haven't seen this, Brian, but he really had a rough day. Up to eight and a half million in chips. Really good player with a lot of chips. with a lot of chips himself. Yeah, Sergio is also chipped up off screen, you know? Like we took a break from this table and all of a sudden we're back and Sergio, who was at like four or five million or something, is now up to eight. So he's in a great spot here to get some chips from Fedor. Button first oh, yeah. blind. Oh yeah, he's crushing on this board right now. He even has the ace of diamonds for backup. Fedor also has a backdoor flush draw. And he's going pretty big size there. That's it's about half pot. So sometimes you see players on uh, now on, on some of these boards, like an ace high board with at least one other high card. A lot of Silicon Overlord likes 
not betting your whole range. Like a lot of times people will bet their whole range, bet like quarter pot, right? But on these boards, doing a lot more checking back, but when you do bet. You bet big. Betting bigger, yeah. And look, he gets paid So like instantly, instantly polarizing, basically. He bets big, gets Fedor to call, and Fedor turns a backdoor flush, heart flush draw, giving yeah. him a lot more equity in the hand. So now he, he has an interesting decision, because given his flop bet sizing, he has one of the weakest hands he could consider betting again. So, I mean, I feel like probably checks. Like, the king also isn't an irrelevant card. Like, queen 10 improves, kings up, or hands. And really interesting river, king of diamonds. The diamonds come in from the flop. And Fedor can't really beat anything now, can he? Fedor actually has, like, the weakest hand he can have. Straight draw got there, other than, like, 10-8, right? He could have 10-8. But other than 10-8, straight draw got there. Flush draw got there. If you had like king 10 or king queen and called the flop, it's a big bet to call. Like, you know, a king got there. So a nine is weak, but Fedor checks and Sergio will check it back. But Fedor was thinking about bluffing his hand, I think. Sergio going to take that one down. Over 10 million now for Sergio. Really good player, 16 million in lifetime earnings himself. Still looking for that kind of breakthrough win. Maybe this will be it. Then by breakthrough win, Brian, just to confirm, because I know there are going to be some math sleuths out there in the chat that have his hand in the mob. He's had big wins before, but just not enough to propel him into that, you know, Adrian Mateos, whatever stratosphere where you kind of just recognize his face or whatever. Yeah, you, we're talking about Sergio? Yeah. Yeah. He's had plenty yeah. of big wins, you know. guys. What's his What's his lifetime earnings? It's 16 like 16 million. 16? Okay, yeah. And he's got almost four here at Triton. He hasn't, hasn't had a win, he doesn't have a Triton title, rather. He needs, he needs that signature, he needs that Triton trophy in the mantle place, you Dude, know what I mean? Dude, look at the start of his, he went to Philippines in 2016 and 2017, and I don't know, I mean, if they weren't recording total number of tournaments he played, he literally cashed in his first four tournaments. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Eight caches. His first four were, like you said, in the f in the Philippines in 2016 and 2017, and then it's been a cold streak since then. So this is a way to get it all back in one swoop. Really long kind of dry spell for him. Yeah, London. it looks like he didn't play all the stops every year. No, he didn't like play them, but look, he bricked them still. He went to London, yeah. bricked yeah, yeah. it in 2019, went to Madrid, bricked it in 2022, went to Cyprus, had a 17th place for 55K, but bricked the rest. Yeah. Here he is in Jeju. Really hot start, cooled off. But now it's time to get it all back. Yeah. Interesting, these guys have the same hand. So what happens? What is mathematically? I mean, he's gonna call him But who normally. wins when a gangster and the Grim Reaper play with the same hand, who wins? I mean, he hasn't called yet. I mean, he's not folding. We know that. Oh, this is this is this is like when he earns the gangster. Look, he I thought he earned yeah. it already. No, he, he just keeps earning it. He's earning it and he's like doubling down and tripling down. And this this is why it's like your moniker of American gangster is just fitting. Like I do like there's certain things you've said yeah. on the stream so far that I just haven't rolled with. Like what? Like the Fedor bot thing. What do you mean? You think the guy's a soccer player, you're saying? <laughs> I don't know what Fedor Bot has to do with playing soccer. I'm saying he's, you know, just, uh, you know, I, but this one I will roll with. This right. one I'll, I'll take up the mantle. American gangster Jesse Lonis. Yes. Just nice re healthy Jack stack here. Off. I'll tell you what that wasn't in. That was not a Silicon Overlord play. That was an American gangster play. Interesting. I thought those guys were kind of linked, but maybe not. No. Silicon Gang, are they, are they enemies? Yes. Ooh, interesting. Gangster is an enemy in some ways of the, the Overlord, I feel interesting. like. Interesting. Yeah. Well, the Overlord. You can't just like follow the dictates of the Overlord yeah. and be a gangster. You've lost your free will. I mean, the Overlord's sending its best army in today, Fedor <laughs> and his bot. <laughs> if there's anybody Fader. that can take the gangster down. Alex, the Fader. just. Fedor's not like a strict 
a disciple of the Overlord, by the way. No, he's not a bot. Yo, Fader's he's been human. on the live streets for a while. He's human. No, I'm just saying. I know he's human. No, Ryan. he's not. Like, if you were gonna ask the Overlord, the disciples are robots. Who like follows? Mario. Like, who follows my dictates the most? That's still the in. disciples are like Roland. The and Overlord the other guys. isn't gonna say Fedor. The Overlord. Fader is a human. Fader Fader plays some a human. Street. He worships the Overlord yeah. by making bots for him. Fader plays some street poker. He really does. Yeah. Fedor Hull's still here. I mean, not not quite like the American gangster. No. No, because... He's in his own league. The Silicon Overlord's not out there in the streets, like, living like the gangsters are. 11 people here. Wow. And we've got a... We've got a serious short stack situation. Daniel DeVores, who started the day with three big blinds. Now, Mr. Amiri has three big blinds, Brian. So are we going to see some more pressure from the big stacks? Yeah, well, let, let me take a look at the chip counts before I just rattle off an answer here. Yeah, you know, we're starting to get to that point. 11th, Some sh we got some short stacks. Some of these big stacks are, are pulling away a little bit. Yeah. We're starting to get to that that point. I think we could see some of that. Six hundred. Pretty nice time to wake up with queens. Under the gun, not the best spot because it just it looks so strong when you have that twelve big blind stack and you open. Yeah, you just hate to raise all in with queens and get no action. And yeah, no. No, raising all in. I mean, he has 13 big blinds, Four like eight. under Three the gun, times? seven or six or whatever. I mean, that's yes. not so too good. much of a thing. And Adrian with a really Nine interesting two? decision. Just going to rip it, oh. right, with the fives. And Dom in an amazing spot to double here. Okay. Dominicus Michaelitis. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll give me back. <laughs> I'm not planning anything cheeky. You hear him ask Adrian to give him back the chips. That was the ace's yeah. hand. If I three bet you, you're full, right? That <laughs> Ooh, a diamond, but nobody has one. Yeah. Dom in a great spot to double up. Oh, oh, not please. anymore, though, Brian. This is for diamond. It's, it's a diamond, diamond, though, but if Dom doesn't get a queen or a diamond on the river, he's all of a sudden going to be out of wow, here. Wow, the queen of diamonds chops, too, so he has one out to win. Uh, that's not it, Brian. Like it. Wow. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Dominicus Michaelitis. Darn it. Darn it. Wow, that's, that's, that's pretty unlucky. That's pretty for brutal, headaches. Brian. Yeah. He got fifth in the first event for 240000 Loses yeah, to a two-outer to the likes oh, of that wow. man. Who maybe, <laughs> Brian, maybe it's just Adrian Chu's tournament. Sure. I mean, yeah. it's shaping up that way, but we still have a long way to go, ladies and gentlemen. This to me. Yeah. You got to <laughs> <you gotta laughs> <gotta> get lucky. <laughs> what a pot there. Pretty sure we've all got lucky to go deep. Right. For this man, Adrian... I think this is one of the edges you pulled. You're hitting a lot of stuff today. Yeah, actually, since the pretty lucky, actually. Since the moment. Since yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Eight versus eight, a lot of stuff. Does the Australian guy have, like, one blind or something? Yeah. Sorry? <laughs> running good. Australian guy have, like, one blind or something? Sorry, who? Like the Australian guy. Oh, it's running good. Uh, yeah. There were a lot of sub-10 big blind stacks mm. on the other Yeah, okay. Table. And like that, we're down to 10, Sorry, Brian. Yeah, direct more. bubble now, right? Well, the final table bubble. Yes. Yeah, if one goes out, we combine to one table. So, and it looks like the two big stacks are on the blue table, uh, which is this table that we're looking at. So, actually, the three biggest stacks, we see them, Chua, Theologus, and Lanus, along with, of course, Timothy Adams and Kose. Adrian, now our chip leader. Mario Mosbach, our short stack, five bigs for him. Fedor still in there, sixth place. Daniel DeVore is still in there in eighth place, but only ten bigs. Mario's just been surviving on the short stack. Yeah, that other table has the three shortest stacks. Devores, Amiri, and Mosbach. Crazy tournament here. 
Dominique is take some 128,000. Our 10th place finisher will get 128,000, but then it ramps up a lot, Brian. 152,000 for 9th, 186,000 for 8th, 253,000 for 7th, $345,000 for 6th, 452 for 5th, all the way up to that 1.485 million for our eventual champion, Miss Gigi Millions here at the Triton Super High Roller Series in Jeju. Yeah, I think they're playing. They're playing to the end in this, right? And Alex. They're going to play to another five or six and see how This is a leverage spot, right? With the ace nine off, we can lean a little. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Jack. We have a lot of chips. Brian, does, does he want to keep proving the moniker to you, or is he ready to take a little break here? I, I think he's going to take a break. I mean, wow. He's an animal. He's not a gangster anymore? He's an animal now? Yeah, he's all of the above. I mean, this is just going to work, right? It looks like it. I mean, Jesse Lonis. American Gangster, what a spot. Three bets, the 4-3 suited on the button against Alex's early position raise, and nothing he can do here, right? I mean, ladies and the gentlemen. Silicon Overlord wouldn't do anything, but again, Jesse Lanis doesn't care about what the Silicon Overlord has to say. The sworn enemy of the solver, the Silicon Overlord, the American Gangster, Jesse Lonis. Yeah here to take down the solvers, Brian. He's gonna be the one. <laughs> this is cool because I feel like so far on, when I've been on the stream, I've kind of just seen stuff not work out for Jesse. You know, but then talking to people off, people are like this and he's, you know, yeah, the beat of his own drummer, but yeah, and you know, you he's an animal about? and this, and now good, we're, we're, we're seeing Jesse do some, <laughs> Some kind of crazy aggressive stuff and just watching it work out. Yeah, you're talking this about the it. last event you covered him. Deep yeah. run, but it just didn't work out for him. Yeah. So far it's working out, Brian. Yes. And he is raising into Alex's big blind. He doesn't, he has King 10, man. And he has a lot of chips. The American Gangster, sorry for repeating it. I know I can repeat these bits, the nub, etc. but I mean, this just very impressive performance from Jesse here, nope. I mean, he's he's kind of heating up, you know, like, you know, NBA Jam when they're, he's heating up. He's not quite on fire yet, but he's heating up. Are we ahead or something? He really is. All right, now we're at the other table, the red table from the app. This table is full of short stacks, as I said earlier. The deepest stack is Sergio Ido, currently in the small blind. We're gonna be on fader holes under the gun in the hijack, and he's got a nice holding. Ace queen off, he's gonna shoot it up. Dope. And that's a nub right there in the parlance of our times. And now Sergio Ido with a pr pretty hand in the small blind. He's out of position. Ooh. Okay. And this is a this is a move, but Fedor has a pretty good hand here. Like, it's a little uncomfortable, but good enough to call. And this is a spot where the ICM pressure started to ramp up, which is why Sergio is making this play. But, like, I think, I kind of feel like Fedor's going to call this. But this is why it's a play, right, Brian? Yeah. Even when he gets called, it's but a see, pseudo But flip. this is why it sort of hears it like Fader might call this, 
but ace jack off is probably mucking. Ace 10 off, he's certainly mucking, right? So this is why he's choosing this combo, right? Because when you get called, you're, but you're not dominated often by unpaired hands. So it's like ace king snaps and like <laughs> ace queen's uncomfortable, but like honestly, like it's kind of gross for Fedor because there's a number of shorter stacks, but like this is his chance to get some chips to win the tournament too, like I was saying, which is why I think ultimately I think he's going to call. This is a tournament defining pop for him. If he calls yes. here and wins, he's Fedor Hulse at another final table with a big chip lead. If he loses, yeah. he's out. Yes. Yeah. And Fedor plays to win. We know that. And I don't think he's doing, like, that bad because he should be ahead of some, like, bluffy-ish type hands like what Sergio has. Maybe even, like, the ace-five suited or something as well. Yeah. Yeah, Fedor was calling this. Wow, massive pot here, Brian. Tournament-defining pot. Sergio will ultimately be happy to see that it's ace-queen off. Ace-queen. Fedor hosts the Young Prince, Brian, won the first <laughs> event here. Now is either going to be a very healthy chip stack at the final table, or he's going to bubble it. Yep. And Sergio is either going to catapult into, like, into the chip lead, I think, or be a nub. Nobody wants to be a nub, do they, Brian? No. This is a big one, folks. Ooh. Ooh. Some hope for Fedor. We got two to a wheel, two diamonds. Still got the two over cards. But he's going to need to get lucky now. Ooh, but that's a brick. As brick as they come. Dagger. Fedor needs an ace or a queen, or he's out of here on our final table bubble. Wow. That's Good that. luck. Brave call, Fedor. I like it. Well played, sir, but uh, it just didn't work out. And just like that, Sergio eliminates Fedor Hulse. Does get a little consolation from his bot. That's got to be nice, right, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Good run. Another run for Fedor. Another big score. 128,000. He's a person, man. I know Fedor is. What, what does he do with the 128K, <laughs> Brian? Let's see our two tables here. Red, Sergio. I mean... Now he's a massive chip leader, along with Adrian Chua yeah. right there. Daniel DeVore is still hanging around with eight bigs. Look, I bet he wishes he could stay on that table with the <laughs> oh, yeah. eight, six, this and four big I don't know what happened we're combining. I got a gash on my head. Rast is here doing math. Crazy tournament at the Triton yeah. High Roller Series. Uh, players are going to go on a break. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Ali's coming in to finish this out. It's been fun, math guy. Yeah, it has been fun, moniker dude. Exactly. See you guys soon. <laughs> Bye, guys. Rom Welcome to the Daily Dose of GTO Quiz of the Day. You're playing an 8-max MTT, 25 big blinds deep. It's a button versus big blind single raise pot, and you're facing an 83% c-bet on jack 7-3 rainbow. Which of these hands should you consider folding? 6-5, king-queen, 7-4, or king-3? Find the answer in the Daily Dose of GTO, our free ebook designed to help you master GTO poker in just five minutes per day. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top-up, up to $250.
Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience. Just sees the wonder. Jeju Shinwa World. Quite a lot. I'll tell you what. The Japanese players have infiltrated, and they're tough. And they are absolutely tough. And for Marquez, might it be going in, Ali? Ace ten, small blind. Ali. And for Ali. Kose, looks like he's just barely priced in. Yeah, asks for the count. It's close, 40 left of 305, but he can certainly <laughs> afford it. <laughs> Look, he knows Queen 10 offsuit is is not the best hand. What he needs we really to find hope out. to see sevens, eights, even ace jack. It is quite close though. Nobody enjoys these calculations. he does give it a run. Dominated is Ichinose, but obviously for Marquez, a delightful development. One and a quarter million in the middle. A nice flop, nine, four, four. No cause for concern, no diamond across the way. No queen, the thought on her mind. A compliant turn rolls off. Go on, Anna. Cries of Vamos in Camp Marquez. I really should have got out to a real Madrid game when we had our Triton Madrid stop. Ace. King. Oh my. Two jacks. And maybe that break would have been a welcome one. TBD, though, as we know the collision is eminent between Satubayev and O'Dwyer. Muller's path to the exit, I suspect, aided by open and three bet. Although, note, it's O'Dwyer and then the button of Shingis. Good points. I think your initial feeling is is the one we'll be seeing. Yeah. Samuel, by the way, a bit of a baby-faced assassin. 
Don't yes. Let, don't let the years make you think that he isn't chiseled. Oh, we're not. Oh, hang on. He does do it. Rips the ace 10. Suited two queens for oh Ido. Oh, my goodness. Hang tight here. This is wild, Ali. Uh, very seldom do we see an open and then three successive jams. Note all of them larger than the one that precedes. And O'Dwyer covers all three. In each successive one of these jams, the range is so much narrower. The last of them coming from the big blind of Sergio Ido off of 2.1. This is not clear to me at all how to proceed if we're O'Dwyer, but my initial feeling is to fold, although call would be very understandable, my oh. word. Perhaps we draw the line at ace-king suited. We know Sergio's range is as the most legit credible. as it gets. Yeah. And of course, Muller can easily have kings or aces. Yeah, he's about as light as you could hope him to be, is Samuel. You are all in real fast. A rare opportunity to Indeed. listen in on O'Dwyer's thoughts in a tricky spot. It would be huge for Samuel equity-wise if O'Dwyer folded. Worthy of note, Nick, we did reach our first pay jump as there are just 37 remaining. 49, 47 through 40, paid 43.5, 49,000 the on tap payout. We do not jump once He is more. putting it in. Oh, Fair wow. enough, he's running it correctly as it stands. This is wild, Ali. So we're gonna have multiple side pots here. Satu Bayev is gonna play four ways for the main. I'll tell you one way we don't have a side pot is if O'Dwyer hits a king. Sure. That'll make the math real easy. Huge pot here, my. Now Muller's gonna play three ways with queens and ace king, and then Ido squares off Will for the final the portion with O'Dwyer alone. So to the flop we go, seven, four, four. Queens are cozy. Oh, he picks up the four, four. out Muller as well. Ace for a chop, king for a clean on, winner, and Sergio instead my. it's the eight. So showers in two camps. And that does make the side pot simple as Sergio collects Muller and Shingus's stacks, and O'Dwyer just pays Sergio the amount that he has. What a pickup for Ido, Ali. And obviously a sour note for the dearly departed in terms of Satubayev and Muller. They will go home with $49,000 apiece. O'Dwyer making sure the accounting is accurate. When the dust settles, he will be left wounded Bruised and awesome. See him. Uh, I think he made a final table earlier. I've seen him around. Someone who's probably looking to make a splash. Oh boy, Hachua's got Sorry. the mic involved in the massage. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be an issue. That looks incredible, by the way. And She's going double elbows there. This guy, Hachua. Okay, Nick, last night orders a bottle of wine like mid hand. Yes. Starts sure. the day off with a massage. Yes. 
Yeah, it, all true. And this is Jesse Lonis, very good American player. Welcome, oh, sir. Yeah. Legend. Seth Davies, uh, great player. 475 behind. Calvin Lee, another legend, Will. One of my best friends in poker. Really? Yeah. Well, there you go. And for Chidwick, it will be going in, glancing at the clock to see about pay jumps. See if Michaelitis wakes up with anything. Indeed, he does. Chop it up, we would think. Michaelitis, one of the chip leaders here. Before I forget. Great series so far for Dom. Stevie looking to spin. Club's working for Dom. Not what Stevie was looking to see. Really not what he was looking to see, Will. This is not the way you want to go, is it? No. Oh, oh my. GG, Stevie. He D mics. You could feel <laughs> the physical kind of. Look, Stevie's taking a lot of bad ones, but the king queen off versus the king queen off. <laughs> Those are so rough. I actually got the read that Stevie a great player. But he's like sneaky good. Kind of sneaky in a way. It, it isn't really, but it does take a while to realize if you watch him play for a while, it's sort of like. Wow, you know, this is really the upper end of the Grandmaster. It will be going in for Devoris. Good luck, sir. And when you've been nursing the nub, it always feels a little easier to just stick it in, right? It does. Justin Saliba, very good player. And Boyvin. Would think the two paint cards warrant continuation. I would too, Will. Kind of awkward though with the pay jump and Big Tim there, big stack. It's a little bit awkward. I think if we continue, it's with a jam to isolate. And Morning. Morning. it is a little bit awkward. He does do it. And let's see if Timmy wakes up. He's gone. Good luck, Daniel, Thomas. And I've noticed, Nick, day one, 100 big blind stacks abound. Day two, it's really these small stacks, and these pots might se not seem like a lot, but it wouldn't be surprised. Danny can double up here, never know. He might be a force exactly. down the road. You see it all the time. Can he spin? Good start. So far, so good. Go on, Daniel. You're right about the no emotion, Nick. These guys just cold as ice. Fritz. He's not one of these guys that jumped on the poker coaching train. You know, the whole... Yeah, he's, he's been doing OG, this. Yes. He's been doing this for a long time, Nick. And he's so just pragmatic and spot on with just really... Yet another great player for Ray Ron Poo. Nice timing for the big slick, Will. Does yeah. go in. Just really comfortable. Ooh. And Nick, last night, Mike Watson twice beat ace king with ace queen. Can he do it again? Uh, he's going for thrice, Will. And I'm sorry, Nick, but if he does it, it's Officer Watson, because this is just mean. Fair enough. This is you get pulled over, you got nothing on you, and they still write you up. I, I know the feeling. See if anybody wakes up with anything behind. But as it stands, Pooh in great shape. Always nice to be suited, but Mike's going to need a lot of help here. Spades, Mike's boss table, Spades won every single all-in. Like, he's very likely to have 0% on the flop. Watson claims Spades are hot. 
Okay, some chop outs for it's not gonna be a chop Sir Watts. Out. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be happy with one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. Go on, Wei Ron. What a good <laughs> Big double, two million in the middle. Watson now down to under ten bigs. I don't want to say you jinxed it. But Last year, five for Danny Tang. And it's cool to see Jason rack up all those titles because he really is unequivocally a top, you know, five no limit player. It's it's really hard to discern amongst. He's just awesome. So when awesome players just win, it, it reminds you, okay, it is a game of skill. Obviously, you got to run pure to ship six in a year, but it's inspiring. Good luck, sir. Family now, though. I know, bro. Can't be fucking wasting sixty-five hundred dollars. Hundred percent, no, bro. Tavoris looking to turn this nub into something a little bit more. And he's going to get called. Weiron with the big hand and the big. And, and this is a big pot for both players. Weiron just doubled up. We'll have a lot of chips if he can win here. And he's ahead. Indeed. A pseudo flip, would you say? That's fair. I like that. Great flop for Danny. Just looking to fade an ace or a nine. And if he does, much like you were talking about, the spins deep in these tournaments, so real. Go on, Daniel. Yeah. He's back. 5.30. It's wild. Maybe you can get Sean Winter to give you some coaching. Make sure that you're absolutely Bro, I'm going to be elite. What, is that your call? What was your call? Well, between Jack for the winner, but I, I said okay. Jack. Maybe wow. a Bernie's Mountain Dog? Producer James coming with Bernie's oh. Mountain Dog. Great find if it is. Well, that's because Producer James has three. And when he's on his vacation home near the factory in Austria, he takes them out in the mountains, Nick. <laughs> Quiet day for Adam so far. You, Nick, you think maybe just the massage, he's enjoying it, getting started slowly? Perhaps will. And for Mossbach, we're going up. And Dvoris, I mean, this is. It's close. Cuspy. Very. He is gone. And a nice choice it was. Pooh as well. Sir Watts with the ace. And I know every hand matters, Nick, but at this point, it just feels like every hand matters so much more. Really does, and it compounds as the tournament progresses. Very much an idea from the small when we're short to just get involved more than would be our intuition. Well, also the big, the added rebate, right? A little bit more money on That's top. Exactly right. Note he's going for call. A very interesting and known idea. And a pair for Saliba. I would think for Justin, we... These spots, Nick, they're so they interesting. Heal, they're so they common. Are. These, You're playing eight big blinds, six big blinds, but there's all these decisions, and call. yeah, just going to peel. And this call from Watson Pre might look unorthodox, but again, that price you alluded to with the big, these are very cool ideas. Great flop for Mosbuck. Indeed. King's obviously the best hand, but the type of board that with Saliba's stack with the positions could see him getting in a lot of trouble. And I don't know, with Mike just being so short. Be 
I think very small is nice and a tough spot for Saliba will. He but goes for the trap to let something like Queen Jack perhaps catch up or even this. Let's Mike pick up a wheel. And the track, the, I think if these guys are deeper, he's probably more likely to bet. But it's not hard to get stacks in. You're absolutely right. And also, generally the way these work is we're more apt to check the bigger the pair is as it requires less protection. Mario likely finding a very slippery and sound idea. All in. And look and at it this, is Nick. working out gloriously. Go on, Mario. Justin wisely gets out of the way. The trap works to perfection. Really does. Rough for Watts, too, that Justin's folded two threes there. He can't know that, but... That is indeed rough. Can he find the ace or perhaps the three? He cannot. Good game, sir. Always a pleasure. 29 left. And just a great example, 30 rather. Nick. Justin with the jack 10 0 on the button and only about six bigs. Is this enough? Looks like it. And Tim with the really pretty king nine of hearts going to snap it off. Good luck, Justin. Another pseudo flip here. Tim looking to claim more chips. I ain't killing your guys' sweat. We'll say there's a little. I already know what's happening. I really do. So fucking sick, dude. Oh, good game, sir. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see. I think it's. That's all she wrote, I think. Ah. GG. GG. Good luck, guys. Good luck. See you. Good luck in the next one. Thanks. Yeah. Good run. 28 left, Will. Getting down there. 55k, nothing to sneeze at, Nick. No. Yeah. I knew it was ace I flop. <laughs> <laughs> and what a good feeling, Nick, to have a stack like this at this point in the tournament. Look, it's great to be in, but it's better to be chipped up. Correct. <laughs> Someone in chat says Danny D and his low rider tonight. What do you think they mean? Not sure. Like his short stack or? <sighs> Please elaborate if you can. Not only did Nick have a good day at the fights, so did Brian Rast. He really did. I mean, he did a little differently than you two. He had like a spreadsheet up, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, Go on though, Brian. I, I saw the spreadsheet. Kings for Pooh. And are we always just trying to get some action here, not scare them off with the shove? think so, Will. Oh, salty for Boyvin. Perhaps an ace lurks, but it's rough as it stands. All in. Who snaps and... Big pot here, 2.5 million in the middle. Way Ryan, who came in pretty short, 10 bigs, will be very healthy if he can hold here. No ace so far, but it lurks. Okay. Pick up the jack outs. GG, sir. Very good player, Thomas Boyvin. Bows out. 
Way around poo. Chipping up here. You get your number from me before I go. Let's see Jeff on that. Good game, Seth. Oops. We lose yet another. GG, boys. See you all later. We are vast. Vincent, yeah. Brought the swag. Everybody feels like they need to bring the swag here at Triton. Triton it is a swaggy environment. 160 to go. In the 11th place for 100,000 for Vincent in the last tournament here, so. Very nice, he's on fire. Might he be hearing from Mr. Lonis, Will? Yeah, with sixes here in the small, Jesse's a very aggressive player. He's just going in. Yeah, there it he is. He does put it in. He'll be getting called. Good luck, gentlemen. One point. It's uh, 1.44. Big flip here, Nick. Three million in the middle. 26 left. Vincent, obviously, still healthy if he wins, but in the chip leaders, you know, sorry, still healthy if he loses, but one of the chip leaders if he can win. And he has plenty of possibilities. Any card above a jack for Vincent. Clean for Lonis. Just needs to fade paint. Go on, Jesse. Nice double. Three million for the American. Jesse popping his Triton <coughs> Cherry with that same event that Vincent got 11th in. Jesse finished 13th. What's on the Euro scarf? I'm not a scarf guy. I'm not offended by it, but I don't like scarves. Even if it's cold just outside, let alone at the poker table. I actually almost like to be as least covered up as possible. <laughs> What's going on? Jaffe's got the I giggles. I mean, are you, you, you like to be to in ask. the nude? Like Not in the nude, but there's something about just wearing a T-shirt and controlling the rhythm of your body that I, I like. I do wear shades sometimes, though. And I do wear a hat, I guess, and sort of obscure my face. I'm not saying, yes, I don't like to play in the nude, Will. <laughs> little strip poker for Nikki. Calvin going to raise it up with the sevens. 10 a.m. in France, Guam, Vilnius, Peruvian coffee, Switzerland, Canada. Peruvian coffee See sounds guys, great right now. Can really does. Some, Cyprus is here. How about just some regular coffee back here? Where, is, where did producer James go? <laughs> He's gone. Vincent with ace-10. And this is, Nick, this is really interesting, right? It is. Against cutoff, it is. It does go in. And for Calvin, it's interesting as well. I think we give it a try. Hope to see the low pair. It's gross, though. It's a bit gross calling it off, but he yeah, is doing it. Good yeah, luck, he, gentlemen. Big yeah, I guess one this here, is just Will. too many suited aces, lower pairs type of hands. to Exactly. You need to be careful, but you can't be afraid. Very well put, Will. And now, Vincent, this is a really big pot for him. He will be... Very short if he loses, and a massive pot for Calvin. Four million in the middle. Oh, and there's the 10. The dagger. Does have the heart working. Ooh. And it is another heart, Will. Is there one more in there, Nick? Nope. GG, sir. We lose another. Can't lose three in a row, you know? The demiking process always a little bit awkward. Nick. A delayed reaction.
Here in Jeju, we've broken the record for the biggest Triton event ever once again. 305 entries in this 25k GG Millions live event. We're down to a final table of nine, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to them. Seat number one, from Spain, with 70 million. Our chip leader, please welcome Sergio Aido. Seat number two from Canada, 6.5 million. Please put your hand together for Team Adams. Adams, 13.5 million in career. Triton earnings, two titles. Looking for his third here in his 17th cash. Already won under his belt here in Jeju. From Australia in seat number three for, with 1.8 million. Please welcome Esan Amiri. Amiri. Playing under the Australian banner here at his first ever Triton. Excited, first cash in three attempts. Scene number five with 14 million from Greece. Please welcome Alex Theologis. Theologis, 159,000 in career Triton earnings. All of it coming in Monte Carlo. This is his fourth cash already here. In 6'6", six, six from Austria with 1.3 million. Please put your hand together for Mario Mosbuk. Mario, under the Austrian banner, 4.5 million in career. Triton earnings, one title in this, his eighth career. See number Triton. seven from Canada, 2.3 million. Please welcome Dan Forrest. Daniel DeVores, the Canadian. 6 million plus in career Triton earnings. Two titles. This is his 31st cash, third in Jeju. 3.2 million for a C number eight from Japan. Please welcome Kosei Ichinose. Kosei. Here is first ever Triton. First ever cash in this, his third effort. C number nine, second in chips with 70 million from Singapore. Please welcome Adrian Chua. Adrian, another one of our Triton first timers. One cash already. This is second in four attempts. 61.5 in career earned. Last but not least, in seat number 10 from the US with 30 million. Please put your hand together for Jesse Lonis. Jesse, 120,000 in career Triton earnings coming in two prior caches here in Jeju. This is third. Right, we just had a seat swap and we drew, we drew the button on Dan. We had 24 minutes remaining on level number 25, and now we're going to play hands for raising the blinds instead of minutes. On the clock, the minutes will represent the hands that we have left. So we have nine hands remaining on this level. I wish you all the very best of luck. Tiare, shuffle up and deal, please. Thank you, Luca. As you get a look. At the chip counts brought to you by GG Poker. Let's call it four quite short stacks. With Ichinose being the largest of them, 11 bigs in front of him. You heard nine minutes left, nine hands. Yeah, very interesting chip configuration. We have four pretty big stacks from 44 to 57 blinds, four pretty short stacks from four to 11 blinds, and then Timothy Adams, kind of in the middle with 22. Average stack, Rasty, eight and a half million. Good for 28 big blinds. Up top, of course, 1.485 million, the only seven-figure payout. And then ninth, $152,000. That's what's on lockup, the jump up to eight. <coughs> Thank you. $34,000. Fedor Holtz, who won event number one here in Jeju, was the final table bubble. $128,000 going his way. A little suited connector for Lonis. Resists.
puck now. I mean, four big blinds in the cutoff. I think Arlen. King 8 is going to make the cutoff. Yeah. Arlen. He's at Arlen. Agreement. He is the shortest stack by two big blinds, so. Urgency? Yeah. Yeah, definitely some urgency. How much? 1.3. 1.3. Ah, jeez. Too much. Too much. <laughs> and after some deliberation, Adrian did decide it was nice too double much. Up. <laughs> yes. That was huge. Mario, very so pleased now? with that. I yes, Getting it through with a modest oh. holding. And I mean, picking up nearly 50% yes. of his stack. It is incredible just how meaningful something as seemingly innocuous as a raise and take it can be to those of us uh, oh, my yeah. on a lean stack. That's okay. Uh, I think mm. I, I, no, no, no. no. No, it's not. Wait, it's not right because it's you not don't right have the card. It was only a piece yeah, of blue. Yeah, no? that's yeah. just the the steal. But what? No, the flash was his. No, card. no, no. The flash was his card, yeah, and then you dealt him another. No, card. it was it was mine. It was mine. I didn't have a card. I'm sure Bray Eight was mine. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Because I didn't have a card. Oh, okay. Um, oh, good. Uh, okay. Then no, we're good. I thought it was. Yeah, all right. I thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was sure no, it was your card because it was in front of you. I didn't have any cards at all. You're the one that saw it. Okay. Slight confusion there with the exposed card, but it appears that everything is sorted now. I believe the exposed card was a 10. That would be dissuasive in terms of Ido with this Jack-10 offsuit. Pocket 8s for Dvoris in the cutoff. I was under the impression it was an 8. Oh, really? An 8? Yeah, okay. I thought I heard that. Obviously relevant regardless in terms of the two holdings that we're looking out at right now. And if it indeed was an eight rest, is that enough to really change the course for Dvoris here? He has to think he's getting called oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. most yeah, of the good. time that's here good. versus but the uh, open. Okay. Let me put my so here it, so it, it makes the math time, funny but. because you mean you're really putting it on the line to, to go out ninth and not maybe get a couple pay jumps with the other short stacks. And yeah, an eight could be enough to dissuade him. This is a this is a pretty close spot, and I'm curious what he thinks about ICM here. Dvoris, by the way, you know, we talk about this ICM risk premium, et cetera, quite a bit. Dvoris, I mean, played a lot of sit and goes. I mean, he really came up playing sit and goes online. Mm -hmm. um, and so we see him fold the eights. So, like, what he thinks about the ICM effects, I think is, you know, I, I he's probably pretty knowledgeable, has a lot of experience with ICM. Obviously, that's exactly what's happening every time you run a sit-and-go is you're just, like, right in that wheelhouse, right? <coughs> that, that's really what they do, short stack play and, and ICM effects. So, always interested to see DeVoris's take on those questions. Well rehearsed. 600. In precisely this situation is not simply Dvoris, although perhaps greater than average. As we see Alex, who I touched on. Thank you. Rasty earlier. Very much on form here in Jeju. He got shut out. 0 for 8 in Monte Carlo, but whatever he did between then and now appears to be working as he finished 33rd in the 15K uh, yeah. kickoff, 10th in the 20K 8 max, didn't cash the 25K silver main, 26th in the 30K 8 max now, and FT 4 for 5. In terms of finding the money, not bad at all. Alex. Now, yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, and just to bring you up to speed a little bit, and maybe some of the audience who is just joining for the final table, in the play up, Jesse Lanis has... Uh, <laughs> 
Well, Will was calling him the American Gangster, and he definitely earned the nickname. He was getting after it, including some gems such as a mid-position 10-3 offsuit open. Mm -hmm. He also 3-bet with out of the big blind versus the late position open with jack-10 offsuit. Mm -hmm. He also 3-bet on the button versus the mid-position open with 4-3 suited. So, I mean, you know, Intel has come down in terms of that which one can anticipate coming out of Jesse Lonis at any given moment in time. So he's willing to get in there and mix it up. Yeah, I don't, by the way, plays. same hand, King-10 situation there. Sorry? And uh, Theologus Alex, who you were just mentioning, right. has his very big stack because he was actually all in with Amiri, who's the shortest stack right now. Amiri had ace king of hearts and he had jacks, and they ran it for like 13 or 14 million, and um, jacks held. And now Amiri is one of the shortest stacks instead of one of the bigger stacks. Yeah, and note, by the way, that those big stacks have company in the form of Ido, Theologus, and Adrian Chua. All right there. 50-some-odd bigs, that is. We see the Greek taking us upstairs with King-10 suited. Hand of the moment. No takers on this occasion. <coughs> no takers once more and touched a little bit on at the top of the leaderboard, Rasty, what we have on our hands. At the bottom, something similar insofar as Dvoris Mosbach and Amiri in that order, eight, seven, and six big blinds respectively, let's call it. And that's the kind of log jam when you look at the payouts. Ninth, 152K, eighth, 186K, seventh, 253,000, 100 dimes. Yeah. And I mean, don't forget Koze. I mean, he's in that group. He's got 10 big blinds. So, I mean, that's a cluster of the bottom four spots. And yeah, there's a big difference. Uh, 100. 152,000 to 345,000 between ninth and sixth. So just being, you know, let's say they're the next four to go out, just being the one to survive the longest out of those four and not even pass anyone else is massive. Yeah, deeply profitable. So, and a lot of jockeying to be expected out of those stacks that are gonna be keep, keeping an eye on one another. And of course, for the bigger stacks, and when you look at the the seat distribution there, Rast, perhaps first to speak of the three so at the top of the leaderboard in any given pot, will be very likely to experience quite a bit of deference from the remainder of the field. Yeah, maybe. I mean, listen, between the big stacks, there could there's going to be jockeying in the sense of who can build up a chip lead and not right. to uh -huh. separate and then start, you know, steal, you know, being able to steal more than anyone else. Pound town. Oh. Whereas among those bottom four stacks. It, it's more kind of who can be the oh, last one to survive. <laughs> and then Timothy Adams has this weird, he's sort of in the middle, like I can try to out-survive these bottom stacks, but in some spots if I take some risks, I can okay. catapult myself and, up uh, to be in the top stacks. You know, he, he, he kind of has a more flexible position. What was it? ICM oh, okay. Jail so, yeah. doesn't really so have a warden oh, right six. now. The time will tell. As Theologius V pipping, but legit has been the kit thus far. Under the gun, Ace King, top two. Amiri defended off of that lean stack. Seven five is a drift. Yeah, so it's very weird, nuanced situation. Like in the big blind, you get a lot of chippy V from just defending the min rays, realizing your equity. It, it's kind of offset by the fact that with. He's there with three other short stacks. 
I mean, he's committing a quarter of his chips there, another 300K, to see the flop with a, a really bad hand against somebody who just opened under the gun nine-handed. And so even though maybe it's plus chip EV, maybe with ICM, it's kind of just a pass and just like wait for a better spot and preserve that big blind, right? It's a quarter of his chips. You know, it's, it's pretty cl yeah, You can go both ways with that. Well, the only way Amiri went was southbound. As he is now down to just 900K. You see the distribution of the remainder of the $7.6 million prize pool. 47 were paid. That brought to you by the good folks over at Poker Steak. And this tournament is likely to remain the record, right, for the rest of Jeju, just given I, the I tournament just schedule. Just looking at the remainder of said schedule, Rast, I've got a tough time envisioning a world in which over 305 entries take shape elsewhere on the docket. Yeah, I mean, what a turnout. I mean, that's kind of a whole new thing for Triton. Absolutely. Yeah. Coming in to this, Jeju stopped the prior high water mark in terms of entries was 169, I believe, perhaps 179. I can't even remember because that number has been bested on, I believe, at least three, maybe even four occasions. It's, it's been every turn, all the tournaments, right? So far, all Not of them. Not quite all of them, was it? Maybe, you might actually be right. All right. Chua, 650 heart coverage here as Theologius, King Five suited, played as a defense. 650, right? Oh, yeah. This is correct. Goes to 175. I it was 550. Everybody's got reasonable hands. We're going to see a flop. Hearts would be nasty for Alex. Confirmation coming down, by the way, from producer James Dempsey that indeed every single event here has been a record breaker compared to the previous stop. Now then, turning our attention back to the matter at hand, it went check, check. The Elogis was in front, emphasis on was, as the ace of clubs smacks Chua for the lead. Understandable second check out of the Greek. And in turn, an understandable barrel from Adrian, club free. A million, the sizing. Yeah, it's it's over half pot. It's reasonably large. It's something that you take with definitely like ace X plus for value, some bluffs, and uh, it's big enough to knock out the five. Mm -hmm. Alex, the simple check fold there, not having a club in hand. Yeah, sizing like that where, I mean, if you sort of think about it logically, if you're betting an ace and a five folds, it's very hard to get value. If, if you're in <coughs> Adrian's seat and then thinking about how you'd want to construct your range, you just want to make sure you're also firing like a lot of your, uh, you know, king and queen highs, basically just anything else that checked back, right? Because at, at some point, you're not getting that much value with that bet, right? You, uh, your aces aren't getting a five to call, he, you know, a five folded. So maybe another ace would call. Not that great if you have a seven. So it, it's a range where the your equity is driven by your bluffs in this case, because what, what you're really getting is the majority of his range is folding, and that's good when you have nothing. On the topic of your aces, 
We just witnessed Ichinose Ace 10 offsuit declined. Chua with the Ace 10 suited opens. And now Ido Ace 5 suited, three betting, solver bait as I often like to refer to it. Silicon overlords as you like to refer to them. Very fond of this combo. Not so much of this situation as the dominated one has inflated this pot. Chua hanging in. And this is the jockeying between the big stacks that I was referring to. Oh, top pair against bottom pair. Ichinose, screen left there for a moment. Observing him lamenting his decision to muck preflop, unaware that Chua level with him here and a club free roll. Played as a check over to the three better with the flow of play, 4.1 in the middle. Ido cracks yeah. the whip, 1.1. I don't think Chua gets any leads on this flop, at least not theoretically, so him checking is, is just pretty normal. Sure. Flatting, I would imagine, on the same order. Yeah, well, I mean, the three better is basically should have a pretty small range that's going to have stuff like queens, kings, aces, you know, and then some air that might be drawing close to dead versus you. So at this point, even though, yeah, sometimes it's like you check raise and get in, top pair, top kicker on boards like this, usually that's more like a big blind versus cutoff situation, and the cutoff range is very wide. And, yes, he can have big pairs, but he has a bunch of other hands too. In this one, Chu is either way ahead or way behind, and so him check calling the flop, in my opinion, is the sensible play. So the turn, it goes check, check, and Ido has earned another check here, courtesy of this king on the end, and contemplating whether or not he can potentially represent a king, if needed, would be turning his hand into a bluff, of course, and instead he is content to check back in the hopes that perhaps one of these Broadway aces that don't connect is the nature of what he's up against. But those ambitions vanquished as Chua rolls over the ace-10 and hauls in the Ido bucks. Yeah, I think Ido was thinking, and pretty correctly, that he has a... Even though it's a five, so it's kind of like, wow, I have a lot worse hands that can bluff. I think he was thinking, well, I don't think a five's going to win very much here at all at showdown. Like, you know, I'm losing to any bigger pair. Uh, a king just got there. If my opponent has, like, queen jack suited or maybe even a hand like jack nine suited, he's probably bluffing those, and he just checked. Maybe I'm beating like ace queen that's checking. I'm blocking that. Maybe ace jack. So yeah, it, but I don't know. Bluffing a five, you can beat some hands. It's dicey, but that's what he was thinking about. Two million, including the big blind. Onwards to another one of these diamond suited wheel Sorry, aces. Uh, this time in the stewardship of Captain Adams at the controls. Yeah, and he's got that kind of annoying stack. And now he's kind of deciding, do I want to take like a decent opening spot to win chips or just conserve them? Seven seventy-five. Seven seventy-five. Wow, and he's coming with a pretty big open sizing. It's it's a little it's two and a half X. And I feel like this sizing, if you look at the stacks that are behind him, he has Amiri here, who has seven fifty and Mosbeck. And I think he's making it bigger because basically he has to call them and he wants to
give Devoris a bad price in the big blind to call. So it, the sizing is kind of targeted at Devoris. Mazbach. Yeah. Spoiling the fun. What a spot. Wakes up with Ace King. And note, by the way, off of 1.45, this is so pesky for Adams. 775 invested already. He must make this call and take just 28% equity into battle against Mario here in what has become a three and a half million chip pot. Yeah, a little, little bit of chop equity, but not too much. Ooh. King Jack three and all that chop equity really shriveled up in a hurry. Top pair, oh. top kick from Mosbach. Timeout. <laughs> Look at the dynamite sweat on this turn of five of diamonds. Yeah, Wheel gutty, nut flush that. draw. Popping right back up to 27% is Tim. Ooh. And then finding the ace, which of course is not enough. Masbach, top, top two. Did you rooting for you? Root of a name. Yeah. Finds the double. Okay, no problem. <laughs> you, I wasn't for you. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't rooting for you. Wow, pretty crazy yeah. turn card there, but uh, the too many now. out syndrome hits again. No, he means because he really doesn't like you. <laughs> Can I trade them big ones in the game? Yes. Yep. Now Mazbek. So just these ones? Kind of moves up and, and joins yeah. Timothy right. Adams at the top of the short stacks now. Massive mm -hmm. difference there between fourth and fifth. The average stack is 28 blinds, which is 14 more than Timothy Adams in fifth. Like and. That. 14 less than Jesse Lanis in fourth. So the, av the top stacks are basically really separated by quite a bit from these bottom five stacks. Mm -hmm. And when you consider stack dynamics, this is the kind of distribution that is unique a lot of times we'll see the cluster in the middle, the breakout big stack, and then one or two small stacks, and we all know how that one shakes out. This, uh, a site less often seen. Yeah, and, and this is, you know, it gets into the big stacks jockeying. Like, they all can threaten each other. So, you know, maybe we're going to see Alex come, come with a... Okay, interesting. So... He's decided to not kind of turn this into a bluff. And Mosbach deciding behind this flat with the ace three of suited, perhaps one of those candidates to get a little squeezy, not sure, look on no, your face, suggest too, maybe not so no. much, not deep enough. Not deep enough. Yeah, not deep enough. Ido, however, deep enough certainly as he opened this queen jack. Dominated heading to the flop. And he flops bottom two on the king queen jack board. Yellow just Broadway got our backdoor clubs, but problems for the time being with just bottom pair. Yeah, like Theologus's flatting range here is pretty strong and can definitely have a lot of hands that hit this stuff. I mean, Ace 10 suited is going to be squarely in it. Of the other two pairs that, that beat him can flat for the same reason he flatted Ace Jack off. And he's. His flatting range doesn't have like a lot of other hands and doesn't have a ton of like small card hands. So Sergio Ido has a pretty good hand and it's a decent spot, but like he's definitely not loving it the way that it sort of obviously feels like, oh yeah, it's like bottom two parry has a really big hand. It's so it's 400 ahead to the turn as the extra 800 brings the pot to two and three quarter million. Not at all consequential seven of diamonds rolling off. Yeah, 
And so you could see, I guess an extension of like what I said is Sergio Ido doesn't seem to think this hand, whether he wants to or not, maybe he thinks it's not really good enough to just go bet, bet, bet for value well, and really be, be getting called by like weaker. So he mixes in a check here with two pair. Yeah, and you gotta be a little bit concerned, obviously once Theologius calls the flop about what the flatting range was for him pre and how it interacts with this sort of board texture. Relieved, of course, to see the check back. And now on the river, this four of diamonds, certainly it would feel as though Ido has the hunt for value available. Yeah, I mean, you know, against somebody who doesn't protect their check back range, he's like always ahead here. Now, I'm not saying Alex is that person, and maybe, you know, Alex is going to mix in some good hands into his check back range. But after betting flop, small, check turn, check behind, you can now feel pretty comfortable about your hand being good, and you can see he just picked a big size. Yeah, 2.4. Yeah. Meaty. And Alex doesn't, I don't think he has, I'm trying to think, the best hand to call with. I'm trying to, like, I don't, I think the ace of clubs is probably below average blocker. Yeah, so, and he's obviously not beating value with third pair. So, into the muck it goes. Oh, slides up. Yeah. Oh. Let's <coughs> get a glimpse. Have enough Jesse. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, y you know, Ace Jack called. It did keep Queen Jack in the pot. Queen Jack ended up sucking out him and won a pot. You know, had he could definitely have three bet that hand pre-flop. Um, he probably would have won the pot right there. So not saying anything's better or worse, but um, aggressive actions can always win through getting your opponent to fold. And uh, there's a lot of people who I think would predominantly play ace jack off as a three bet there as opposed to a flat. And by the way, include Theologius in that camp just on balance. Perhaps he elected to play it as a flat on that particular occasion, yeah. Rast. Yeah. No, I, my understanding is Theologius is Eight. crushing Eight. online tournaments. So, yeah. yeah, like, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's very aware of all that. Adams, the open, blinds 200, 400, 400,000, a million in orbit, the price of poker. Tremendous urgency for the shorties. Not necessarily counting Adams <coughs> among them just yet, but in the danger zone with the 11 bigs roughly coming in. Got a customer in the chip leader. No, Chua. Oh yeah, he's in, forgive. Jack five, seven, three, deuce. No interactions of any deep meaning. You see Adrian checking over, two overs, club working for Adams, just three and a half back, two, two in the center. Four fifty. Four hundred fifty thousand. Always a nice sight, by the way, when mm -hmm. your opponent doesn't sit back and deliberate. And you have to wonder whether there's a world in which you're going to be able to take the pot then and there, which is the ideal outcome for Canada's Tim Adams. I thought you were going to say when your opponent quickly goes to recheck his cards. I mean, like. Not is that a sign always. of a muck, you think? I, I I think people do that oftentimes. They just, what they're doing is, I think I'm going to fold, but let me just like make sure I'm remembering my hand correctly. And then when they see that they have the same bad hand that didn't hit this flop, then they throw those cards in the muck. Don't, they haven't changed. Yep, it's five jack. No, no club in the muck. 
Like, I think that's a pretty common thing. People just double checking their cards before folding. Yeah. Sixes for Ido. No double check needed. Under the gun open here. I mean, it, it's not a tell you can do very much with usually because it's, yeah. it's like they, you know, it's a tell on that they're about to fold right, after right. you've already acted. But yeah. One six into the bin already along with the seven eight of diamonds, which of course is a pretty one. Lonus not going to be going anywhere. Ace ten in the big. Is a customer. Let's see three. Ooh. And by that I just meant cards, not tens. But as we can see, the development delightful for Lonus. Paired flop texture. Things that pocket pairs tend to like. And yeah, Ido bets this. He'll have a bit of a range advantage. Sixes also likes knocking out some over cards, especially of the seven, eight, nine variety that are in many hands that don't really have much interaction with this board, but are over cards to Sergio's hand. Now Lonis with a decision here of whether to slow play or check raise. Maybe with Ace 10, we check raise a bit more often, but the truth is, is that Lonis is a player at this point that I'm very used to making decisions not based on Silicon Overlord. Ty oh, my God. Whoa. Six on the turn. This is a case card, by the way. Cooler for Lonis. Will there be a path to an escape? Obviously, the river will have a lot to do with that. But for the time being, wow, there's a lot of terrain filling his windscreen. I mean, I was commenting that my, my feel for Lonis having comment, commentated on him and played with him some is that he's not a person who makes those decisions based on, like, minor blocker effects. He does it more for, like, game flow and how he's feeling and what he thinks about the other player. So in terms of check raising or not on the flop. But now, I mean, he still has a very big hand. I mean, I know we can see that Jesse's beat, but one of the things he's going to be thinking is, okay, my opponent's betting big. He Maybe he likes his hand. I'm beating every other 10 in the deck. Queen 10, other than Jack King 10. 10. Other than King 10, yes. Yeah, so he never has 6-10. So it's like, other than a full house, my opponent needs to have King 10. Maybe he does or doesn't raise King 10 offsuit, by the way. And we have a 10 ourselves. Right. King's I'm, sixes. The combos are limited. Yeah. So he comes just with call. But the pot is big. And note, by the way, Ido looking over, he knows how big that bet was and how big the call is. In turn, seven of spades, not a car that rates to be of any concern to Sergio, and for that matter, to Jesse either, Rast. SPR, north of one, not by a ton. They play 8.7 effective. How greedy will Ido get? I mean, probably pretty greedy. I mean, one of the things you're thinking at this point is, if my opponent has a 10, I want to win a lot. And he's probably not going to fold that. And, uh, you know, I mean, maybe a king folds to a big bet. King might fold to a medium-sized bet. You know, sixes is a great hand to go greedy with because, like, kings blocks a lot more good hands. But you're not blocking a king. You're not blocking a 10. You know, I mean, I think the standardish type thing here would just be to ask for a pot or, you know, a lot all in, you know, that range. I might be a bit in the weeds here, Rasty, but could Ido look to ask for something less than all 8.7 with the direct intention of emerging as a lone chip leader and keeping lowness intact? with a nub, because we know the setup from that point forward. Yeah, and, and he does, and that's a snap call. I mean, Lonis is going to think he's beating value here because, like, he's beating three tens. What he's not so. beating is six is full as the snap does come in. Yeah. A little lick of the lips I, from I mean, the I, Spaniard. Lonis was going to call anything, though. So he chose a – Lonis was going to call seven million. A little bit forgiving, I think, the sizing yeah. in terms of the five, Rasty. A, a bit more greed, obviously, available. All 8.7 gets called there? 
I don't think Lonis is folding ace 10. So the answer would appear to be yes, as Jesse left with just nine big blinds, courtesy of he might Spanish not mercy. He might not have snapped a sure. seven because he literally called in one second. If he had bet, you know, put them all in, he, he might have thought for a bit longer. But he, like, he certainly calls seven million, and, like, maybe there's some small percent chance he folds for all in. But it's, like, it, it's... It's not big enough like that you're actually losing money on the bet, in my opinion. But, I mean, then again, he had ace-10. I mean, that was a stone cooler. Yeah. You I know, had, like, come on. Let's not. Like, actually, if you think about it in the hand ranking, three tens with an ace-king kicker is the next worst hand behind sixes full of tens. Right. Right. Yes. Six is full of tens is the next best hand. It's a pip. We remove 10-6, of course, just from the okay, equation. Okay, yeah. Remove 10-6. Sorry. But no, no, yeah. no. But, I mean, these yeah. are relevant facts. 10-6 yes. uh, is just not so, a part of the process so, for okay. Ido. So, technically, it's there's two there's one pip between 10-6, but that Ido can't have. Right. Yes. Oops. Correct. Chua. Ace-9. Button open, Ido, defending, feeling swaggy now. Huh? 62 bigs, lone chip leader. Got himself backdoor clubs and bottom pair, more than we can say for Chua's ace nine. Adrian playing it as a check back. 2.3 in the middle, unimproved is the preflop razor. And Sergio, another quick check. <coughs> Same story for Adrian with less pace. Four liner and spades have arrived in the form of a five. Yeah, you know, sometimes in those spots. If I'm Jesse Lanis, listen, obviously it sucks and you're ever, but you kind of like just, sometimes you try to tell yourself things to keep yourself from tilting. You're like, this 3.6 million I have right here, maybe I shouldn't have it. Like my opponent should have got all of it. So I, I'm going to protect this and run it up. Well, I'm going to advise that those of you who have yet to do so, get yourself a GG Poker account. Qualify for the World Series of Poker main, if you will, but also for Triton events. It's the only place where you can take part in official satellites to join us here on the Triton Super High Roller Series. And from April 1st to June 6th, from just a buck, you can maybe live the dream of a World Series of Poker main event champion Dan Wyman reigning king that was a pretty cool WSOP main event FT and kind of uh, ride that we joined Dan Wyman for this year by the way not sure how much if any of it you caught Rasty but no I saw, saw that he won <laughs> yeah y you know something I just realized 10-6 is not between 6 is full 10-6 is 10's full. It's better than 6 is full. <laughs> so, yes, I was correct. Between the ace, 10. Yes. And oh, yeah, you're right. Forgive me. 6 yeah, is yeah, full yeah. is uh, literally the next best hand. I've nuked it. And you're, ace you're 10 absolutely is, right. by the way, and I also just think, like, sometimes I try to be careful in here. I, I, you know what? Maybe it's, like, one in a thousand times he just, like, God tells him he's no good and he folds. <laughs> but he's Divine calling. Intervention. He's just calling. You have ace 10, man. Like, let's yeah. not overthink this. Yeah, and there's 5 million in particular. Yeah. Uh, the speed that the call so. came in with is, you know, the pace that I think many of, of us would have found ourselves making that call with. As we see, Esan Amiri, Jack 6, oh, off right, suit. Right. He's chosen this spot, Rast. Under the gun, about to take a pass through a million worth of blind and ante. Wow. Ido, a three bet from the small with jack four off suit. Help us understand. So, 
He Not saw the sure. under under the gun player went all in, right? And I think he's decided that it's it's only two blinds, and he's got he had one sixth of that out there. Okay, so so that is legal. Well, one Okay. So apparently clarification being sought by the crew here with respect to what a legal three bet was. This is as clicky yeah. as it gets. As you can see, Amiri didn't have enough for the min raise with the 750. But the re-raise of 400,000 on top of that to exactly 1.15 is permissible. In this situation, so Adams ushered out, but go on then, Jack Rasty. Four, so Jack six, he, baby. He's just trying to isolate that player and kick uh, Timothy Adams out of the pot in a spot where, like ace -king versus ace -queen. you know, Adams is going to play kind of tight That's and just like, wrong, I I chop up the equity. I mean, like 750 is not even two big blinds, two. right? Go. It's actually less than the big blind and the ante together by 50,000. So, you know, he's just kind of no. gambling no. against that range. That's not that tight, actually, as you can see. And trying to win the chips in the middle and take advantage of the fact that Timothy Adams is going to play tight because of ICM. Yeah, so ushering Adams in the big out of there, Amiri delighted that he's up against something Let's like go. Jack Four, more so on this particular board where yeah. he's flopped himself a six and leaves Jack Four drawing dead on now. the turn. Ah. <laughs> Threats of you guys in trouble now being issued by Asan. Living the dream. And oddly enough, being on the short stack, you know, when it's really lean, even the double here, six bigs, there's some pressure off of us in a way. The decisions are few. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it saves him from going out. He's Here he is. He's putting in a third of his chips in the very next yeah. hand. So, I mean, it's pressure's right back on. It's not like he has free hands to take off now. Now he's probably immediately going to have a difficult decision a lot of the time in this very next hand in the big blind. And nobody is busted yet. And because of that, it looks like Dvoris is now the shortest stack. He's only three away from the blind. Lanus with an interesting decision to raise. I'll tell you what, that may not, not be chance. the first time those words cross your lips, Rast, as Jesse has given us a lot to chew on on the occasions in which we've observed his procedures. Like at one of our feature tables, the final table here. Look at Amiri, big blind. Defense, ace-jack-5. No interaction. Top pair for Jesse. Yeah, like when you're Jesse, especially with his specific hand, like you don't really want to bring the big blind along with you. You know? Uh, and so maybe, I mean, maybe he didn't want to jam all in, but like putting in half your chips or something, which is like uh, puts yes. the big blind all in, seems like it would have been a better sizing in my opinion. I mean, five more, right? With a hand that I, it, I'm fine that he played, but... Uh, yeah, just min raise didn't make a ton of sense to me. And like, if you are gonna have a portion of your range that min raises, it's. Yeah, I don't know. Easy check fold for Amiri and right back into the doldrums basically be aces and aces only, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> Hold it around to the boss man, Ido. And you can see now the range opening up for clear reasons, Queen Six activates Amiri, Jack Ten offsuit, small blind, 900 back, 200 invested. Yeah, you know, this is like a weird spot because, I mean, you know you're going to have to gamble versus Ido if you put it in, right? There's no folding. 
but you could fold here and you get like seven free hands and in that time every other short stack has to take the blinds so i mean obviously for your chip ev right it's plus ev on the chips but but you get seven free hands and, it, and it's like what are you really going to do with a couple big blinds but if one or two players bust during those seven hands or you know maybe you pick up aces or kings like a lot can go right you can earn some money and i think that's not a raise right 800 1100 that's only 300k it needs to be 400k more to be a raise right So like, so the jam doesn't open the action? I think it doesn't. Although if it's more than half no, but the I minimum four, click, nine, one, is one. it not an action opening move? No, that's like a limit thing. Okay. Yeah, I think in this it has to be at least the amount of the, the difference. Well, but then by that logic would we not in that previous situation where Ido took the jack six, or the jack four. I digress, we focus upon yeah. what we're dealing with now. We'll revisit the jack 10 and all in for Amiri. Main pot complete. The deuce is good currently. Yeah, side pot is dry. And now on the turn, Amiri does pick up the gut shot as action is checked between Theologus and Ido. The two of them checking and on the river. No help for Amiri. I think he knows Jack High is very rarely going to be a winner here. So Alex rolls over bottom pair. And Hassan always had his, had his work cut out for him here. Rasti did enjoy a double, but the jubilation was short-lived. He finishes... In ninth. And in doing so, collects the first of our payouts here in the 25K GG Millions Live, breaking the seal as his third attempt here in Jeju finally yields fruit. Leaves behind eight to do battle. Now the on tap payout, 186,000. The jump to seventh, roughly 67 exactly. 253K, the payout after this. I just can't imagine Daniel playing this hand and there's no other table. If he played it, I feel like I would learn something new about poker because I know he's better at four big blind ICM stuff than me. But yeah, and I just, wow, that would have shocked me. No queen do soft this time. Mr. Lanis, who's, he's dropped back down into the, into the top of the short stacks. I guess <coughs> that's uh, what happens after the, the you lose with trips. I mean, really, one can't find fault. No, not at all. But perhaps we can find activity with ducks. On the puck, and there it is, a jam from Adams. Ooh, Ace four suited for Mosbach, just 2.7. Mercifully, Adams has this hand covered, but is it a hand that Mario wants to go with? He looks up to the heavens, and the time banks plunked out there as he mulls. Yeah, listen, he's already paid his blind. There's two shorter stacks. Devoris with four big blinds is taking the blind next hand. 
and he will be putting in <laughs> a hair over half of his chips into the pot. He's never really a massive equity favorite with ace four suited. So then again, you know, he's not getting the worst price on this, but uh, you know, obviously, again for chips, this this is a call. But his ICM, pretty extreme ICM pressure right here with someone about to take the blinds. I think he ends up folding. Yeah, I, I think I think I think I like that fold. Thanks. I mean, geez, you lock up like. 70k there. going from 8th to 7th. Uh, and there are <laughs> yeah. two Hello stacks shorter than yours, albeit not by a lot, lurking. And that has a lot to do with the choice from Mario. Adams is all right with it. These stacks are literally about to take the blinds. Like, Devoris is taking right. the blind this hand, and uh, Kose is the hand after him. So... Jack-10 off now for Jesse. Contusions on his stack. Wow. The remains of which he is going to put to work, and the wow from you, Rast, comes at the surprise that he's willing to enter battle with this kit. Yeah, like with that many people behind him, he's got a stack with a ton of ICM pressure, but, I mean, it's going to end up working out. Ooh. Hang on. No. The workout is... Devoris is, is, is playing this. Yeah, he, he's not going to wait. Way. He's already got big, big blind Annie invested 750 back. King Jack, well yeah. above the average hand he expects to receive. But he, too, is looking out and thinking, even though he's the shorter stack, maybe somebody else gets involved. No, yeah. all in it comes, obviously. It was ambitious to think that he was going to step away from this thing. And now Lonis, of course, must make the call. So we're going to take a spin. And of course, Jesse dominated in a bad way. Delightful stuff for Devoris is the king-queen eight board, let alone the preflop domination. But hang on. Open-ended is Jesse. And paired as well oh. now on Good this time. turn. But the nine or the ace are chop cards now, courtesy of that arrival. Ten for a clean winner. That would be disaster. Instead, it's a four, and Devoris will double as the okay. unraveling oh, ten. River oh. Ten will be G -G of <laughs> Lonus. Yeah, River Ten will be the proper <laughs> representation continues. of the brand. Yeah. <laughs> and I say that yeah, not I in terms of, you know, I, I don't him like as a player, but just his stack. <laughs> I, I don't like that open. I just I think it's there's you don't have that much flexibility. I mean, it's not really room to outplay people off of twelve blind stacks. You know, like if anyone piles on him, he's out. And I don't think that's you'd have the right blockers if you're trying to get it through. I I yeah. I mean. It's interesting. I mean, I don't, I don't know it, how often Devoris is folding. <laughs> maybe maybe he's thinking that Devoris is actually going to fold quite a few hands, kind of, in order to just take another spin around uh, the table. And so because of that, he likes has a surprising amount of fold equity versus the big blind. Like maybe that's it. And if that's true, oh boy, maybe it's all right. Yeah, this well, is this better is than too much. Right. This is too much hand. Yeah, no, I, I was talking. Sorry, I was still talking about the last. Yeah, hand. I know. Yeah. Aware. And by the way, we love that on completing the thoughts there, Rast, making sure the points are made. I'm just trying to think about what he was doing, you know. But uh, now we have what Timothy Adams is doing, and 
Now, Ido can afford to play Sheriff, but with deuces and this yeah. big a raise, he is not interested. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, deuces, you animal. <laughs> <laughs> I like these guys are comfortable, honest. Oh, yeah. Just chatting. Love to see it. Stays engaged this time with King Force suited. And he's going to be able to do a lot of this here, Rast, for reasons that are quite obvious and mm. that we've touched on on multiple occasions. Yeah, and I mean, he's, he's opening hands, you know. He's putting pressure on. He had the, like queen six off open and the cut off deuces. Sergio is definitely letting it be known that he has the chip lead and he's uh, going for it. You play like seven, no? Yeah, I have seven point four fifty. Yeah, nice enough. Okay. King 10 off suit for Ichinose on the button, just went through the blinds. And he will exhale these vapors forward. Wow. <laughs> Dust. Six do suited, big blind, sitting with just 2.9 back. I mean, it's kind of a, it's like, what do you have to call, 800? Yeah. So he does it. Ichinose had left a tiny bit back. That extra quarter is asked for here. And now we play for 3 million. Meaningful <laughs> pot to both parties, but of course... For Ichinose, far more so as he is at risk, and that risk grows graver. 8-7-5, an open ender for Lonis. Backdoor clubs. Six in the deuce, problematic, and yeah, a little itch of the brow. Nice turn as the heart taking outs off the board. Can Kose hold? Yes, he can. Hits a 10 for good measure and uh, perhaps a little domo arigato gozaimashita. The thought on Kose's mind. I'll, I'll translate that. Thank yeah, you yeah. very much. There it is, Rast. I mean, you know, yeah. you've done enough of the omakase. You walk out, that's normally what they're, <laughs> you know, hitting you with. I have 7.4. Yeah. Unless 7 .4. you forgot to tip, in which case I'm sure it would be a very different statement. <laughs> One that I probably uh, wouldn't be able to translate. <laughs> put our hand probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty important. Yeah, yeah of course. Thank you. So... Lonis sustains yet another blow. Adams looking to dish out, perhaps with a saint. No, nope. so let it go. Yeah, directly under the gun, Maybe and of course, else. keenly aware of the multitude of shorties beneath him, of which there are four. A lot of ladders, a lot of cashish to be earned.
Wow. Chua, you, you have a lot of chips. Queen nine suited on the button? But maybe not a lot of initiative for the reasons that I just discussed, Rasty. You know, I hear where you're coming from, but doesn't show chess some yeah. people maybe Weird. that ICM is just crippling spots yeah. such as this. No, I, I, yes. I'm no, with you, it. though. Everybody's I got different yeah. prerogatives. Maybe Definitively, because it's kind of yeah. that, that hand isn't open. Point. Definitively, yeah, on the button. I mean, uh, he's I'm got he's second in chips. I know it's the chip leaders week blind, but. Está mal la, la yeah. en la aplicación, una mano que me metieron. En... Excuse me. Um, okay. Some of the stacks are quite a bit off in the app. Some of the stacks are quite a bit off in the app. Yeah. So if we could, yeah. Thank you. Well, let's get the stacks right. No, not mine. Just him. Let's get these tens going. Oh, they're they're gonna be going. You know that tens are sometimes called walking sticks. Is that? I believe. They're I gonna feel be. like I've heard that. Although, is it just? Ooh. We we look at them and we think the one is a stick and the and the zero. Anyway, Ichinose just doubled. And two red sevens in the hijack. He does cover ever so slightly, but even he has to be aware. Of all the ICM, you see him leaning over, looking around at the stacks, using a time bank grass. Situational awareness, oh so key. I'll say I don't. I, this one I don't know definitively. I, I do know that one of the things the Silicon Overlords taught me in these ICM spots is like middle pairs go down a lot in value. So, you know, how many pairs smaller than this is Devora shoving here? Like, mm, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe not too many. Like, maybe this is a fold, actually. Like, let's keep surviving. I don't know. I, this one I'm not definitive on, though. Uh, you know what? Nancy Reagan in the chat, not the Nancy Reagan, oh, I would oh, imagine. Oh, I, I think she's RIPs. <laughs> but steps in to say that the sevens are actually oh, the, the, sevens walking the walking sticks, not the tens. And now it makes a lot of sense. But those sevens do walk their way right into the muck, and well served was Kose to find that fold to the delight of the Japanese delegation in the chat. Of course, Ido, hard eight. I think I like that fold. I think it's a good fold. I, I mean, ICM factors have a lot to do with, yeah. you know, your affinity for it, and I think mine, and in turn, the lack of affinity for the sevens on display from Kose. Ido, of course, very different circumstances, can well afford to take the spin with yeah, Devoris. Daniel poised to haul in 6.2 here. Ace King five. And the poise continues. Robust rail here looking on. You see. Nacho Barbero, Adrian Mateos, Fedor holds. Ooh. Hang on. A duckling presents further issues for the two tens in the form of threes on this river. One less card, but triple the outs. Safety. Has a cozy eight of clubs. Uh, never a concern, by the way, on the face of Dvoris. Look at him. He's like, come on, guys, be serious. For Ido, flesh wound. Jan Zarenz and uh, Peter Ertz also back there on the rail. Shout outs to them. Do I look <laughs> like a man beaten by fours? <laughs> Thank you. I'll tell you what, I love to see the oh, support, that? by the way. You know, guys have been out there playing the mystery okay? bounty. Day one of that elsewhere in the room. And, you know, wrapping th things up by paying a visit. Yeah. Maybe even buying a piece. If you know what I mean, obviously at this point, such things unavailable, but 
go on and pay our folks over at Poker Stake, the exclusive staking partners of the Triton Super High Roller Series, a visit. Why, you might ask? Well, because free of rake or transaction fees and with guaranteed winnings, you can get a taste of your favorite Triton player, a real sweat. Not unlike the one that Rasty was enjoying earlier in the lobby during the UFC card. Uh, you did stop I mean, by. That was it is, okay, it now was they intense that was is what it was. That was a I great card. Okay. Okay. Two as, nine, UFC you know, 299. They, as, they put one good one together. As a man who... Now I have five lines. Huh? And I mean now this, I have five lines. <laughs> only has ever placed one sports bet <laughs> in his yet, life, and it was wow. just Thank to you. pick up a bonus Cheers. at like Resorts World one time. Parlayed the Niners in the over, you know, Bay Area. But not in the Super Bowl, by the way. Uh, for me, it's always cool to kind of sit around and see guys that have real, you know, exposure. Showman there. Jaffe, not sure if Jaffe had a taste, but he's a fan of the combat sports as well. As we march on here, eight intact of our original nine. Only Amiri dispensed. That was a big pickup for Dvoris, by the way. Let's not sleep on the fact that he has really put runway between himself and what are now three shorties. Yeah, him and Adams have, have both done that. Yeah. It's Ido continuing the abuse for reasons that are understandable, trying to throw the ICM shackles. A finger wag from the big blind of Theologius with 10-9, which is a delightful holding on the 976 board. Top pair gutter. Ido open ended. No diamond in hand. 2-2 two, two in the middle. Wow, he's coming with a pretty big size here, 1.6 into 2.2. I mean, that's like uh, basically three quarters pot. So, wet, pretty wet board, a lot of draws, and Alex's hand is much too strong to go anywhere. But Ido, Ido has a reasonably pure draw here. 10 or five. Pretty clean, although somewhat obvious outs as they make a one card straight on the board. So 1.6 ahead as we head to the turn. Another diamond out there, but it gives Ido the lead with top pair. Alex, the only flush draw. 5.4 in there. Second check in front of Sergio. Darts the eyes up at Alex. Yeah, the queen sort of deceptively good card for Sergio. A bit mucked up by the fact that it's a diamond. And now, obviously, flushes are all possible. So, kind of lowers the fact that he has a pair of queens a bit in oh, value. Oh, the check back. And now, Theologius back in front with tens and nines. Four liner on board. As I'd, oh, forgive me. <sighs> Tens and nines, a problem, of course. I'm asleep at the wheel. Ido making the straight, Rasty. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Alex is thinking, but I wonder how much value you can really get out of two pair here. Even tens up. Feels pretty likely to check and decide versus the sizing. I mean, maybe he comes with, you know, 10% pot or something. Block? Yeah, block. I, I can't see anything 1 .1. bigger than a block. 1.1, 1 .1, not quite 10%, a so little more. It's about 20 which is, I mean, 20% is a is a block. It's like the larger size of the block, but it's kind of right around there. No, by the way, I don't just shaking his head here, but obviously a fold doesn't feel like it's ever an option. And Why are you sad? Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
I was pretty sure. <laughs> no, uh, Alex well, feels uh, a little nit rolled there. Because you didn't bet more, yeah. but you, knew you couldn't raise. Yes, exactly. That's what I was going to say. What Dvoris just said it. I, you were talking in this, so I didn't want to interrupt you. I wanted to be the guy to say it first uh, okay. for the stream because I knew the answer. Yeah. He's not sad because he's going to fold. He's sad because, oh, oh, God damn it, as I Will was free. saying in the stream before, <laughs> the price got set. The yeah. price got set, You're yeah, like, yeah 20%. Yeah, and and he's yeah. like, like okay, I think my hand is good, yeah. but I don't think I can raise, so I guess I just have to pay this price and win this price most of the time instead of if he checked, he would have bet more than 20%. Pessimistic. Yes. That's exactly it. But, uh, yeah. That's why it wasn't it wasn't sadness per se. It was like a like a kind of acknowledged knowing little annoyance maybe. Annoyance is the right the right word. Alex Ooh. ripping into Mario, who is dominating with the King Seven. Digs in. It looks like Alex is sweating this one along with the rest of the table. Did he? Did he look? How am I dominated? <laughs> <laughs> Like this is a happy one, you know? <laughs> yeah, of course. You're just like, you're like, oh. <laughs> Guess who the rest of the table's rooting for? Rast? Yeah, I, I, I think I can figure it out. <laughs> 4.6 million chip pot. One heart on board. One hook, all Ooh, it would take. <laughs> We're getting there. Now two hearts on board. Wow. Flush draw. Added to the jack outs. Threats to Mozbox King High. And a safe river. Ooh. And Mario's going nowhere. He gave a pretty deep breath there, it felt like, though. Yeah, Sigh of relief. Come on. Yeah, the turn was a little anxiety inducing. If right. Shout out, by the way, to Kenny Shum in the chat. Has written, sleeping, can't keep eyes open. Now, that is something, Kenny, that I can relate to. Some might be wondering why it was that we didn't come back to the desk after that last break. Well, allow me to advise that producer James Dempsey had to ring yours truly up <sighs> frantically as it's been a long day for me, wrapped it up. Last night, late, early in the morning here, I was up. Thought maybe let me lay down, close my eyes, and uh, that was a bad idea. Slept straight through the alarm. But thankfully, Ever the Pro knew what was up, gave me a call, ran down, made it in here for some of those intros and uh, apologies. But we're here. Yeah. A couple interesting thoughts. One would be looking at the chip stacks. There's been a big change at the top. It's no longer a group of stacks at the top. It's Sergio clearly in first, Adrian clearly in second, Alex clearly in third. And then the second thought is going to be, you know, maybe Sergio could have raised that hand, but, you know, he didn't. Anyways. Well, Ichinose certainly could raise this one under the gun, about to go through these blinds, which now cost you one and a quarter. Yeah, and I don't, I, I don't blame him for this at all because now he's about to get the blinds. He's the second shortest stack, and uh, he's got to find a way to win some chips. I like the fact that it's the two million. So if a few he's people a go all in behind him, maybe he folds. Type of deal. 
this this seems like a solid, sensible play. One more. Not a One solid more. hand, One though. One behind, exactly. Uh, and a 50. 10 6 offsuit, half a million invested, 5 2 back, and still more in the tank for Kose, so it all comes yeah. together to usher Daniel towards the muck, and this orbit will be brought to you by that fold. Do they give more time? Max? For Kose. Pardon? Do, do they give more time? I don't think so. Not at all. And you just get them at the start Jesse Lanis does not love to see it. The last level of the day. Because that or big blind is. Coming around for him he shortly. If we still have seven remaining, luck. seven remaining at this level, we still gonna pay down to six. We not over still. We still pay down yeah. to six. Yeah. yeah. So That's minimum down to six or the last four. Okay. Okay. So we okay, so seven. it looks like Luca Vivaldi has so stepped we, into a box that we're not. If at the end of 14 hands, it's still Hang eight. On. We're done. We could be done. No. Oh, my God. Us. Minimum. Anyway, both uh, minimum. Uh, sorry, sorry. Minimum six plays uh, minimum. Minimum. Yeah. Ah, okay. Can be five. Three people both two. Can be five. next two hands, you're down to six. We're still playing till the end of the Okay, okay. 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 Till six or? Okay. You know, it's still six or at the end of the level. No. No. Definitely six. Okay. Can be five or? When you're done to six, I I'm confused. We play right. more. Or at the end of the level, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So they're not, we're not finishing today. That would appear to be the case. Local time at present, 12.20 in the morning. And Luca has explained in slightly confusing fashion for yours truly, I don't fault Luca. Adams was really jockeying, it felt like, to play 14 hands or six, but as everybody pointed out, who understood exactly what Luca was alluding to, we will play down to a minimum of six players. But if somehow we lost multiple players, we're going to play the full 14 hands. Unlikely, I would say, that we lose three players, but multiple shorties do linger. Chua, no patrons with his ace-king. Adrian, part of a scant Singaporean delegation. You've been down to uh, Singapore, Rasty? I haven't, although I am an enjoyer of their airlines. Oh, yes. But uh, SQ, delightful. I'll tell you this from having been on a few occasions. You know that pool at the top? of those three towers, right? The Marina Bay Sands. Very famous Instagram bait kind of thing. No. Okay. It's right kind of where the Formula One race happens over there by the gardens as well. You know, just kind of a popular destination. Trying to get yourself up to that pool deck. If you don't have a room key, dudes have broken out of prison more simply. I can assure you that. <laughs> they keep it tight up there. But it is a beautiful vantage point to look out upon Singapore, which is a, a wonderful place, by the way. Clean, safe. About five? 4.95. An ace eight. Feeling safe enough to jam for five Jeez. million. And here is the Singaporean Chua with <laughs> ace seven, 17 four back. He does make the call, pipped. <coughs> I'm supposed to call that right. Yeah. Yeah. Rast, can we let him off the hook? Is this a call for 495 off of his stack? I mean, button BB? In theory, it might be Button BB, it's, I mean, it's definitely a call for chips. Right, at but this ICM? Place with the ICM, this, and what that does to Divorce's range. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not sure. 60% of the time, they'll chop on this Ace Jack 9 board. Now, only 50%. 
50% of the time after the four arrives. Seven would be a clean winner looking for a chop card and instead the river gives Devoris aces up and a big bite out of Adrian's tokens. Yeah. 4.95, right? Yeah. 4.95. Hmm. I gotta look that up. Well, you better use ICM when you look it up, because I can tell you the answer if you're not using ICM is it's a call. Right. Yeah. But obviously not using ICM would be deeply but irresponsible in a scenario such as this. Uh, yeah, I, I think the thing is Dvoris is going to be shoving pretty tight there, actually. It's possible it's tight enough to turn it into a fold. Keeping an eye on this chat in between hands here, VM44 saying high quality live streams content with the diamonds hands emoji best way to show us the love not just by taking to the keyboard but by taking to the like button and the subscribe button that is all we ask of you and in exchange we work to deliver the finest in streaming poker entertainment here at the triton super high roller series do yourself a favor by the way that subscribe button make sure that you don't miss anything that we have on offer and that which the deck has on offer for Adams, Ace Four suited up front. And yeah, this hand Lanus took the big blind, so The shortest stack in the big blind. All in. Oh, wow. He's just ripping. So after He's behind him. Oh. Tim Adams declined, Devoris off of what is now an eight-figure stack says the two little words. And on the topic of little, 875 back and a six high that is dominated. This is dire for Jesse. Jesse trying to work out what hands Daniel would do this with. Decided, despite the fact he's getting a good price, doesn't yeah. like what that means. I mean, that is such a painful pot to step away from. Well served to do it in terms of the holdings that we took a look at. And how about this? Double trophies here in the GG Millions Live. Not only do you grab the Triton Trident, but also that gold bar with, I love that GG Millions trophy. Yeah, it's a nice piece of hardware. Right? Keeping the trophy case. You got a favorite trophy in your guys. case, Rast? I know you got plenty of decorations. Um. Yeah, probably. Well, I mean, definitely the nicest stuff I got was uh, for the Super High Roller Bowl. I won the first Super High Roller Bowl. Unfortunately... Uh, my son Krishna was throwing a ball in the house one time and actually knocked the trophy down and it broke and some glass, I don't know, someone, we took it somewhere in Vegas to a couple places and they said they couldn't fix it. But, so I don't know if that one, but the other thing I got from them, the ring. Uh, yeah, of course. It's like a big diamond ring. Um, it's definitely nicer than like oh. the bracelets. Definitely yes, nicer than 6-5 offsuit is the big diamond. Oh, aces. Ace <laughs> coupled with a spade <laughs> ace for Jesse Lonis and wakes up with it here. I know. So he just folded <laughs> and rewarded for his patience yeah. immediately. There you go. And let's see if he can hold. Looking Ooh. good. That's a nice flop. It's just over. 
Rasty, you mid yawn out of there? I not did, much. Yeah, buddy. I know. <laughs> well, listen, I did get the cat nap and missed the call it's time, so it's not like I have much <laughs> to say on that front. Uh, by the way, is it bad luck to break a trophy? I mean, I, I'm just obviously things have gone all right since the breakage for you. But no one else wanted to find money. <laughs> I like that you tried to repair it. Maybe give the the folks over at Poker Girl a shout. Find out where they had it made. And and ask for them, but I looked at them. You know, <laughs> another. And I'm like, all right, someone raise. <laughs> Can I pick out what? Uh, what I'll, I'll take my chance. <laughs> in my knowledge of what's in your, you know, case, figured with is my one and a half favorite thing, no which is you know <laughs> something that is like a bow down accomplishment. Those three poker players championship victories, Rasty, as yeah. a mixed game player myself. I mean, <laughs> goaded, my friend. Yeah. I Deep admiration thank for that you. accomplishment. Thank you. Yeah, it's. I, I love that tournament. It I mean, seems to love you, too. <laughs> as, a, as a mixed game player, it's, it's hard not to like it, right? Five days. Uh, usually, I mean, maybe the tournament gets like 100 people-ish, right? Right. You know, I mean, here we're playing couple hundred 200 100 whatever normally a triton and they're they're two dayers so yeah, like so much game. play in it yeah and uh I've as a you know oh mixed game player just all the main oh games oh my. and also like games now really it's a bit of a petting zoo in terms of the sheer volume of goats <laughs> that are in the field i mean yeah. you win that one it is earned not given irrefutably yeah, I mean, you know, I listen, I'm at the end of the day, I'm just grateful uh that that happened. I mean, three times is is, you know, I'm I'm very happy with how I play mixed games, but uh no doubt I got my fair share my more than my fair share of good luck in order to win it three times. Hey, listen, yeah. no shame in it. Everybody sitting at this final table that we're bearing witness to probably had some moments that we didn't feast our eyes on where they took the worst of it. You know, hit or I mean a low equity spot. You know, <coughs> taking it, the it best happens. or worst. I, I I don't mean that. Like even if you have, let's say even you you manage to have the best of it, and no nobody does. But like every time, I mean you're right. You're Card still, racking. You're still not a favorite to like get to the end of a hundred person tournament and like get all the chips. Right. The parlay. You know? I mean, it's just the things have to work out. But um, I mean, it, it's a really good format for me. It's like most cash game player. I mean, most mixed players are not really tournament players, especially you know traditionally. Most mixed players are, are cash game players, and so I, I have quite a bit of tournament experience, you know. And obviously, No Limit was my first game. I, it's just, yeah, I don't know. Good tournament, love it. Comes around every year. I mean, you know what? We're not that far away from the three World Series again this year. Three. It's three. only in like three months. Yeah. yeah. Time does fly, and so does most of Ichinose's chips into the middle. Queen 10 suited. That which is responsible. Solid hand, worthy shove. It's 3 million, yeah. Got to find your spots to keep winning chips. Yep. And we can see it got Alex on it. Did unwilling to defend the blind yeah. with the king nine there, one, two, which makes sense. 4.3. Four uh, okay. Shouldn't actually perform very well against his There's shoving range. Rast, you know how they grade Wagyu? Yeah. If they did the same for leather, <coughs> that is an A5 jacket Love right more. there. On Ichinose, I kind of touched on the supple briefly one, last time I laid eyes on it, but. You know what I mean? Like that's uh that's lamb. Not yet. That, that's I'm kind of kind of into the jacket, Ras. What do you want me to say? That's an A five. Like it's a high quality leather. leather jacket. Yeah. Yeah. No, it looks nice. Oh yeah. Shout out Maria Ho who has joined us in the chat. There she Welcome, is. madam. Just waking up in Vegas, she says. How oh, happy he is. <laughs> I put Maria to task. She was over in Europe recently yeah. in Paris. Immediately shot her a note and was like, listen, can you pay a visit to Christian Dior? There's a little hoodie I want to save the tax on. 
I just realized as I said that both how pretentious and how nitty that is. <laughs> but now that it's into the ether, I can't recant. <laughs> so there it is. I wanted the 12% back on the Dior hoodie. Meanwhile, You managed to I touch don't. both of those pretentious <laughs> and nitty in the same. <laughs> Only you, Ali. I'm you're, owning you're it, special, my friend. You're a special <laughs> cat. Eights in the small. Alex rips and takes it down. And Sergio's still at the top with 25 million, but the, that clump has reformed there with uh, Adrian, Alex, and Daniel Devores, all around 12 million, separated again from the shorter stacks. Timothy Adams, 5 million, Jose, 4, Mario, 3, and Juanes, 2. Roughly. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, yeah, it seems like the shorter stacks are just managing to stay alive. Hands keep going by. Nobody's busting. Shorties double. Or don't get called. Queen nine suited. Adams. Gingerly depositing a couple of orange discs forward for a min raise. Eight five for Devoris. Too weak no to thanks. defend. Yeah. Yeah. And again, ICM factors. Yeah, against somebody who has a stronger than normal range. Through the years with, you know, all of the moments that maybe, you know, you pick up a big score, that you could indulge yourself in maybe something rasty, what's the biggest blast, punty sort of thing you've ever done with, like, some of a win or, or a big cash? Something jump out at you? I mean, the, the biggest thing I ever bought was my uh, Tesla Model S. Definitely, yeah. I mean, you know, so whatever. I don't know if that's a punt, thousand. though. You know what I mean? It's just a, a good car. You love it. Yeah. You know? I mean, nothing wrong with that. I don't know. It always it feels punty spending more than 100 k on a car. Like, it just... I, I can assure you it yeah. doesn't rest. <laughs> For some of us. <laughs> so. Yet again, I... I deeply... How much is it? Alienate myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mosbach, 3.1... From the button, an ace. Divorce looking on, queen seven suited. No, but you never just like went out to Omnia or Pure back in the day, whatever it was, and just was like, guys, bottles. Oh, uh, here's 20 dimes, thanks. No, I never like, dropped 20K. I never. I, never. I mean, I, you know, there was a period of time where I went out a lot and, you know, you and Antonio left your mark on Sin yeah. City for a moment. Yeah, the cumulative amount added up to a lot, but right, I never did. Yeah, you, you never did like 20k in a night, just like incinerating. You know, it's just slow burn. Okay, there it is. It's a slow burn of a fire okay. that never went out for a while. <laughs> but you got to just keep adding fuel to the fire. You don't just douse kerosene on it and just do it all in one day. Yeah, you know, I like it. <coughs> Keep the leak slow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now then, it's Ichinose. more comfy that way. Sure. You don't feel it, right? Yeah. Jose feeling it. And by that, I mean the pressure of the ICM cage, which has enveloped some of the remaining eight here and count Ichinose among those. He lets it go. Yeah. See, not, there's not that much incentive to call, you know? Yes, and people have strong hands, and uh, you're putting yourself at risk here. You want to have the goods when you call. You know, he's 
looking over there at Jesse. Two to his left. And just saying, you're going to have to find a W. <laughs> In a pot. Ooh, under the gun, must fold. 5-3 off. He's back Surely, with the big blind. you know, we feel like we can pick up something a little bit better than that in the big next hand. Ido pouncing with the ace four offsuit. Reasons obvious in terms of the ICM shackling. Adams, a lot of hand here, 6.5, king, queen. But if this does find the bin, Rast, which is that a possibility? We would know why. Well, he's not calling. He's either going to three bet or fold. Where's and yeah, it looks like he's coming with three bet. Okay. Is fold an option with a hand such as that, or we look over at Ido and we just think, I know that you're going to be wide here? No, you, you can, yeah, fold or three bet are both pretty reasonable options. Okay. Ichinose now, pocket threes, no yeah. thank you. Okay. And I, I mean, I feel like Ido seems like you just let this one go. We can see, actually, if he moves all in, I... <laughs> He's not behind, and Adams probably folds. But yeah, he has he has a dusty hand. So very clicky sizing, and yeah, Sergio doesn't want to tussle. You know, you know what I was rooting for there, right? The Ido just all in. <laughs> and then you just I see feel the like deflation on the king queen. The only person at this table who I feel like does that would be like Lanis. Because Lanis, like, here's the thing. You meaning if he were in Ido's yes. circumstance? Yes, because, listen, the, you know, the Silicon Overlord, he's like only doing it there with like Ace 5 suited and like maybe Ace 4 with like a smattering of frequency along with the good hands of this. And that was an offsuit combo. You can't do it. But Lanis sometimes is like. I don't care, man. I'm the American gangster. I have an ace. What's the difference if it's suited or not? We're talking about a couple percents. We just we just go by feels. I don't know Jesse well, nor do I think that this is an issue of emotional regulation. But he just strikes me, you know, hypothetically as the kind of guy, if the solver spits out something he's not into, he'll just put his fist through the screen or rip yeah. the power cord out yeah. and proceed as planned. He might not even be... In that class, he's like, I'm not part of that class. I go to the beat of my own drummer. It's not a Silicon Overlord. Right. I'm my own Overlord. I don't have a master other than me. I'm truly free, unlike you guys. Well, listen, what he doesn't have is a lot of hand here. Six, three, suited. Slightly better than the five, three off before it, but not by the amount that he would have hoped. Stavoris clicks from the cutoff with the ace five. And you might feel slightly obligated to, I mean, because folding this is really grim. So he's maybe thinking, let's see if I hit something on the flop, a pair, a flush draw, straight draw, anything. I fold, I can see some more hands, but this is so many of my chips in the pot. It's a dicey spot. These are the unenviable spots when you're at like a, yeah, he folds, but it's just, it's so gross, Dude, right? This sucks. I mean, the pain. <laughs> it's painful. There's nothing painful than being like really short on Ugh. chips and just like losing 40% of your chips to the big blind and Annie. I mean, that's painful. That it is. And having to fold. Well, making things less painful in terms of decision making at a final table or elsewhere are the folks over at GTO Wizard. Imagine having the insights you need to make optimal decisions in high pressure situations. The GT Wizard AI allows you to study those niche spots and review your play using the exact bet sizes from hands that you played as you plug them in. It's the perfect tool to prepare yourself for critical moments. Check it out now at gtowizard.com. Queen 
Jack. Fold it. Okay. Devoris with a suited ace here in the hijack. It's a pretty, pretty good hand. It's the chip leader's big blind. Some short stacks between. He decides it's it's enough. It's enough to come. And he's picking a pretty big size. 1.3. How awkward is this for Kose? I mean, it's pretty awkward. You know you're getting called. How's my hand performing? I mean, Lana's just folded, so Lana's can see a whole round of free hands. So, yeah, he goes with this. And it's totally reasonable because you got to remember, wow. Oh, as reasonable as it might be. And Rast, I know you pulled up lane on completing the thought, but Chua has awakened to two queens on the button. Problems, clearly, for Kose, momentarily. Yeah, I mean, things like this are Probably. always part of oh. the reason why it's dangerous to put your chips in the pot because something like this can happen. It's not just the guy that opened, but there's three other players behind him who can all wake up with big hands. And that it is what it is, but I, imagine a I world like in which Lonis gets to ladder here off of the crumbs. It's yeah. very possible as Chua covers Ichinose, 8.65 million chip pot. Kose begging not to be showered here. It would be such a disaster. Divorce out of the way, of course, 864. And that flop, not a helpful one. Needle needed. 10 now would do the trick as well as two extra outs are gained, but obviously a flickering light on the porch of Kose. Can he hit? No. The queens showering Ichinose here and providing the ladder so unexpectedly to Jesse Lonis as Kose will be left to collect $186,000. Hats off to him. Ace 10, ultimately, played as the three bet over the top of Devoris. That which led to his demise, aided of course by Queens behind him. And so Jesse, Gets to lock up 253,000 and take a swing at the next now ladder, die, so be it. which is 92K. I, I, like I mean, it. if the Queens <laughs> isn't, oh, you know, found in one of those three hands behind him, yeah, he moves all in, right? Devoris calls, yeah. and yeah, he doubles. So we don't look at the outcome as Very something that becomes a teachable moment as to why the Ace 10 shouldn't have done that, or? Yeah, no. You know, I mean, it, it's a complicated question with a lot of kind of math and theory and whatever. But, um, yeah, just, just saying, oh, he lost, it, it had to have been bad. The guy, you know, this guy woke up with queens. It's definitely not the right way to approach it. It's, it's, it's possible the opening could have been theoretically incorrect, but it's not because, you know, he lost, right? That, that's the wrong way to parse it, what you're getting at. That, that's being results-oriented. Yeah. And, and there's way too much luck in poker to be results oriented and use that to evaluate decisions. Five and Timothy playing kind of snug there in his big blind, deciding he's gonna preserve chips and not play contested pots as much, if possible. He'd prefer mm, to mm, open mm, to win four, chips five, or six. move all in over the top and I can conserve count. his chips and limit his contested pot playing, defending the big blind against strong ranges. Listen, nobody wants to have what just happened to Ichinose happen to them with Lonis still lurking. Yeah. Crumbs. Two blinds. I mean, in, in 
if he does not go all in, he will be forced to go all in in a, you know, a small number of hands when he hits the big blind again. I think he's in the cutoff, so whatever that is. This and three more hands. All in. Jesse finally finds one. Wow. It's like nine within or reason. It's like nine hundred or oh. way like more, way more. One million. <laughs> and this one feels million. unfair. Yeah, it's like a million. Exactly. Just to Ace make sure queen. I don't. <laughs> it's a million. It's a million. It's a million. Yeah. Okay. I only looked. Yeah, one million. I only looked at one. one I didn't million. look at any. Oh, theologians in oh, the oh, dark. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't look at any. <laughs> Sympathizing with Jesse's plight against the dark defense. The A6 should certainly be performing better against any two. But as it were, is dominated with just 24% in a 2.75 million chip pot. Can he find the six? Nobody may be able to visit the carving station on the paired board. Ten would do it for the time being. Oh, clean winner now. We only need to fade the queen, obviously. Nobody loves seeing that card other than Jesse. I think I detected a little eyebrow raise underneath those glasses when that came out. That perked his attention up right away, and he's not out in seventh. <laughs> uh, so it's one more. One Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jesse looks nine, like he was an extra in the movie Super Troopers with those shades on. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, yeah. I could see a, you know. That was a funny movie. Some Highway Patrol action. That was a funny movie. Very funny. I, I don't. I don't know. Out. No, I would. <laughs> well, he's going to yeah, double yeah. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm fine to play. I just thought Lucas said we're going on break or That's something. That's because it was decided that was going to be. So I, okay. I yeah, we're yeah. playing down to six before we, they quit or we and we with them. Yeah, right? but, but as you can yeah, see, Rast, we're never going to get to six. Minutes. No, no. <laughs> shorts that cannot bust. It's okay. that that rule. Yeah, five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. Okay. okay. When everyone gets five back. minute break. All right. So tomorrow, right? Okay. So then, just a quick pit stop. About a five minute break, we're being told, is what the players will be taking here. It is scheduled, so the blinds will be going up to 300, 600,000. Warden of this ICM penitentiary, currently Sergio Ido. Vice Warden, Adrian Chua, with 31 bigs. You see the middling cluster, and then Mosbach, obviously, perhaps the most annoyed by the resilience of Jesse Lonis, who very improbably outlasted Kose Ichinose on what has been a very clinical final table and one that really allows us to sink our teeth into the very apparent, uh, you know, implications of, of ICM, Rast. Certainly. And, I, you know, clinical also in the sense of if you kind of wanted to maybe study some short stack spots, there's mm. been a bunch of difficult ones that have come up so far, like the A7 call or not that I believe uh, Chua made earlier. Just just a lot of really technical little spots. Um, you know, it, it's there hasn't been a lot of post-flop play, right? Right. But uh, a lot of interesting post-flop spots, you know, weird things where multiple short stacks, a lot of ICM pressure, oftentimes multiple big stacks, you know, who now, what's the game they're playing, the jockeying for pull position. So, you know, a lot of games within games within games. Yeah, no question about it. And, you know, in terms of that, as I look at the chip leaders right now, if you're not Ido or Chua, and you're not Mosbach or Lonis, but you're the three in between, I'm talking specifically about Devoris, about Theologus. Uh, we'll get you there in the app just momentarily. Allow me. And Timothy Adams. Right, Adam's there as well. Here we go. We can take the uh, the Triton Poker Plus app and, and take a peek at this. Average stack, 11 million, 22 bigs. But if you're not those top two or those bottom two, you really don't have a lot of reasons to be getting in the mix, do you? Yeah, well, you have some, but yeah, you got to be careful. 
And, and I think you've seen that. I mean, there were a few pretty good hands that, for example, Timothy Adams has been there quite a bit in the middle. You know, he's mucked some pretty open mucks, some pretty good hands. Like I think ace eight of diamonds when he was under the gun and a few other hands like that. You just need to be careful, right? Because your stack is very vulnerable. Like if you open, you know, you're supposed to fold a lot of things to three bets, like right. most of it. So it's like if you are opening a lot of that weak stuff, right? Your opponents can attack it. So, you know, if they, a lot of this is what you're doing and then what your opponents think you're doing, right? Because if they think or know that you're now opening a lot of weak stuff, you have to fold to three bets, they can just mercilessly attack you. They don't anticipate, though, that any opens coming from those three in particular, and I'm talking specifically about the two big stacks, yeah. are going to be attached to questionable kit. But even when it isn't, the sheer pressure that can be applied by those two big stacks with the presence of Mosbach and Lonis, seven and five bigs, I think it is at present, uh, you know, I mean, that is something that needs to be deeply respected. Or it wouldn't even be just the big stacks that can pressure them. Imagine this situation, like one of them opens the min raise and one of the shorter stacks has like nine blinds or something reshoves on them. I mean, if they have like ace three offsuit or something like they're not going to call that right so you know the the pressure can be applied by short stacks as well it could be applied by anyone who if they knew that they were opening too many weak hands yeah. that's why it becomes like what you what you're doing what you're supposed to do what your opponents think you're doing it's all kind of like different layers of a game of like information reading partial information you know what you're how you're really playing, how you're being perceived to be playing, etc. Right. Yeah, the sheer volume of variables can be yeah. a bit overwhelming, even yeah. for the best at times. So then, Rast and I are going to step aside ever so briefly, but don't you dare go anywhere. You've come this far with us. We're going to play down to six here in the GG Millions Live when we come back. Welcome to the Daily Dose of GTO Quiz of the Day. You're playing an 8-max MTT, 25 big blinds deep. It's a button versus big blind single raise pot, and you're facing an 83% c-bet on jack 7-3 rainbow. Which of these hands should you consider folding? 6-5, king-queen, 7-4, or king-3? Find the answer in the Daily Dose of GTO, our free ebook designed to help you master GTO poker in just five minutes per day. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top-up, up, up to $250. Become a part of BetACR.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience.
Just Seize the Wonder. 제주 신화 월드. No, I'm good. I'm good, buddy. I mean, how long do you think it's going to take as you look at these chip counts before <laughs> we get down to six? You think it's going to be quick? You I know? mean, I definitely don't think it's going to be Red Bull long. <laughs> That's like, what? We, is this going to go to like 9 a.m.? Let you me know? tell you something. If I took a couple swigs of this, I'm going to the <laughs> ceiling. That's how susceptible I am to the caffeinations yeah. here. Uh, let's take a quick glimpse then. 300, 600, what we're going back to. Chip leader Sergio Ido joined by Adrian Chua up at the top. The shorties are Mario Mosbach and Jesse Lonas as we throw it right back into the arena. Chip counts forthcoming that I was just touching upon. There they are. The dearly departed, Esan Amiri of Australia, Kose Ichinose of Japan, 152 and 186 respectively, pocketed for their efforts. That glimpse brought to you by betacr.eu. On tap payout, 253,000, improbably locked up by Jesse Lonis, who was considerably shorter than all others when Ichinose's ace 10 was felled by Queens for Chua. 345 is the next jump up to six. Now Chua, pocket threes, the beneficiary of that exchange with Ichinose. All in? 2.8 or 2.7. Lonis ripping it in here from the I-Jack with the A7. Listen, he dodged a bullet with A6 against Ace Queen prior to the break, managed to find a double. Dire straits once again upon his hands here. Ido with slick. Yeah, just unfortunate. I mean, you know, he has four and a half blinds. Pretty good spot, all things considered, in the hijack. And uh, just runs into it. I mean, like... Ooh, this hasn't been happening that much at this final table, but uh, it happens seems like the short stacks were just getting it through, getting it through. Finally, Lonis kind of ran into it last hand. A6 to ace queen, hit the six. Can you do it again? Well, the flop will bring it into focus. Queen 5-4. Lonis has diamond coverage. Walking stick, the immediate need. Uh-oh, board pairs. Don't make me say the obvious. Five or a four. Chop for the opportunities. Chop. Mm -hmm. Seven million chip pot. Can he fade again? No. A wrap at the table, but I think Jesse can be quite pleased here with this outcome. Can you come back tomorrow? Rast, you agree? You know, we don't we, I don't know. We don't resolve you know, Listen, he did have a lot of chips. At the beginning of the final table, okay, if fair, I remember, fair. right? Like, but once he got down to fumes, yes, I would say that the idea of pocketing the pay jump between eighth and seventh, which was a not at all insignificant sixty-seven thousand dollars, will be met with pleasure. Just a quarter million and change, though, will be the ultimate outcome for Jesse Lonis as the bags are distributed. Those will be your final six when we return tomorrow to put a bow on the 25K GG Millions and crown a champ. 300, 600 will be the level. It's a good thing, Rasty, that, uh, that you didn't hit the Red Bull. Yeah, because how that. tilted. I mean, if you would have been like mid-swig on this thing right here, and then all of a sudden you see, you probably would have spit it out. See, this is why I don't listen to you. Yeah, no, look, you generally know? in life, 
if I'm being honest, any sort of advice <laughs> that I do give you, especially when I've got a headset on, yeah. is not going to be something to take all that seriously. But to be taken seriously, of course, is the payout that awaits our eventual champion here in this one. $1.485 million, maybe a last glimpse at the 345000 that is locked up right now. Can't let you do it when I'm actually Wait, screaming say that the again. event right now. Say that again. How much What's is that? first place? $1.485 million. Ooh, Take a look. Oh, buddy. Juicy, tasty, and yeah. something that Some obviously meat on the bone. may leave you a bit restless tonight when you go up to your room, uh, you know, visions of this sort of grandeur, perhaps. And uh, plenty of storylines for us to sink our teeth into. When we come back, though, tomorrow, many of you have joined us for a very long haul today. We thank you for having done so. Certainly hope that you enjoyed what we've brought you uh, I like that. Yeah. A little bit of uh, thank you for being with us. They're very Buddhist. Very I was zen, sure I wasn't going to be able to get a word in edgewise, so I was signaling. <laughs> <laughs> Are there words, or should we just say goodnight? Good night, ladies All and gentlemen. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you tomorrow with continuing coverage of the Triton Super High Roller Series in Jeju.